and give you inspiration after this break. Tune in on Monday the 17th of April for the launch of Fleur Hastings' Chainmail Dragons and More DVD. On this DVD, Fleur will teach you everything you need to know about aspect ratios as well as some fascinating chainmail techniques including dragon steps, alligator back and Jen's pinned linkage. Take your chainmail jewellery to the next level and make sure you're tuned in this Bank Holiday Monday at 10am. Morning jewellery makers, how are we and happy Easter? Oh, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. I hope you've spent it, you know, eating lots and lots of chocolate and all things naughty and spending it with your loved ones, your nearest and dearest. Um, maybe today's the day where you've got family coming around. Make sure you've got jewellery on in the background because we've got competitions, competitions running throughout the course of the morning. Um, in fact, shall I tell you about it? Um, you'll be glad that you got up extra early this morning because we're going to be doing, doing it within this hour. So in our 8am until 9am, we've got a little competition that is count the chicks. And these are the little chicks that you can see on the screen. These are what you've got to count during the course of the first hour. So um, all you have to do, count how many times you see a chick on the screen during this hour to win £50 credit to your JM account. So very straightforward, very easy. You've just got to have your little wits about you. Now, what we'll do is we'll actually show you how to enter um, once, what is it, at the end of the hour? At the end of the hour, so just you, you just you, you just get counting. That's all you need to do. And just keep that number, keep that number in your mind, and then we'll show you what to do at the end of the hour. Um, fabulous! We've got a DVD launch. Very exciting. Yeah, we've got the wonderful Fleur Hastings here in the studio. The fabulous. I was going to say flame haired, but she's pink haired. <laughs> you, it's lovely. Yeah. Really gorgeous, like you're like a little unicorn. Ah, oh, thank you. How are you, honey? I feel Very like good. I haven't worked with you for ages. We haven't worked together for ages. It's been a long time. It has. Weeks. Perhaps they they saw the last show that we had and went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> separate them two for a little bit. Um, but you've been up to loads of um, creative, creating fabulous designs as always. Yeah. First kit. First kit. Yeah. You're gonna be able to make um, a, a wonderful birdhouse out of your chain mail. See, at home for Easter, um, yes, you can create your fabulous jewellery, but you can also create stunning, stunning homeware pieces just like this. I mean, any bird would be privileged to be munching on their, on their, uh, on their. What do they, what, what do they eat? Sunflower seeds, yeah. suet, whatever it is. As you can tell, I'm not particularly good with... <laughs> Peanuts, I thought. But, Peanuts. But I, don't, I think they're in the, the they're cage in the, ones, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. So so sweet. Um, but it's a limited edition kit, so make sure you're, you're ready for that. That's coming up at 9am. The DVD. Tell us a little bit about the DVD, which is coming up at 10 o'clock. So the, this DVD is um, all about... Um, sort of like not more advanced chain mail but more intricate chain mail if okay. you like so it's it's um showcasing some of people's favorite and some of my favorite chain mail weaves so you've got the dragon scale um weave that you can see there in shot and then the gems pin linkage and another couple as well so it's a wonderfully addictive medium chain mail if you've never done it before honestly you'll be you'll be able to hear a pin drop in the studio because we'll all be absolutely glued 10 a.m is the dvd so um launch we have um a quantity of a thousand which 
is not going to be enough. I mean, it will be an on-screen sellout. No ifs, buts, or maybes. I'm not just saying that because I've got our Fleur to my right. It is. It, it, it's, it's absolutely going to be the case because of how popular Chainmail is. Is it a medium that people... Say somebody that's watching right now who's never done Chainmail before. Is this a DVD that they could get home and still master? Yeah, there, there's, um, there's aspects of this... Uh, I would say if you've had a little try at Chainmail, mm -hmm. then this would be absolutely perfect. If it's your very first time at Chainmail, yeah, you can certainly make along with it because it's each weave is doesn't sort of like lend itself to beginners or experts, yeah. if you like. It's where your journey starts. Yeah, so wherever whichever it one is. you learn first, that's where your journey starts. It's following a pattern, yeah, basically, it's all it is, isn't it's it? It's following a pattern, yeah. So, yeah, it's not something that you have to sort of develop over time. The, yes, these are way more sort of intricate, but if you can follow a pattern, then you can do your chain mail. So, 10 a.m., very excited about that. Um, our deal of the day is absolutely stunning. We have got some beautiful filigree beads. Can I show you these? Because they're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pop them on my little blackboard for you as well. Now, we launched something almost identical um, a few weeks ago. Granted, they were a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. We were selling them individually. I've got a pack of three for you today, coming up at 11 a.m. Um, look at that. The filigree beads are stunning, stunning detail. How amazing. And you do get all three of them. And if you love these, guess what? Got them in the yellow gold. And I have them in the rose gold. So um, coming up at 11 a.m., bang on 11 a.m., we'll, we'll launch those. So fabulous. Should we get started? I think we should. I think we should. Hello to all the crew, by the way. Morning. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, Danny. Oh, Danny, who gave up chocolate for Lent, consumed his body weight in chocolate yesterday. Don't blame you. Starting off with, what was it? A Galaxy. Other chocolate brands are uh, available, of course. Um, I had Galaxy for breakfast. Did you eat lots of chocolate yesterday? Nope. No. No, nope. I had one chocolate bar in the evening. Yeah, I didn't have that much. It was making me feel sick just watching the children oh, eat really? all that chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't have that much, actually. I did eat quite a lot, but not that much chocolate, in actual fact, which is very unusual for me. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. Um, a limited stock. Now, I remember these being launched. Um, they are our daisy uh, necklaces or daisy chains, if you like. They are um, almost complete. All you need to do is add a uh, clasp to the, to the end. Separate it if you wish. Beautiful intricacy. If I just literally position it like so. There we go. And lean it forward. Can you see? Limited quantity. It's two tones. You've got your lovely pinkish blush from your rose gold. And then in the centre where you've got those, I don't know, the pollen parts, whatever you call those. Um, <laughs> um, in your yellow gold as well. At the top, you've just got two little jump rings. So you can literally attach... Um, a clasp of your choice. You can shorten this if you wanted to. You can separate each of those of those daisies as individual charms if you wanted to. Twenty two ninety five solid sterling silver um, with your with 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 your uh, plating of course. Substantial gram weight at just twenty two pounds ninety five. Five point four grams you've got here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that was in a jewellery establishment as it is, and you'd literally only need a lobster claw, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. It, you know, you'd be talking an expense, wouldn't you? I mean, it's a, yes. a very designer-looking piece of jewellery. It is. I think fl flowers is very, it's very summery design. I had this in the stone and silver, and I took the two end parts off and made them into anklets. So you've got ah. one, got two So what, from here? Uh, from, from the three flowers in the middle to the end. These so you've parts. got one flower, yeah, that's it. So one flower on each anklet and then the front bit there for a bracelet. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots and lots of people um, checking out. Well done to you. Don't miss out on these. Hopefully we will recommission them again, but I can't promise. Um, what have you been up to at Easter? We want to hear from you. Text us in, 60777. <laughs> Make sure you do start your text with JM Studio uh, so that we know, um, well, it comes to us then, basically. Otherwise, we won't hear from you. What have you been up to? Have you been eating loads of chocolate? Did you have a nice lamb roast dinner yesterday? I didn't. No, neither did I. I don't like lamb. Don't like lamb? No, no, it's the only, it's the only roast dinner I don't like lamb. Oh, I love a roast. Any roast mm. dinner. I didn't have a roast dinner yesterday. I had picky bits. Picky bits, that's what we had for, for, for Easter Sunday. That's one Sunday. of my favourite dinners, that. Just picky bits? Yeah. Yeah, like a little buffet. Yeah. It's got to have a baked camembert in there, though. We did have camembert. Yes, we <laughs> did. Um, now, da, 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 moving on to... Oh. 
<laughs> Moving on to... I will be a lot more discreet in the future. I will, I will, I will. Um, shade of blue agate. I tell you what, it's fabulous. It's very azure blue, though. Mm. It's almost calcedony blue. Yeah. It's really sparkly as well, isn't it? Yeah, from the faceting. Mm. You've got checkerboard faceting. Not checkerboard, what am I talking about? Faceted rounds. All the way around, so you're getting that lovely luster. Shades of blue, so you know, obviously you get the wonderful variations. You could use this co to complement or enhance your other blue gemstones, or you could use it as a standalone. Again, for those of you that are brand new to us here at Jewelry Maker, get, get involved. It's the only one post in packaging throughout the entirety of the day. It's a free phone telephone number. Speak to our wonderful contact centre and they can have this on their way to you in just a few working days. How simple is it? Fleur, to turn this into a lovely piece of jewellery. Very, very simple. With with your Get Started DVD and booklet, it shows you how to add a crimp cover, how to cut your um, your beading thread, which yep. tools to use. Just two crimps on the end with your with your uh, clasp. Maybe with one of the deal of the day is in the middle. So either whichever colour choice yep. you want of the deal of the oh, day. Oh, that'd be nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. key, really summary. Very, very simple. Just re-thread it onto your beading thread and. As That's easy it. as that. As easy as that, you've made your first piece of jewellery. Three ninety five as well for genuine gemstones here. Agate is mm -hmm. is a fantastically durable gemstone. It is very robust on the most scale, so perfect for your bracelets, perfect for um, children's jewellery as yeah, well. You definitely. know, it is the Easter holidays, so you know I'm sure we're all um, desperately seeking how we entertain our little ones. Three ninety five doesn't even have to be expensive. Yep. I took Willow to a soft play the other day. Tell you what, by the time we have food, coffees and let get in, it's your best part of 50 quid, really. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. It's the cinema's mind. the same as well. Yeah, good fun. Moving on to crimp covers. Crimp covers. Now, I think these are a massively underestimated component. Don't you think? Definitely. Um, they cover your crimps. But the difference that they make um, to uh, um, a crimp which is sort of be, ha has been left on its own, it, it just gives that finishing touch. So what they actually look like, a little, so almost like little cakes, if you like, with a, with a slice cut out. That's where you position the, cr the crimp and then you tease it, squeeze it over. Can you see that? There you go. Squeeze it over so it makes a completely uh, um, well, circular bead. They're three mil in size, so they will go over the majority of your crimps sizes. Yeah, definitely, yeah. If you use your crimping pliers that are in the large toolkit as well, that, that shrinks your crimp down to a really small little bead, so these are perfect for that. But they're also great for covering the knots in your elastic bracelets. I noticed your necklace earlier on. I did notice your lovely <laughs> knotted, knotted pearls. So if you wanted to have, yeah, just that little bit of luster, that silver luster in between, then, yeah, you can put, put, pop these over yeah. the knot themselves. Yeah. Look really lovely. You're getting 100 within a pack, 100 of them, um, and hugely inexpensive. Dial through as soon as you can. Yeah, they are. Um, definitely one of our sort of staple components, I think, they you'd, are. you'd agree, as, yeah. a, as a jewellery maker. Yeah, they, they sort of take your jewellery to the next level. So they take it from um, a lovely piece of jewellery to a real professional looking finished piece of jewellery. Absolutely. And these are solid sterling silver as well. So I wouldn't hesitate, like with your, if you don't mind me using your necklace as an example, popping them uh, over, the, yeah. uh, over the knots. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because they're really high end nice. pearls. Yeah. And then you can have that real nice, like you say, that high-end look with that, that metallic luster. Be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Mm. And they go quite a long way, don't they? Um, early birds. Your early birds we've got coming up at half past eight. Oh, sorry, 8.45. Stunning malachite. This is a natural gemstone, a beautiful vision of green with wonderful formations and patterns. It's steeped in history. Um, a very considered and expensive gemstones, generally speaking. Not the case with us this morning. This is coming up at 8.45. Um, lovely irregular shapes of your malachite, which is unusual to see, actually, because malachite is more frequently in, a, in sort of a plain round. So if you like to have that interest and that texture, then this strand is for you in about half an hour's time. Not long, though. Not long to wait. Moving on to... Should we continue with the sterling silver? Well, these are beautiful. <gasps> I want these. Beautiful, simple, but you'll see what I mean by high end. They're a six mil plain bead, but look how high end they are. Your bracelet. I always put one of these beads in the middle of my stretchy bracelets. 
They're gorgeous, aren't they? I really yeah. like the fact that they are just plain, you yeah. know, and haven't been yeah. textured. And don't get me wrong, I love those as well, but I, I just think they scream expense. Mm. I think it's because they've got that, like a mirror shine to them, haven't they? they yeah. Sort of like reflect the light. Well, actually, you can see the studio within within the bead I'm, I'm actually holding. If I turn it around this way, uh, can you see the actual drill hole as well? So really substantial, all of your elastics, your threading materials, um, your eslons will will fly through there, no problem whatsoever. You could use this with macrame, amazing with your with, with your chainmail. Yeah. I think because it's got it's continuing that sort of circular yeah. um, connection. I don't yeah. know what's the word. Continuity, Continu yeah, yeah. Continuity yeah. of those circular designs. Yeah. It's going to look amazing. Similarly, just thread this onto some plain sterling silver chain, and that's going to look absolutely beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Um, just plain six mil beads. You get twenty in a packet. So all of these that I'm, I'm showing you here, um, you will get twenty of them in total. So like Fleur said, she pops one of them in uh, in, in all of her stretchy bracelets, um, just to take it to another level. Yeah, it just it just. It elevates it yeah and breaks it up probably a little yeah. bit as well yeah so you've got a, you've always got a central focal point gorgeous and you always wear your your jadeite stretchy bracelet don't I do. you yeah um, and that's got one of these in the center now these have only ever been on your screens at 12 pounds and 95 pence I mean that's an amazing price for all of that sterling silver and 20 sterling silver beads they're not teeny weeny, you know, they are sizable. Should we take it to a rec record low this bank holiday Monday? I think so. I think, oh, $8.95. Um, record low price tag. Get involved as soon as you possibly can if you want to grab these. Now, they haven't been on your screens for some time as well. So maybe they've been under lock and key, <laughs> cl uh, under close supervision by the management. And I can understand why. These alongside your deal of the day will be perfect. Let me just grab those. Um, I'm going to pop them in. Don't you think? To have that one contrast. One either side. Hey? Just one either side of yeah. the deal of the day. Be beautiful. Isn't that going to be amazing? Yeah, one either side of your filig filigree beads. You can always mix up the precious metals as well. So um, team it with your, your rose gold or your yellow gold, which is equally coming up at 11 a.m. as well. So um, grab them as you can. Record low price. Never been on your screens at that before, nor should they really. For the gram content that we're looking at here, they are sizable and you do get all 20 of them. How many do you think you'd need for a stretchy bracelet? Two packs, maybe? Yeah, two packs, I think. Um, husband has just come running into the bedroom thinking something's wrong because I was whoop, whooping <laughs> over Fleur's DVD. Supposed to be um, on, what's that? Post bed, uh, uh, bed rest. Right. Back in, back in your bed. Back in your bed. Just get your husband to make sure. You can still whoop, can't you? You can still whoop. Oh, bless your husband looking after you. <laughs> Bless him, bless him. I hope you're feeling okay, darling. Yeah, you look after yourself. This is the DVD, which is coming up in one hour and 45 minutes. One hour and 45 minutes. Um, very excited. We've got a thousand, but don't rest on your laurels. It is bank holiday. It's one of our busiest days of the year. That full 1,000 quantity will go. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Are you excited, Fleur? Very excited, yeah. Yeah, very excited. You're not nervous? One. I'm always nervous with DVDs. You, all our guest designers yeah. get really nervous. You, and, and, and every time I'm like, seriously, do you know how awesome you are? It's true. It's true, it's true. She's like, no. <laughs> they don't know how awesome they are. They're very humble. Very humble. Lots and lots and lots of you on those phone lines. Well done. Do check out those, uh, check out those baskets. All 20 of them, Fleur. Do you would only need twen uh, two packs, wouldn't you, for a full bra bracelet? Yeah, because they're over half a millimetre. Yeah. So yeah, so you could do a full a full bracelet with, with two packs and I mean that, that would emulate some of those big designers that you can uh, that you can see on the high street, which it can be like yeah. nearly three figures. Yeah, for a, exactly. For a exactly. We, we we all know those retailers, yeah. don't we? We whether we can do direct com price comparisons. And is their sterling silver any different to ours? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Have we got quantity, Danny? Big quantity. Um, hi, Regina in New York. I, oh, oh, that's the only name I saw then. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Patricia, Hampshire, Anne Marie, Janice, Julia, Christine, Sophie. This is just a handful of those who are on those phone lines. Um, check out those baskets if you're with me on the web. Um, okay, okay. Moving on to box one. Ooh. 
I always want to scream into kind of like a Duran Duran song. Remember the one, Wild Boys? <laughs> I always kind of want to say, Wildfire. <laughs> it just did it. I know. You know. You know what? If Willow's watching right now, she's like, so embarrassing, Mum. <laughs> so embarrassing. Wildfire. <laughs> Yeah, so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> she was dancing to music yesterday, like this. I saw her on, uh, on Facebook. Oh, first thing in the morning, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she's going to watch Jewelry Maker and cringe at how embarrassing I can be? No. You don't have to. You don't have to no. humour me, Flo. It's fine. Because no, no, you hesitated there. It's no. fine. Well, just my children don't bother that I'm on. But when Claire's on TV, they go, oh, Claire's on, Claire's on, and run around and say to Mark, so, did they do that when I'm on? They went, no. No. <laughs> Not even no. <laughs> Turn it over. For, 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 for it's only mum. <laughs> it's only mummy. It's Fleur again. Oh, she's got a DVD launch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet they'll be watching today. No, they've gone okay, out. Okay, <laughs> uh, they what? They've gone out. They've oh. got a trials meeting. They've gone on their trials bikes. Oh, fair Red enough bikes. then. Fair enough. Um, can we talk about wildfire in terms of um, using it for pearls and using it for your sort of seed beading and things? Ge I mean, it's a very general beading thread, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, I think it's the, the closest that you can get to something like a, a silk where you've got the, the movement with just a, a you know, a, a threaded be a uh, threaded piece. I tend to use the wildfire for my shibori because it's it's so strong you can go through those seed beads okay, so, so many times. Um, I know that all the seed beaders will say that this is their favourite um, threading material yeah. for, for seed beading but definitely for shibori it's absolutely fabulous for stitching your shibori in place onto that backing fabric. If you see at the top there it says thermally bonded bead weaving thread so it is incredibly incredibly strong um, and if you can, I don't know, can you see that 12 pound at the bottom of the screen that's its break point so this will actually hold that weight um, and if you're you know spending hours knotting or, or, or seed beading or, or maybe you've got some beautiful gemstones that are particularly uh, close to your heart and you're admiring you know last heaven forbid that they actually do break it's it, it's terrible when that happens so it's worth investing that little bit extra in quality beading um, beading thread 595 only and you do get 50 yards so that's a that's a that's a yeah. great amount and it's uh, this one's a 0.2 millimeter so it's ultra thin as well so but it's so easy to thread your needle because it's that thermally bonded you just squish it with your thumbnail I love that I, I'm yeah. so glad you used the term squish you squished it you, you do literally squish. squish it with you your just, pliers, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do just squish it either with your pliers or with your thumbnail. Create it into like a little flat point, if you like, and then that goes straight through your needle. So much easier than cottons that, which thread and fray. Uh, oh, it's so infuriating. Mm -hmm. I'm useless at threading cotton through a needle. Useless. Yeah, I yeah. And I get really impatient yeah. really quickly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it actually stops me making pieces yeah. of jewellery sometimes. Yeah, yeah it does. Because I do yeah. have a strop. Get, yeah, Claire, Claire, my director, is saying, do you strop about it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. It's really mm. infuriating, isn't it? it does. And then, say, so you do get it through and you have that eureka moment, and then all of a sudden it, it comes out again. You're like, yeah. no. Or when you're near the end of your design, you think, oh, I've got to thread another needle. Oh. So yeah, I, I tend to thread about 20 needles and have them in the pin cushion all threaded up ready so that if, it can, if the thread comes out then I can just pick up a so new one. So you're still in it, your, your, your zen-like state? Yeah, so my infuriating 20 minutes of threading them all yeah, yeah. is over and I can then just Chill. relax. I like that idea. That's a great idea. Hello, Christine, Helen, Carol, Jean, Patricia. Hello, Merseyside, Yvonne, Lynn, Sharon. Hello to Northamptonshire, Julie, Margaret. Loads of you with me this morning. Nice to have your company. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend so far. Let's make it even more special, shall we? Moving on to all these. The pairs. Rounds. I've got rounds and I've got rondelles. Should we do the rounds? Got there in the end. Right there, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you haven't got enough sugar in your in, in your body. I think he's got chocolate poisoning. Chocolate poisoning. <laughs> or have you got too much sugar in your body now? <laughs> too much sugar. There he is. Gave up chocolate for Lent. But yeah. Now he, he inhaled chocolate yesterday. It's a new hobby, eating chocolate. I want that hobby. 
Makes your teeth hurt though if you have too much chocolate. No. And I'm frightened of the dentist, so I won't go to the Are dentist. You? So I, I have to limit my chocolate intake so that I don't hurt my teeth. I, I, you know, I'm one of those weird people that loves going to the dentist. Mm. I know it's. I love having my teeth cleaned. Do you? Mm. I have to say, touch wood though, I've never had anything done to my teeth, so that's probably why I'm not frightened of of the dentist yet. Anyway, I digress. Yes, dental hygiene, children, <laughs> make sure you brush your teeth. <laughs> And floss. Um, look at the size of these. Natural Zambian amethysts. That rich, deep, oh, I want to say almost voluptuous purple. Um, they're 10 mil rounds. We don't often get that size, do yeah. we? No. What would you do with these? Because they are that little bit bigger. These are perfect for my stretchy bracelets because all my stre my harmony range of stretchy bracelets are 10 millimetres and 8 millimetres. So these would definitely be... Oh, it would be a statement, in, stretchy in statement. bracelet. And then I'd have um, either like a rose gold or a yellow gold jump ring in between each one and then one of the deal of the day is in the front. Um, one of these? Just like that. Yeah. Just Because so, you, cause you can, can get two stretchy choice. bracelets out of a, a strand. Can you? At that length, yeah. So this is going to make two stretchy bracelets. Yep. Yeah. All you need to put is one of your filigree beads, whether they be rose gold, yellow gold, or your silver coming up at 11 a.m. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, Zambian amethyst is famed and celebrated for its quality of colour, its intensity of colour. Um, also very much supportive, like ourselves here at Jewelry Maker, of ethical mining. So, um, you know, our responsibilities of giving back to those communities is definitely being endorsed here. 14 95 for natural Zambian amethyst, 260 carrots that you're getting and when it comes to purple am amethyst I mean it's all very much in the eye of a beholder but generally speaking the more full-bodied the mm -hmm. more rich that and intense that saturation the more valuable the gemstone actually is I mean these, these glow and yet they've got that chocolate box purple yeah. but under differing angles you'll have the flash of flashes of pinks, pinks and blues imagine one of those just in the center of a, a white pearl not oh. a necklace so your beautiful white or ivory pearls with one of those in the middle it's gonna look amazing yeah. and that purple is gonna if you single it out as well yeah. It's going yeah, to look even pop. more intense. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, good morning, everybody. Check out those baskets. Moving on to, don't forget, Malachite's coming up in just over 15 minutes. Just over 15 minutes. Oh, should we bring you some more? Oh, there's a slight graduation of these. How are they going They're to nice. this? Yeah. I feel like I'm peering through daffodils. <laughs> they are one of my favourite flowers, though, daffs, because I think they've got really happy, smiley faces. Cheerful, aren't they? And they smell amazing, by the way. Um, 100 carats of amethyst, there's that colour. Look at that colour. Graduating from 5 to 7 millimetres, so they're very elegant and a subtle graduation. So you could literally restrand this um, and wear it exactly as it is. Just you know, pop maybe um, a, a bolt ring or a lobster claw at the top. You could knot in between these, maybe yeah. a great, great strand to, 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 to yeah. practice your knotting. Yeah, definitely. Knot in between with some S-Long would be absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Would you take a different colour or would you yeah, use? I, yeah, I always take a different colour. Yeah. I'm I'd, thinking you go with pink. Or I may go with something like one of the light blues. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. A light blue to it, because the light blue would, would show off all the, the purples and the pinks that are in there, because you've got that colour clash. Ah, mm hmm You could even put a little adornment, couldn't you, in the centre? You could pop, uh, um, I don't know, like a little filigree, a little filigree bead or something like that in the centre. On the bias, I'm feeling. Absolutely stunning. Um, genuine gemstones we're talking here, jewellery makers. You know, this is not a synthetic or a glass or a plastic bead. This is genuine, genuine amethyst. Uh, February's birthstone, of course. And it is what we describe as a mainstream gem. You know, it is what we see um, on the high street for hundreds of pounds. You know, hundreds if not thousands of pounds. The likes of Kiki McDonald, the likes of uh, um, uh, Bulgari or Van Cleef and Arpel, um, are all using this gemstone for that delicious intense purple just stunning isn't it and, and it's one of those gems even without um, a huge amount of knowledge I suppose gem knowledge we recognize I think it's almost ingrained into us from a very young age 9.95 for natural Zambian amethyst again it's that location that we're certainly we're traveling to to source our amethyst such as the quality um, and as I mentioned previously you know the the, the you know the, the the messages that are endorsed as well from that location okay moving on to should we do a little showcase Different shapes. Oh, I love this strand. Look 
at those shapes. This has only been on your screens once previously. Top, uh, beautiful top drilled, not top drilled, sorry, central drilled pairs. Look at the shapes that you're getting there. They're stunningly curvaceous, aren't they, if that makes sense. I'd literally just pop one on some shepherd hooks. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's as an a pair As a pair of earrings. Yeah, definitely. Or a drop on the bracelet. This one. This one is a little, uh, yeah, a little, a little drop bracelet or, or even um, as a standalone pendant. Mm. You just put a little Mobius ring, just three oh, jump yeah. rings at the top as a Mobius ring and then that would... That would look gorgeous. Um, with 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 some of the DVDs that we've uh, we've we've got coming up, you could use yeah, this in that design. Yeah. <laughs> Again, get it get it now, and you'll know you'll 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 know if you love our DVDs and you love our fleur, then you'll definitely definitely want a strand like this because it would put, work perfectly. Yeah. Um, and and with your first. Yeah, the the, the dragon scale pendant. So the DVD that's being launched today with the dragon scale, we've got you've got a little amber, haven't you, yeah, being suspended? But I don't know. Swap that for a beautiful amethyst. It's going to look amazing. It's mm. just got that perfect shape, isn't it? Yeah, it just sort of like finishes a piece off because it's got that beautiful shape. It just finishes. It's a piece. almost that full stop. Yeah, but you can also use them the other way, and like so you guide the eye down towards them, and with the point going towards what you want people to look at. So if it's one of the um, the filigree beads, you can put them the other way so the points are pointing down. That's a nice idea. Yeah, so it's almost drawing the yeah. eye. Yeah, points um, you where you want to go. Incredible. It's a mini amethyst showcase, Zambian amethyst showcase. You know, we always talk about the intensity of colour. Um, we talk about how vibrant that saturation is. And we normally talk about how considered that price tag is um, elsewhere. Not the case. I mean, it was 7.95. 7.95 for Zambian amethyst, and it's a beautifully pleochroic gemstone as well. You know, yes, it's that full-bodied purple, and yes, you can get it in pinks, you can get it in greens, praise light greens. Um, but you also get secondary cues. You get uh, incredible flashes of pinks and blues coming through, depending on the angle that you actually look at. Um, would you mix these up together? Would you use this with the rounds? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'd, it would. I've seen um, a, a beautiful necklace that I've, I was looking at on. Um, a social media platform yeah and it's lots of different shapes of the same gemstone and it's just nice. literally just threaded on and a really long line necklace oh li it's just, just a, a just a stranded necklace yeah. um, but it's all different shapes and it's all the same gemstone and some of them have got slightly different hues to them yeah but it's just all the same gemstone that sounds lovely and it's, i think it's very random how they've done it as well it's not placed it's yeah. just literally pop them all in a pot I like and pick that. them out a little a, a little bit sort of a, a little bit of chaos in the yeah, design. Yeah, an eclectic design. Yeah, love that. And sort of what length are we talking? Oh, naval length. It was really naval long. Naval length. Yeah, oh, fabulous. Really yeah, can long. you imagine? If you're getting involved with our showcase, then you've got more than enough to recreate yeah. that design that Fleur was talking about. Maybe pop some of your filigree beads in amongst there as well. Um, good morning to everybody. Yeah, that's the deal of the day. We've got the filigree beads, maybe your rose, your yellow gold, or your silver. The beauty of amethyst is it does complement all of those precious metal colours as well. Um, it does go incredibly well. How about creating a beautiful contrast? Now, purple has, uh, Claire's just saying, yes, it's very warm and it's very cool at the same time, blues and reds. And actually, amethyst, being a member of the quartz family, very rarely displays red. So if you've got an amethyst which is almost, if you can see almost flame-like qualities within the gemstone, it's exceptional quality because it really shows red. How about this as a combination? I think because these gemstones are both so dramatic. Oh, about 12 minutes time, don't you think? Claire says very Wimbledon. Oh, it is. Not far away, actually, Wimbledon. No. I've never been. I've never been there. I would like to go to Wimbledon. I like a bit of Wimbledon. I like a bit of Wimbledon, and I do like a bit of. I, I, I like a little bit of. Oh, what's the golf one between the? the no, not the Open. What's the one between? The Masters. The with the the, the the Yanks and us, USA versus the versus Europe. What's that one? Right. Ryder Cup. I do like that as well. Like that. I can watch that. No, not keen. No. See, I, I do like Wimbledon, but only when it gets to the last few. Yeah. Because I get confused with everybody. I can't watch a match if they're doing all that. Ugh. I can't watch a match if they're doing that. It. Ugh. That. It's usually the women that. It is. That, that, 
but I know. It is. I, c I can't watch that. Yeah, one of the Williams sister sisters is notorious for it. <laughs> it's just really distracting. I'm like, that's all I end up focusing on then. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, see, if, see if she can do hit, hit, a, hit a ball without actually grunting. <laughs> okay, um, look at this. Okay, deal, 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 deal. It's a previous deal of the day, one I had the privilege of launching. I can remember it clear as day. We were saying about how, free, how infrequently we actually have mar it, Marquise cut mm -hmm. um, labradorite. Now, labradorite is actually quite a relatively soft gemstone, which I actually find quite surprising, really. Uh, you look at labradorite and think, because if it's, it's got, I don't know, quite a strong colour and that strong phenomena effect, you almost imagine it to be quite a, a sort of... Um, a very a very solid gemstone but actually it has got a certain softness to it so fantastic that this has actually also been bezel set so yeah very rare that you get it in um, your your complex cuts like your Marquise now you've got an amazing deal coming your way it always has been I mean the amount of sterling silver that's within this every single one of those can be used as individual connectors and then you can keep the jump rings for for something else or alternatively if I just literally flip those back over the they are to the front of my hand or the back of my hand you've got the two jump rings so um, for our new beginners you can just literally pop a clasp on there and you've got a finished piece of jewelry all the sterling silver all of those 17 carats of, uh, of genuine labradorite with that phenomena effect was launched at 29.95 um, and I tell you what every single penny it, it's worth that and then some five and a half grams you're getting here there's big designers like Monica Veneda who are using labradorite quite sub uh, significantly um, I could name many 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 because there's no gemstone quite like it it's a member of the feldspar family and it's the tiny mica inclusions within this gemstone that gives you that optical effect. Okay, previous deal of the day. Um, we've only got a few of them left. Let's take it to a record low for you. Get it whilst you can. You can use these individually as well, um, as, as individual connectors. And it was actually Fleur that taught me that. 1995 uh, Fleur, you, it was you that showed me about separating these and yeah. using them as individual components. Yeah, definitely. I would, um, with a strand like this, I would definitely take it all apart. Just if you just um, cut those little jump rings in between, um, you can. If you cut them and cut them quite with your flush cutters, you just nip the other the pointed mm -hmm. end off. You can always use those again, and then you've got all of those connectors that you can then use for your designs, and they're perfect for chainmail. To put a little chainmail section in between each one of those labradorite would just amazing them. and you know you've got a real value for money strand with this again stuff. this would look beautiful with your chain mail wouldn't yeah. it and there's something about labradorite and yeah. chain mail that yeah. really really works um there's 31 labradorite gemstone solitaires on here i've just given them a sneaky count whilst Fleur was talking um, and that's without all the jump rings that mm. are in between so 31 um faceted marquees that's working at 64 pence each and the sterling silver let's not forget that Five and a half grams of sterling silver for 19.95, plus all your gemstones. And to get them all perfectly matched as well yeah. in size, um, because that's very difficult as well. I mean, bezel setting is quite a difficult um, process in itself, so to be able to have them already done and all the correct size for you, that you can then just add them in. I mean, that, a bit like you say, if you just want to pop a clasp onto the end, it's so gorgeous. It's, it's an amazing necklace with just a clasp onto the end. Or, uh, again, I'm thinking anklet. Yes. These two beautiful yeah. anklets, good yeah. bit. Um, it actually measures, have we got the measurements there? 8 by 4 millimetres, oh, oh there we go, 50 centimetres, I know it's just cut off the end of your graphic, so it's about half a metre, well it is half a metre approximately, um, so that actually turns into about 20 inches, obviously then plus, plus your clasp if you're thinking of a neckline piece of jewellery, or multiple bracelets, mm -hmm. and certainly, certainly multiple, um, uh, multiple little connectors there. There's a little competition this hour. Hopefully you tuned in at eight o'clock. Hopefully you did. You gotta you you gotta count your chick you gotta count your chicks. Count your chicks. Um hopefully you 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 were you were with us bright and early at eight AM this morning. Hopefully so. Um you can still play along if not. We'll show you how to enter. All you have to do is count how many times you see a chick on your screen during this hour. That one on the screen, by the way, does not count. 
or the example that uh, this you know this slide that we've shown this is the second time they don't count those chicks just the ones you're seeing that tend to be kind of floating hovering floating chicks <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Floating chicks. Lots of my friends I saw on Facebook were at these various little animal farms and all these little kiddies were holding little chicks. And feeding the little lambs. Feeding the little lambs. See, that's not necessarily a novelty for me. I did that pretty yeah. much my entire youth. Yeah, that's the same as me. Grew up on a farm, so yeah. it, was, it was a chore rather than a Yeah, <laughs> a pleasure. rather than a pleasure. Yeah. Um, we backed onto a farm when I was growing up, and we had, um, and there was, <laughs> actually, it's not the same field that, that I'm talking about. Yeah, I've, I've bought a couple of houses that back onto farms, so I've, when you see ewes fall over just before the lambing season. Pick them back up. Push them back up because otherwise they die, and they, they die do. really quickly. Mm. They'll just literally have their legs in the air, don't they? Yeah. And they don't think. Yeah. They actually don't think to, to 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 get it themselves. All you need to do is go. Oi. Give them a little. They're like weebles. You just push them back. And they're fine then. <laughs> they are that stupid. They are that stupid sheep. Yeah, they are. Um, but yeah, we had a little a, a little. Um, I, had, I, had, I had a pet sheep from the farm behind. I was mortified when he wasn't there one morning. Mm. Mm. Dotty one was no more. <laughs> That's what I called him. It's quite tragic, isn't it? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Lots of solid sterling silver. Aren't they lovely? Look at the size of those. Oh, these are new to me. Not actually brought these to air previously. That gorgeous matte texture. It's a really silky sheen, isn't it? Mm, beautiful really wonderful silky sheen and then you've actually got the post at the bottom now the post is for positioning your half drilled gemstones so if you've got any half drilled pearls um oh hang on oh, i say that we have got some we've got some half drilled pearls would this work fleur yeah definitely just a little bit of glue a little bit of glue you get the idea don't yeah. you or some serolin these are lovely as serolin a serolin bead yeah Make a several in beads. That's a great idea. Or some silver clay. That's a nice idea as well. And polymer clay. Um, you could even pop the, po a way of actually securing your, your chain mail. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Suspend it from that. Mm -hmm. You do get all three of them and they measure 13 by 12 millimetres. So really beautiful, bright, solid sterling silver. Should be on your screens at £14.95. Um, let's bring them to you at another low, shall we? I've got half jewel pearls coming up, which will be perfect for these. Nine ninety-five. That's three pendants, mine. Not not individually. They're really substantial. Mm -hmm. They are. They. You can just imagine that on a beautiful um, eighteen-inch chain with a pearl into the middle. Yeah. You know, you'd be looking at quite a substantial price. If you're looking for bridesmaids' jewelry, if you're making bridesmaids' jewelry, you know you've got three exactly the same. Then. Yeah, that would be Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah really, really nice. gorgeous. And I've got the half jewel pearls, um, like Fleur's actually describing, coming up just after this. So um, perfect adornment to these as well beautiful hello cardiff arizona hello to you pauline in berkshire trish uh, uh trish oh i can't pronounce your name trishiel um maxine you're there as well middlesex congratulations to you super busy this morning um happy easter everyone i hope you had a lovely weekend let's make it even more special shall we and um, with some wonderful home for easter treats we've got a dvd launch coming up in just over an hour's time with a wonderful uh, with a wonderful uh, fleur um the first kit is amazing limited in stock by the way you can create your stunning birdhouse robin's diner robin's diner I love that. And there's no squirrels allowed. It's even got a sign on the back. No saying, squirrels are allowed. No squirrels allowed. We shall be showing you how to create <laughs> this wonderful piece. Fabulous, isn't it? No squirrels allowed. That's fab. I hope you're going to put that in your garden when you get home. Claire's already bags of dip. Claire's bags Claire, of dip. Claire McDonald's, yeah. yeah. So it's going in Claire's garden. It's going in someone's garden yeah. anyway. Gorgeous. Oh, now, uh, I would have thought these were maybe a shell pearl, such as the, the quality of the shape. These are actually natural. Look at that perfect shape. Do you see where I'm coming from? Look how smooth that macro surface is. There's no indentations, no sort of nicks or blemishes. 
absolutely flawless nacre surface. You're looking for iridescence, you're looking for sort of really clean lines. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes pearls um, will actually have characteristics which, which can they be their appeal as well. But oh, with that shape, to have such a flawless finish, incredible. And not be essentially sort of uh, um, made within a laboratory. Shell pearl is still, still classed as a genuine gemstone. It's just reconstituted. It's, fa it's powder that is reformed um, into sort of the, 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 the desired shape. So that's why I thought, gosh, that's so perfect. That must be a shell pearl. Not the case, though. This is actually formed within a mollusk. It is half drilled, and if I just tilt it forward, you can actually see the drill hole just there. So similarly, uh, if you didn't get those pendants previously and you're wondering how else you can use these, simple pin, yeah, either, either just yeah, a piece of wire, even, you know, if you've got some sterling silver wire, just glue that in and then you can use that in your design. So literally, would you put the glue to the pin or the glue to the pearl? There's two different ways of um, doing it, really. If you put the glue on the pin, what will happen sometimes is when you push the pin into the pearl, the glue will come out. Okay. So I tend to get a little tiny piece of wire, pop a little bit of glue onto the wire and then go into the drill hole itself as well and then if you just push the pearl on and take it off a couple of times it pushes the glue down into the pearl so you get a good sort of like bond contact between as well the two. Um, rather than just one sort yeah. of area and with a quality like this you would want it to be um, absolutely mm. secure how about we take a genuine cultivated pearl formed within a mollusk of this size as well right the way up to 11 millimeters for how much was that each one pound 48 per genuine pearl 5.95 for all four and again going back to your bridal pieces of jewelry this would be mm. perfect because there's nothing saying that they can't be elevated maybe in this kind of manner yeah it could be a beautiful tiara fabulous tiara yeah. absolutely gorgeous we've got 75 of them in stock grab them whilst you can beverly marilyn pauline carol maxine multi-buying well done maxine buying five uh, pat pauline you're multi-buying as well congratulations helena cardiff kent angela caroline Na uh, natalie nice to have your company sorry natalie um lots of you on the phone lines as well do check out those baskets so a genuine cultured pearl I'm just thinking about sort of yeah bridal to uh, bridal uh, tiaras or even hair combs. Hello, Pat. She say morning, ladies. Just bought these pearls. They're absolutely gorgeous. They really are. Really, really, really are. Just popping one. Just popping one um, onto onto like a, a sort of simple pendant or a necklace, just like so. I mean, that's all you need. I mean, how classic and timeless is this? Fabulous. Okay, everybody, throughout the course of the, um, the first hour, we have been running a competition. That competition has been to count your chicks. There's been some cheeky chicks. Cheeky, cheeky chicks throughout the course of the, uh, course of the hour. Now, you've got five minutes, over the next five minutes, to text us in. This is how you enter. So the amount of chicks excluding the examples, text us in JM Studio uh, to 60777. Make sure that you include your name, your customer number and your answer. If we don't have your name and your customer number, we simply cannot enter you. So that's really important. Your name, your customer number and your answer. Um, Texas JM Studio 60777. Now you will win 50 pounds worth of credit being added to your, uh, to your JM account. So fabulous, fabulous. Go, 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 go. Have you been counting? No, I saw one. But I think there's been more than that. I'm not going to win, am I? I can reveal there has been more than one chick. <laughs> and we will be picking you at random, by the way. So it's not, not necessarily the first person that texts in. It'll be picked at random. So the first of our Easter Monday, Monday uh, competitions. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I tell you what, there's so much to bring you. We've got the launch of Fleur's DVD at 10 a.m. Um, our first kit is amazing. The deal of the day is stunning. So much to bring you. Brand new strands and the wonder that is Malachite. <laughs> Malachite is a gemstone that actually um, I was introduced to 
quite recently in actual fact it wasn't um, a gem I mean I knew of it but my first experiences were, 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 were only recently and I tell you what it was one that I'll never ever forget because it's there's nothing quite like malachite malachite is a, a really hypnotic green it's almost got sort of hues of blues coming through that give it that really dramatic intensity now it's an opaque gemstone so you're not looking for uh, clarity or diaphanity um, it's the patterns out on the outside Outside the exterior of the surface of the gemstone which is what makes it so fascinating and intriguing no two will be the same you know that you'll have some which have got wonderful striping horizontal stripes banding swirls if you like but they will hopefully have the hypnotic and I think that's the word to use with malachite that hypnotic green because there isn't another green like it um, such a beautiful beautiful gemstone and steeped in history, you know, um, the FA Cup for all of you football fans. This is actually on the plinth of the FA Cup. Um, the World Cup, is it? Sorry, not the F. As you can tell, I'm not a football fan. Um, is it both? Is it both? I don't know. Anyway, on a football trophy. Um, it's also been seen within palaces, you know, fabulous sculptures and pianos even, did I hear? In baths. There's in baths. Bath that's carved out of malachite. Wow. Can you imagine? Can you imagine taking a bath? In a malachite in bath. In a malachite bath. It'd that's on cold, my bucket though. list. You'd have to have really hot water to warm it up. Yeah, I don't like cold baths. No, it has to be warm. A nice warm bubble yeah. bath with your malachite. Oh, I don't know, and the bubbles would then stop you seeing. Anyway, we digress. You don't have to use it as a bath, <laughs> of course. You can use it like... <laughs> um, like most of us are probably thinking it looks gorgeous in jewellery as well. <laughs> it really does. But because it's it a is home a, it, show. It is a home it show. It is a home show. <laughs> Have you got enough malachite in your stash to make yourself a bath? <laughs> oh my goodness, can you imagine? It'd be, it'd be pretty amazing. <laughs> can you imagine? Um, uh, in terms of home show, malachite is, it, is you know, it's a powerful looking gemstone mm. because of that, 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 that intensity of colour. How can we incorporate this into, um, into in sort of home designs? What would you think of? Well, for my second kit, I've, um, I was asked to make curtain tie backs. Yeah. So I think this definitely would be a beautiful, because it's, got, a, it's a, got that real opulent green, so it's like a real lovely living room you know, if you've got yeah. a, like, um, I mean I've got quite a, a, an old-fashioned little cottage so we've got like almost a tapestry style, style curtains this would go perfectly oh that would be right. gorgeous and I'm think, thinking in kitchens as well yeah. somewhere in the kitchen yeah. how about just doing like a mosaic bit of art I don't know in some box frames mm. because this has got and it doesn't have to be of anything in particular it could just literally be like a child would draw a house do you know what I mean the roof and the yeah. outline um, and do it with these lovely gemstones yeah. simply simply glued to a little bit of canvas I think that'll look amazing because it's got that really intensity of color um, such a striking gemstone and one which is usually very 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 considered because of its rarity because how how little of it is actually um, unearthed from the ground totally natural as well um, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this had maybe been dyed in some way shape or form or irradiated like many um, vibrant gemstones not the case this is how it's actually unearthed can you see the com the, co the contrast as well how some of them have almost got like a perfect split some of them have got amazing formation patterns and swirls um, how it's just delicious there's that there's that color that we're talking about if you think about in com um, if you if you compare to other green gemstones there's very few that are, are, are remotely like it um, chrome dioxide absolutely love very 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 rarely seen um, and again that's what a gemstone which has got diaphanity um, let me see emeralds of course nothing like malachite peridot nothing like maradite, uh, uh, malachite sorry appetite green appetite nothing like malachite so it is a very much a standalone um, showcase gemstone what's the best price that you've ever seen on malachite because it is generally a considered gemstone. It's you know usually around or above 50 pounds of this here at Jewelry Maker. Now granted, these are slightly smaller sizes than you might have seen previously. Um, and they also are in their most organic nugget form, formation, sort of as we'd imagine them being unearthed from the ground. But they're still displaying that color. You know, they're not, they're, they're, they're not a lesser grade. Now, on our own website, we're going to make a direct comparison with our own website. The most affordable malachite strand that we actually have is at $24.95. Fabulous price for malachite, genuine malachite. 
this morning 12.95 no wonder lots of you are checking out straight away uh, Barbara Anne, Helen Tracy John and Janet Jenny Suffolk Tatiana Derbyshire Pauline uh, Judith plus so many more it, it was a gemstone that I knew about but I, I only recently uh, started sort of well saw if you like first hand and that was from Jewelry Maker when we launched it yeah. it's, it's an amazing gemstone like you said there's nothing else like it when you see the banding that goes through some of them as well it's just an absolute it's like it's just vibrant it's a real alive gemstone and you'll notice it from great distances yeah. as well won't yeah. you yeah it's very unique looking yeah unique. even you know if you can picture I don't know, something, um, a really simple outfit maybe, um, and all the focus being on your malachite, a piece of jewellery, even if it's just simply re-stranding around the decolletage or in a bracelet, whatever it might be, it's going to really draw yeah. the eye, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not, it's not a super sparkly gemstone, it's not got like clarity to it, it will just draw that attention yeah. straight away because it's got that beautiful array of those greens. And like you said, there's a vibrant greens, there's darker greens on there. I'm Some loving the, the textures as well, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, and you know, these nugget um, strands, I, I must want to call them small tumbles because I don't like the word nuggets. I don't like the word nuggets or chips. Chickens when it's nuggets, yeah. I don't yeah. like the word chips or nuggets. No. Yeah, small, small tumbles. Small tumbles, I think that's more appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Still got quantity, but they are flying. Um, now, we did, have a co we did have a competition running this week, uh, this hour, sorry. It was count your chicks. How many chicks were there? There were five. Some of them particularly che cheeky chicks. One was even perched on my shoulder. <laughs> Wasn't it? I cheeky chick. One. Did you see that one? No, I missed that one. Did you miss that one? Yeah. Um, I had to see, sit really still. Okay, I was like, don't move. Okay. Um, who's our winner? Who's our winner? That's getting £50 credited to their JM account. Who? Mary and Jerry. One account, it is one account. Uh, congratulations, you are our first competition winner of the day. If you loved, if you, if you loved that, we've got them running throughout the course of the show as well. Um, throughout the course of the, um, the day, rather, the day. So you got £50 credited to your GM account. Fabulous, well done. Congratulations. Tell you what, it's not a bad start to the day, is it? No, it's very good Not a good bad start. start. Now, up next, we have got your beautiful kit with a wonderful fleur. It's limited edition. We haven't got that many. Um, an hour until we launch your DVD. Um, oh, fabulous. So excited. We've got a thousand quantity of that. The deal of the day is beautiful as well, so, as is this wonderful lady. Not only she's beautiful, she's inspiring. So make sure you stay with us. Fleurs, up next. <laughs> Tune in on Monday the 17th of April for the launch of Fleur Hastings' Chainmail Dragons and More DVD. On this DVD, Fleur will teach you everything you need to know about aspect ratios as well as some fascinating chainmail techniques including dragon steps, alligator back and Jen's pinned linkage. Take your chainmail jewellery to the next level and make sure you're tuned in this Bank Holiday Monday at 10am. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, 
you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $2.95 or, if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $4.95. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that Jewelry Maker's phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Welcome back Jewelry Makers and happy Easter! Easter Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. What are you up to today? Um, Apart um, from being here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from being here right here right now and um, launching a DVD which is pretty big and huge but other than that. Neve wants to go shopping afterwards so hopefully the shops are open. My daughter. That's your daughter yeah. Neve, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. you're going to be spoiling your little one. Yeah. It's easy to do yeah. isn't it? Hello Mary and Jerry. Uh, whoop! We won! Now we can buy Fleur's new DVD and kits. We have watched all weekend and spent a fortune. Oh, brilliant. Fabulous. Congratulations to you both. You deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. It's coming up in just under an hour's time. Um, I tell you what, this kit though, I wish I had more. I really do. And it's sometimes it's infuriating when you've got something as beautiful as this to only have about 60 of them. Sorry. Only 60 birds can have a house. Literally. <laughs> 60, 60 birds will be very happy in their, in their lovely diners. The rest of the bird population are going to have to make it on their own. Yep. Sorry about There's that. There's no room at the end. No. Um, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> this is gorgeous. Um, all joking aside, I mean, fabulous, isn't it? you just got a little bit of personality, your, your personality in this. <laughs> Robin's Diner. There's the menu. I love it. What's on the menu today? A little bit of sunflower seeds. Yep. A bit of suet. Yeah. Yeah. All yep. things yummy. Yep. Peanuts, maybe. <laughs> Can I turn this round? It will spin round as well. You oh, will spin it? it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Can we see that? There are strict rules at Robin's Diner. And there's no squirrels allowed. Because I had a lovely bird feeder yeah. and the little robins and the blue tits and everything were all feeding and the squirrel came and knocked it down and robbed all the seeds. So no squirrels allowed. No squirrels, naughty squirrels. Um, and to be honest, they'd probably be a bit snug in there, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's why I thought I'd make it quite small so that little birds... And I did, I had to have a look to see how big... Robins and that. Did you actually of, size up yeah. robins? And then I weighed as well. I got found how much they were. And I weighed. <laughs> like that, giving no. them a little measure. I went on the internet. Yeah. I didn't how, much the do, how much do they weigh? I can't remember now. It's only a couple of ounces, not very much, a couple of ounces or whatever. Bless. But yeah, I did, um, I did weight test it as well. <laughs> did you? Wow. See, a lot of thought has gone into uh, your little uh, bird feeder. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and this is obviously using your raw copper. Yes. Yeah. So um, you, if, you, if you already make with wonderful sheet metal, then fantastic. Um, you'll, you'll probably know about how you actually cut this, etc. If you're brand new to it, Give it a go, give it a go, because Fleur is going to be giving you the demonstrations and guidance on how to create this fantastic piece. Um, now, this is chainmail, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got chainmail on the sides as well, because the chainmail's um, quite a strong structure, and so it's, uh, it will hold the weight of a robin. <laughs> There's 500 jump rings in this kit. So, yes, we're talking about the bird feeder, but it can be used for your yeah, jewellery, of yeah. course, as well. Um, okay, I need to get cracking because we haven't got that many of them. The graphics are already on your screen. So, 500 jump rings in all the different gauges. Um, so, we've actually got 100 of 6 mil, 7.5 in a 100 of those, 
and your 9 mil and there's 200 of your 7 mil. Am I there's right to say? Oh, and there's well. some ovals. Yes, yeah, so there's oval, um, there's 9 millimeter of 100 and then you've got your oval jump rings. Yeah. I'm going to pop a, they're, I'm gonna, they're the 7x5. I'm going to pop a couple of each. They're the 9 millimeter ones. So there. I'm starting with the 9 mil because there's so many, bear with me. They're the 7, Sevens, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. More sevens. Then, which one's next? The ovals. The ovals. Now, why do we use oval jump rings? So, oval jump rings are really, really great to use, um, especially for ending of your jewellery as well, because of um, the cuts on the side, so they're a stronger jump ring. But I've used the oval jump rings for the helm weave that's on the side, that's holding the sides together. Um, you can also use a six millimetre if you want, but the oval jump ring's really nice. If you just turn the... Um, the, the helm weave, if you just turn to the side, you'll be able to see the helm weave a little bit more. Um, so you can see there the oval jump rings, the one in the centre that's sort of like holding it together. Mm -hmm. So you can see there the, the oval ah, jump yeah. ring that's there. Yeah, absolutely. So Have I got all the gauges on my, on my I think I'm missing some one. Five mil, uh, some four millimetre, uh, sorry, six millimetres. Which ones am I missing? The, these? these ones, yeah. These ones here. Yeah. I was thinking that's, I'm missing some. Right, okay, there we go. There's, there we go, that's all the different gauges of jump rings, and you're getting, so, 100, 100, 100, so you, and 200. So you get 200 of the 7mm, 100 of the 9mm, 100 of the 6mm, and 100 of the ovals. So they're going to last a long time. A long time. Um, plus... So all of your jump rings, which you use outside of, uh, of chain mailing as well, all of your jump rings, plus your sheet metal. Now, this is a lot. It is. Two sheets, so they're six by six um, in your bare copper. Now, really substantial. If I hold it, ooh, it's actually going through me, that sound. If I actually show you the um, thickness of them, so they're really substantial, yeah. aren't they? One's 0 0.6 and one's 0 0.5, which 0.1 of a millimetre doesn't seem like much of a difference, but one is very flexible and one is quite secure, one is more structured. Yeah, so I can, tell, I can feel which one's yeah. which. So you, with that 0.5, that's the one that we're going to make the, the roof with because that's the easiest one to bend. And then the, the 0.6 is the, is the more structural one, if you like. You literally can see and feel that one yeah. millimetre difference, yeah. can't it's you? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. In terms of pendants, if we were going to be using these for jewellery, pendants, charms, dog yep. tags, whatever it might be, um, you're going to get multiple. Of, yes, aren't you? Definitely, yeah. Now, should be £33.65 pence for 700 jump rings, I'm not, sorry, 500 jump rings, and your two sheets of your, of your bare <coughs> copper um, in the two different gauges as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that seems very inexpensive. I remember once upon a time when we first introduced it, it was actually very expensive. Mm. Well, copper is expensive, yeah, it is isn't expensive, it? Yeah, it's expensive, yeah. Um, especially with that thicker gauge. If you want to do price comparisons, make sure you are actually considering the thickness of the sheet at metal themselves. Twenty one ninety five, Fleur. It's perfect. It's with, um, the, the thing is with, with copper sheets, um, like we were saying um, on the last show that was on when we were doing some piercing out with the copper sheet, it's very difficult to find um, copper in manageable sizes. Yeah. Because it, I used to have to buy mine from roofing suppliers and they'd all have really sharp, scraggy ends on them and I'd cut my hands on them trying to cut them down into um, you know manageable sizes this is a perfect size to work with so you don't have to worry about sort of yeah um, splinters almost metal yeah. splinters yeah. Uh, Sharon and Essa say morning got my kit going to make one of one for my dad uh, for Father's Day uh, will be my first attempt using sheet metals wish me luck um, oh, yeah. oh what a lovely idea that's yeah, lovely and it's this is a really simple project as well it's um it doesn't use any sort of like fancy tools if you like you can cut the cut everything out with your shears so so you uh, don't need to have like huge amounts saws, of saws no. or anything like that no, so like fabulous that. idea so anybody that's new to sheet metal like Sharon there yeah yeah give it a go give it a go um okay should we start demoing then yeah okay. what do we do to make this lovely little uh robin's robin's den isn't it robin's diner robin's diner i almost said robin's shack <laughs> it's more of a could shack be, isn't yeah, it could be. i was more thinking like american i'm picturing these robins yeah, sliding their I, drinks across the uh, across the bar neve said to me are you going to make seats to go in there i was like no neve robin's like seats. that swinging yeah. their legs <laughs> yeah <laughs> a little bar at the back. <laughs> Propping it up like this. <laughs> Contemplating life. 
<laughs> the next one. I did do, um, um, I did make one that was, I made it too sort of like advanced and too intricate, if you like. So I thought I'd simplify it down and really just so everybody can have a go at it. If you've never had a go at metal work before, this is absolutely perfect because you don't need to have lots of experience working with metal well, sheets. Well, and not only that, you know, you, if you want it to be a usable piece, you need space for the, for, yeah. for the nuts. Yeah, you do. You do. You, you do need you need you need areas where you can yeah. actually put the nuts yeah. and the feed. Yeah, you don't for the need, birds. You don't need seats and bars. No, not you don't need them. Right. So the first thing we're going to do now, I've got um, a different. Um, this one's unbrushed because I made two roofs and one roof didn't work. So I okay. used my second sample. So this is just you not got you haven't got the, the the shiny one. You've got the textured one. But the textured ones look nicer when they're patinaed anyway. Yes. So what you need to do to start, we're going to start with the roof. Okay, so for the roof, what we need to do is we need to pierce four holes into the corners of each of each corner on your square. Okay, so just at the top there, I've got a two millimeter hole. Now I have used two millimeter gauge um, wire. We will show you a different way if you haven't got a two millimeter gauge wire um, to be able to use to, to create the rivets, if you like. So we're going to create these four holes to start with. If you don't create the, the holes to start with, it's very difficult when you've bent it into a roof bet, shape yeah. to be able to then rivet these little hooks in place. And you wouldn't want to distort it, would you? No, no. And it is um, it is easy to you can sort of like manipulate it back. It's you've got quite a few goes before you know you've ruined it like right. I did the first one. Fair enough. <laughs> and I think I had about 15 goes at that one so that's absolutely fine. Half the stock has gone and by the way Fleur having these attempts is good for you yes, so you know yeah, what, 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 what to avoid. Yeah. So half the stock of the kit has gone um, and there's loads still in baskets so do dial through as soon as you possibly can. 500 jump rings and the two uh, sheets of your bare copper. Okay. Okay so we're going to like I said we're going to start with the roof because that's the first, the roof size then determines how big your platform is because it's smaller, the platform underneath is smaller when you bend yeah. the roof over, so that you do the roof first. And what we're going to create are these little loops, if you like, so it's just using a piece of wire and then we're going to rivet it together. Now, depending on the size of the wire that you're using depends on the size of the hole that you need to put in. So our hole punches that we've got, you know, the, the dual-ended hole punches, yeah. they're absolutely perfect and there is a two millimetre one there as well. So you a two, two millimetre or 2.1, which, whichever one it is, is, is perfect because what we need to do is create a rivet. So if I just, can you see that there? So that piece of wire, if you like, is on the other side and then hammered flat into a rivet. So it's, it's secured in place. Okay, so yeah, okay. So you can okay. see there that, that yeah, little rivet there. The so it's just going to create this little loop. So and what, what gauge wire have you used? I've used a two millimetre wire, but you can use um, a 1.5 if you've got some of the aluminium wire as well. Mm -hmm. That will work. If you've got, if you haven't got any wire, what you can do is you can create a double sort of like eye pin loop or double wrapped loop on either side of the hole and just have a little loop hanging down as well. So that's if you don't want to have a go at the riveting, if you want to keep it really simple, we can show you that as well. I'm wondering, could I even use like some kind of material or rope yeah you can do it yeah yeah pop a little bit of rope through there it's just something to be able to connect the the roof and the platform together that's all you need yep. so it's just those two areas that you need to connect together okay. so if you want to have a go at riveting that's no problem if you want to keep it simpler you can do a rat loop on either end of like a one mil gauge wire it's just something to be able to attach your chain mm -hmm. mail to or your ropes whatever you're going to use and then you'll just have little loops at the bottom so you could actually then put like a little Jemson at the bottom if you want to yeah. do a little um, little chainmail section. So I'm just going to bring across the um, this little vice. Now vice very sci-fi so looking. <laughs> these vices are brilliant to use. They, we've got some that um, it's not going to connect down now. Oh, there we go. So these are absolutely brilliant to use to create your little rivets. So what I've made is I've made like a little eye a little eye loop. So all I've done is I've used my baling pliers and just created a little loop and then I've got a little tiny bit of wire sticking out. It's very important that this top bit here is cut flat, okay, because that's what you're going to spread the metal out to create your rivet, okay. So I've got one already set up into here because it's really difficult to out of pinch my fingers, which I did do. 
Oh, and you did. Yesterday. So do be careful when you're using yeah, vices then. Be careful when you're popping the little piece of wire in. And what I found easier is just to hold it in your pliers and yeah. then tighten or get someone to help you tighten the vice up as you're holding it yeah. in your pliers. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see there, I've only got a tiny, tiny little bit of wire sticking up. So it's not very much wire sticking up. The more wire you've got sticking up, the worse your rivet will become to make. So you only need a tiny little bit of, of metal, if you like, sticking up. So I've got my got my piece of metal here with the same size hole. So I've got a two millimeter wire and I've got a two millimeter hole mm -hmm. there. I'm just going to pop that over the top. Now you've got to just look at the way that the um, your loops are going. So your first loop, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that all the rivets are on the top and all uh -huh. the loops are yeah, in the Yeah, all going in the same direction. Yeah, and they're all facing the same direction. Because once this is hammered in place, there's not a lot we can do to turn it other than to take the rivet out. So what I'm going to do now is take up my, this little tiny hammer that comes in one of our hammer kits. It's just a hammer with a flat face, quite a, um, a light hammer, if you like. So it's just one of the little ones that come into the hammer impact. And we're going to use the flat side there. Mm -hmm. Now this is a riveting hammer. So this is designed, this section here is designed to spread metal into a rivet. But what we're going to do is we're just going to start to tap. This is very satisfying. And what I'm doing now is I'm, as I'm tapping, I'm sort of like stroking across the surface to try and spread that metal a little bit more. And this, this is moving because it's not designed to to rivet onto. Usually when you rivet as well, what you need to do is be right over the top of it so you can see, because I can't see the other side of this. So I'm just hammering it down, hammering it flat, and then I'm going to get a nice big hammer. Oh, I'll give it one big whack. And then just hammer it flat. So that now should, it might not be in place, because like I said, I can't see right over the other side. But that's the principle of, of sort of like Riveting. Stroking the edges out almost yeah. with the hammer. So this one I don't think is riveted very well, but could you just hold that there a minute out while I, I can. undo the, the thing? So, which way do you undo it? That way. <laughs> it's Live like, television. I can't do it. Live television. I tell you what, whilst you're yeah, whilst doing, doing that, that. No, to, so, we, so we can take the pressure off you yeah. for a minute, I'm going to bring you some tools because you did mention about using um, using tools to uh, sort of, you know, uh, pop things in your um, in your clamps if you like. Yeah, let's, let, let's, let, let, let's show you these so we can take the pressure off our lovely <laughs> flute. Um, now we only have just under 100 of these available. They are your long, uh, long, let me move my cup of tea out of the way, sorry. Um, they are your long chain nose pliers, so great for chain mailing because they do really get into those intricate areas, don't they? I'll pop it out of the pack for you. You two always talk about sort of your pliers being an extension of your hands, don't yeah, you, Flo? Yeah, definitely, yeah, they are. And these are absolutely brilliant because you've got those longer handles. It's great for larger jump rings as well or holding a holding a very um, fine jump ring still because you can keep them into the jaws perfectly and they don't wriggle around if you like and yeah. bend up out of shape so do you use the entire length of, 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 of your pliers if you've got a really big jump ring, like the nine millimeter jump rings then yes definitely you um, you would use the whole the whole of that plier and these are the five and a half it. inches as well so that's referring to sort of point to um, point to point aren't they yeah. tip to tip yeah so how long they actually are. Um, they come with the comfort grip as well, so um, they're very nice, to, really lovely to use. And if you're working in a medium light chain mail where it does tend to be quite intricate work and your tools are really essentials, it's worth, it's worth getting quality tools as well rather than sort of uh, uh, cheaper imitations. That being said, our tools are definitely described as, 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 as quality. I mean, you use them every time I all see you time, demonstrating. Yeah, all the time, yeah. And... Um, they're not hugely considered, which you'd expect. Normally, we have to invest in our tools, don't we? Four ninety-five for these. So, a couple would you suggest getting yep. if you're thinking of starting chain mailing? For chain mailing, all you need are two pairs of these pliers, and you can create everything on all the DVDs that we've done on chain mail. If you want to add gemstones, and obviously you need your round nose and your cutters to be able to cut the um, the pieces of wire and create the loops, but mm -hmm. for, for 
um, traditional chain mail where you're just linking jump ring to jump ring. All you need is two pairs of chain mail pliers. And that's it, that's basically. It. So yeah, um, get hold of uh, get hold of two of these. Ten pounds, just under ten pounds in actual fact. And you're away, and you get your yep. jump rings. And um, the DVD's been launched in about forty minutes' time. So very very excited about that. We've got a thousand quantity. It is um, your dragon chain mail dragons um, and more. It's got dragons, two dragons and more. Love that, <laughs> love that really, because I wasn't lucky enough to film that with you, so I'm really excited to see the clips of those. Um, okay, just before we move on to the next demonstration, shall I bring you some gorgeous rose gold silver stardust beads? Because you know what, even birds need bling. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They do, they're about like a little, you know, a little, a, a little anklet or a little, uh, <laughs> They've got you know. very skinny ankles. They have got little skinny ankles, little skinny ankles. Did Danny just say he's got skinny ankles? I thought you just said I've got skinny ankles. No? Um, <laughs> look at these. They are perfect for your little if you for your little birdhouse. Just to add that little bit of sparkle and also texture as well. Because let's not forget, you know, these will age beautifully as well. Any precious metal will. Yeah. How would you include these into your into your kit? Just a little so, bit of bling on the menu, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe? I'd put one on the menu, and then maybe one hanging down from the uh, the the sign, the diner sign. Yeah. Definitely. What about as a little doorbell? You could have a doorbell, yeah. You could have a doorbell. Little little handle. Hello. Do you know what? It is going to be the most sophisticated bird diner ever. I've got one on our wall. It's nowhere near as nice as this, I can tell you that. And in actual fact, it's got, I've got one of those bird um, feeders that's kind of got the door. Oh, yeah. That opens and closes. Oh, that's a posh one. Well, well no, not really, because the door closes and I'm always conscious oh, that it might shut. Stuck in. It might shut. The, I've never found a bird stuck in yeah. there. But, yeah, the with the wind, it's been blowing that open. Ooh, yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to... Poor, yeah. poor bird to be stuck in there. Um, anyway, you get 20 of them, 4 millimetre stardust beads, 12.95. Absolutely beautiful with your deal of the day that's coming up as well, your filigree beads. Um, but today, not 12.95, we've been seeing the deals. It's a massive morning for us here at Jewelry Maker. We've got um, DVD launch and uh, an incredible deal of the day um, lined up over the next few hours, 7.95. Still the same solid, precious, desirable sterling silver. Still the same um, amazing gram weight. Just a fraction of the price tag. If you got the malachite earlier on, don't you think these look oh, beautiful? Be beautiful with malachite. What about with pearls? Yep. And the um, Zambian amethyst. Oh yeah. That amethyst showcase, whichever amethyst that strand would look that you, beautiful. you choose. Um, how about in, in amongst your your dragons? Yeah. So with your with the alligator back, the one that's in the the black. Um, bracelet, mm -hmm. you can actually put the these Stardust rondelles onto the design and, and weave them into the design as you're going. Oh yes, that look. One's, that one's got um, spinel going through can the middle see? of it. Can you see? Rondelles? Could, yeah, but you could actually put your these silver Stardust spaces in between as well. Perfectly name that alligator back because you can yeah. actually see the spine, can't yeah, you and almost? The, the other bracelet has got the belly. So you get a, the back of the alligator and the belly of the I alligator. I love that, love that. Yeah, that would be gorgeous, especially with all of those lovely colours and yeah, precious metals. Yeah. Look at how many of you there. Uh, 7 95 fabulous. And, and, and a great com um, um, addition to, uh, to this kit. Can I just give you a sneaky peek before we go back to the demonstration? Because look at this. Wow, look at I wanted colours. to show you over here. <gasps> I know. Purple. Look at, look at that beautiful pink in that I know, one. I know. Coming That's up amazing. and about... 20 minutes time, can I show you this? In fact, let me double it over so you see more. There we go. Look at the colours that, that are coming from this Ethiopian opal. Oh my goodness. Amazing, isn't it? That's coming up in about 20 minutes time. We've got more rose gold spaces coming up as well. So not long to wait for those. Okay, back to you. Okay, so you can either rivet your the one end, so doing as we showed you, you do need a vice or something to hold that in. Or you could, if you wanted to, just do a little loop on either end. It's just something to be able to um, to sort of like hang that, that platform to the to the actual roof and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So you can do that and then the, all I've done is pop a little loop on the bottom. So that's no problem at all because the weight of it hanging will keep it flat. Uh -huh. So now we've got all those four in place, we can now start to bend the roof. So what I've got here is I've just, because it's a six, mil, uh, six inch square, I've just 
drawn a line down the middle at three at three inches just so I've got um, I've just got a little bit more of um, a definite line that I can bend across okay so to actually create the bend it's a little bit easier if you use your pliers so if you've got those beautiful flat nose pliers that you've just those chain nose pliers they would be perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go just one side of that line and I'm just going to create a little bend oh so now I I've wasn't done. expecting it to be that easy yeah so all I've done is because when you create this bend it just starts the bend a little bit easier uh -huh. and now because it's so soft you can start to bend it so you can see it's bending now you're literally folding it just folding it I was, over. I was expecting you to be scoring and... No, just literally bend it over. If you've got dexterity problems and you want to pop it in a vise and gently hammer it over, you can do. If you've got a, a sharp edge on a table, mm, so if I was idea. to pop it there, you can bend it against that because it's so malleable and the heat from your hands will start to bend it. So I've now got my roof shape. So as from easy as shape, that? For, so from, but it does help by having those two little creases either side. Yeah. It really helps by popping those in first. And then you get, you don't get a definite line, you get like more of a, a nice arch. So if I just turn it there, you can see it's more of a nice arch shape that uh -huh. you've got rather than um, a definite angle. Yeah. So what we need to do now is to create the bottom of our, of our um, birdhouse. What we're going to do is pop it onto there and see how much we've got left over so this is what creates your signs on the side here yeah so all you need to do then is you can either draw draw a line across there or scribe a line with something that's you know sharp just along there and then using your shears you just cut cut the actual base plate out fabulous so i mean i possibly i'd if you want a little bit shorter so there we go so I've, that's now got more of an angle to it yeah and it's a nice you know it's, it's even on either side so what I'd do now is just draw a line down there and I haven't got see what I can draw it with see if that will work so you can yes yeah, score it you can use um, um, a permanent marker pen yeah, couldn't a permanent you permanent marker pen yeah any anything like that and then all you're going to do is taking your now I I might not be able to do this because I did break a little bone in my hand on Saturday did you yeah I dropped the hammer on my hand don't drop hammers on your hand no, try not to do that. So well, don't, I don't, don't, don't struggle with it, will you? No. So all you need to do then is just cut along the line. And then if, when you get to the point where you can't cut anymore, if you just bend, bend that little section out of the way and then keep going. So you've cut Would out Would you like me hole. to cut it? No, it's fine. It's cutting through. It's not hurting that much, honest. <laughs> so just keep bending that out of the way. And just keep. And cutting. do be careful because it gets quite sharp now, isn't it? It does, yeah. When you're cutting with shears rather than with a saw, it can get a little bit sharper. So you do need to then um, sand this down. So if you've got um, a little bit of wet and dry sandpaper or something like your files, that will just sand it down. So mm -hmm. I'm nearly at the end now. What you can do to make it easier, you just turn it around and then cut from this end. And the best way to cut is not to let it go right to the end. So you keep, you stop your cut before it, it clips down onto the end. Yeah. That way you don't get lots of little jagged edges. Yeah. So I've now got this part here, which is now my signs. So that's all for my signs. And I've now got my base plate. But as you can see there, I've just got a little jagged edge here. So what I would do is using a file, just go along and file all the edges and make sure this is nice and smooth because you don't want the little birds to um, to hurt themselves. No, of course not, no. So then what you're going to do from then on is you're going to pop your four holes into the corners again, so four holes in each corner and do exactly the same as what you did to the roof, either riveting those little loops in place or just popping wrap loops in place. And then it's just a case of assembling with your chain mail. So I've used a helm weave to assemble it because you've got so many different sizes <coughs> of jump rings in there you could use any chain mail really that you that you know yeah. um, so you don't have to stick to, to the helm weave if you know byzantine byzantine look lovely in this or box weave something that's substantial that will hold the weight and then finally all you need to do is pop a little hole into the middle now you don't put the hole into the middle of the roof uh, before you start if you put the hole in the middle of the roof when you try and bend it what will happen is this hole will start to crack 
Okay, so, so you do you that as a top tip so, then. Yeah, do it, you, do it afterwards. Do this one afterwards. If you haven't got um, a handheld drill or, a, or something like that that you can hold, that, that you can sort of like drill through, what you can do is just get a really nice big nail and hammer the nail down through it so you just pierce... Oh, okay. Through, and then you just pop your little hanging Which way would there. you do that? That way or that no, way? I always go from that way. So uh -huh. pop it from into the middle. And what the best way to um, pop a hole into any sort of metal is to create a guide hole first. So just get something that's got a sharp point on it. Or if you've got the, um, the letter stamps, just yep. one of the um, full stops, something like that, just to create an indent so the drill doesn't skip out either side. So you just pop a little indent in and then drill down through the middle and there... You can then Construct. assemble, and it is it's basic it's construction. It's then it is basic construction. If you don't, if you don't want to do chain mail, you want to use rope or kumihimo, something like that. I would always say use something that doesn't degrade fast because yeah, relatively go weatherproof. Outside. Yeah, um, you could, if you want to, just wire them together. Just put four struts of wire either side. That's but that idea. is as simple as it is, and it really. I think the whole birdhouse with the chain mail and everything took about two hours, two, three hours by the time I'd done all the chain mail. So it's a real substantial piece and it doesn't take very long to create at all. And it's then gorgeous. You can, and then I just dip that into some liver of sulphur yeah. with a little bit of uh, washing up liquid in there to get those nice red red colours coming through. And then... Um, and it's as simple as it is. It, it really is a really simple project. But doesn't it make you smile? Funny if it's the first thing I noticed when I stepped into the studio this morning. I was like, oh, that's gorgeous, especially as we're sort of approaching yeah. the summer months yeah. now. We still have quantity, but not many of the kits, so do get uh, check those out as soon as you possibly can. Now, uh, shall I bring you some beautiful seed beads? Um, in sterling silver because seed beads most of us will think about you know your mayuki or your um, or your check glass beads yeah. and things like that but um, let's not forget gemstones and also your precious metals can also be um, incorporated into your seed beading designs um, yeah you can use these as with, within standard beading but imagine maybe creating I don't know what's what's all the, what, a peyote stitch or yeah. something like that exclusively with sterling silver because it goes like fabric, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Um, I've, I've not really had much of a go at seed beading. Um, I'm still a bit frightened of it. So I have had a little go, a little play, but it is really easy to, to start your stitching. And like you say, it's almost like chain mail, it creates a fabric. Yeah, it with does. Your, with your um, beads. One thing you do really love and are very good at is uh, shibori ribbon, and these yes, would be fabulous for shibori. Yeah, so it would be a real. They're the perfect size, engine. aren't they? If you've yeah. not heard of that, it's like a lovely. Uh, it's, it's Japanese silk, basically. That's folded, and it's um, the inspiration of it was the driving rain. Mm -hmm. So really beautiful, loads and loads of colours, and you embellish it basically with with gemstones or seed beads, with whatever you see fit. Basically, these would be gorgeous for that. You get forty within a pack, solid sterling silk. They are your rose gold, rose gold plated. Oh, you get 40. Did I say 20? Um, yeah, they are normally only 20, aren't they? So you do get 40. Is that a double bundle? Is it a bundle then? 8.95? I don't know. I don't know. It just... That seems, that seems like a large quantity. I use these for pearl knotting because traditionally you would go through the first and the last pearl twice. But I use these to, to instead of that, Wow. Wow. That's, yeah. That's I, the reason why I, I, I all of a sudden went a bit silent was because I heard Danny say this was going to happen. Wow. £4.95 for 40 individual um, sterling silver beads. I mean, there's only 100 of these in stock, so do get them whilst you can. If you were to pop one of these instead of your knots in amongst your pearls, you all still right. wouldn't use the whole pack, would you? No. No, no, because I would probably only put it into the front section as well. I'd probably have put 10 in a design. So I'd have 10 of those gorgeous um, beads, you know, instead of the knots. Half the stock's gone already. Um, half the stock's, oh gosh, look how many of you have got it in your baskets. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, how about in amongst the opal that we've got coming up? What yeah. time at the top of the hour? 10 minutes? 10 minutes time. Play of colour is what you're looking for in terms of uh, um, desirability and rarity of this gemstone. It's silica spheres that are bringing you that wonderful, um, I want to say illusion, but it's, and it, it is, isn't it? The more colours, the more primary those colours, the more surface area of the opal that is displaying play of colour, the more valuable it actually is. So this is coming up in about 10 minutes time. Don't you think in amongst with your rose gold? 
just dotted in between mm. so that the light can influence the entire surfaces mm. of the gemstone. Um, immensely popular, looking like it is going to be a sellout. Right, moving on to beautiful chain. That's a it's really described nice chain. as a crisscross chain. Look at that link. Bear with me. Oh, wow. Okay, I look at that as more of a helix than a crisscross, mm. don't you? It's got the sliding ball, and I'm just showing you there, so you can wear it as a choker if you wanted to, um, or you can wear it as, there you go, I'm literally holding it there, I'll shut, take my fingers away, 3.5 grams, so you can wear this like a lariat style, um, or as a normal chain. So if I just show you, if I extend it fully up against the neckline, crisscross chain, so you've got lots of texture, I mean, look at that from a distance, isn't it gorgeous? Mm. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? It's gorgeous. That one's a standalone, isn't it? Yeah. I, I actually don't think I'd be doing anything no. to this no. at all. So I'm wearing it, sort of, imagine, imagine me, it obviously, on, um, and that's sort of the standard way. But then if I wanted to, I could very easily turn, it, turn the actual slider ball into the focal point, if you like, the feature, and wear it like this, at whatever length I wanted to. It's so a very versatile. It gives you a vers. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. that's me. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Wearing yeah. it like that. Um, it can go right the way up to 45 centimeters, which is approximately nine, 18, 19 inch, uh, inches in terms of its length. But similarly, you can wear it as a 16 inch if you wanted to as well. Um, very easy to adorn if you wanted yeah. to, or leave it as it is. So 17 inches. 17 inches. I personally would be wearing it as a standalone piece. Yeah, I think I, chokers are everywhere at the moment as well. So chokers, you can have it at choker length and have that really long, then adornment of that, that beautiful drape. It's fabulous, isn't it? Look at that luster. Three and a half grams of sterling silver you've got that here. That is beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? That's like red carpet look, mm, isn't it? The it is. Every single one of those tiny, I want to say facets, but it's not, obviously. They're, they're sort of... Um, and details on the sterling silver, every single one of those, look, look how they're playing with the light. It's probably one of the sparkliest chains I think we've got within the vault or have ever launched. Would you agree? Definitely. Twelve ninety five only for three and a half grams. And it's, it's got a lovely lobster claw clasp yeah. as well, like a nice substantial one so you can actually hold on to it. Yeah. And I suppose with the, with the um, slider clasp as well there, it's easier to do it up. Yeah, it will do. It'll Just have that more, uh, more of a rigidity. Yeah. Uh, to it, I have to concentrate on that word. Um, but then loads and loads and loads of you there. Isn't it beautiful? I love that one. Wedding, for a wedding day, yeah. that would be stunning as well. Hello, Sinead, you say, morning, Alan Fleur. Fleur, I've sent, my, I've sent my alarm clock extra early to get my yeah. hands on your new DVD. Yeah, um, you. Yes, well, it's coming up in about ooh, 25 minutes time. 25 minutes. Um, fabulous, you're a thousand quantity. Every single one of those will go. Every single one. Moving on to... I do buy one, you know, for my children. So if I ever... Um, can't remember anything. I'm sat in, a, sat in a home going, I used to be on the telly, you know. They can show the DVD. They can say, prove it. They can prove it. <laughs> I'm not a crazy old lady just... <laughs> well, you should buy them as well. I mean, these, these must, they're proud moments for you as designers. And a lot of work goes into actually like launching a DVD. Yeah, yeah they are like 100%. Should we give you a different... Um, sorry, Danny, this one was 13, I think. Um, right, give you a different take on your, on, on your slider necklace, immensely popular collection that we launched. This is um, your snake chain, so it's a really beautiful, soft, liquid-like chain, very linear in its design, very sleek in its design. Um, if you literally sort of run your finger over it, you can feel the smoothness. Do be careful with your snake chains, because they are so, uh, well, actually f incredibly intricate. Um, do be careful how you actually store them. I make sure they're also always laid out mm -hmm. flat because they can buckle. I'm not saying they can't be repaired after that buckle, but it, it, it's definitely a high-end chain, yeah. one, to be, one to be looked after. Again, exactly the same mechanism that you saw with the crisscross chain earlier on. That can be, it's, it's essentially adjustable, um, very versatile. So you're wearing it from your choker or maybe even as a lariat style down the back, mm -hmm. um, sort of 
down the, the, the back of the neckline if you wanted to um, right the way up to 45 centimeters but then you can always add to that as well I've, I've spoken or had messages into the studio with many of our jewelry maker customers, customers saying L I multi buy and I'll wear it yeah connected connected together, together. yeah I think that's a good idea really good idea 995 this one for me is perfect for a pendant and that beautiful pendant that we did in the early in the previous hour yeah with the half drilled post on there yeah that gorgeous beautiful, that very stylish design or even we like the dragon scale pendant that we've got on this oh, on the DVD. oh yes that would be you know, amazing something like that because it's substantial enough to be able to hold a big chainmail pendant yeah over three grams 3.2 in total yes yeah, so the pendant that's being um displayed and you'll be able to create alongside the dvd be perfect on this yeah it? absolutely perfect I totally agree with what you're saying because it's substantial and yep. all the focus is then going to be on on the actual dragon scale itself fabulous 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 check out those baskets as soon as you possibly can it's very satisfying and so it's, a, it's yeah. a beautifully tactile chain it's just like silk it is like silk lovely isn't it okay moving on oh look at this oh that's nice it's going to go with, I'm looking at your pieces of jewellery mm. again. How about some little garments yeah. on, your, on, your, on your birdhouse? You know, seriously, I can't believe that. I mean, it's taking it to another level. We're talking about could, decorating yeah. birdhouses with gemstones. You could put like little curtains in there. Garnet curtains for a little Robin's Diner. Like it's going to be a doll's house before I finished. <laughs> Maybe Claire can't have it. Maybe I need to adorn it a bit more. <laughs> and these little, are definitely be. Little curtains. Aren't they beautiful? Um, this is, of course, your garnet. Garnet is a gemstone that comes in a variation of saturations and hues. This rich sort of full-bodied red, like a glass of Merlot, or um, you can have sort of lovely purplish garnets. You can have... Um, Zavarite garnet, which is green. Um, you can have Spessartite garnet, which is a, a really vivacious orange. All of which have got one thing in common: amazing refraction. So all of that brilliance and sparkle is because this gemstone has an ability to play with the light um, in abundance, basically. So if you love sparkly gemstones, then garnet is definitely faceted garnet is definitely definitely one for you. Um, they're double stranded, effectively as well, aren't they? Because they're crammed, absolutely crammed onto um, onto the strand that you're about to own. 50 carats. It's totally and utterly natural. There's no way of actually um, enhancing garnet within a laboratory. It's either beautifully desirable gem quality gems, ju just like these, or not. 17.95. Wow. Conversation that I had with a gemologist um, a couple of years ago, and he was actually saying quality like this we're only going to be seeing in, or he believed, I should say, quality like this he's, uh, we're only going to be seeing in gold in the future, not sterling yeah. silver, such as, you know, so limited as, uh, as the amount like this coming out of the ground. But you could, you could use it with your rose gold, mm. sterling silver. Oh, gosh, yeah. Space bees. You could emulate those top designers by using it with your precious metals. I just, I think garnet's one of those um, gemstones you get lost looking into. You do, it's you do. Because you get fire like a diamond. Yeah. You get wonderful um, displays of scintillation and brilliance. Shirley saying, hi ladies, I'm getting on a treat with my chain mail. Thanks, Fleur. Uh, you taught me well. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Oh, she's a good teacher, isn't she, Shirley? <laughs> Send those pictures in so we can admire it as well to the Wall of Fame. Look at that against the hand. It's that sparkle. It's just beautiful. You're quite it? right. You do get lost in it. There's that brilliance and it's because it is a highly refractive gemstone. Um, in fact, it's going to give you more fire and brilliance than, than diamonds in it. Uh, um, does, it does look like in actual diamonds, fact. doesn't it? It does, it's yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Can you imagine how much this, would this be if they were red diamonds? Certainly wouldn't be seventeen ninety five anyway. Certainly wouldn't be that. Okie dokie. We have the Ethiopian Opal and it's up next. Are you ready? Because this is going to be a very special auction of the weekend. It is your Easter deal. <laughs> Uh, 
Now, the nature of gemstones means that sometimes they're abundant, sometimes they're not. Um, and it, it becomes something very apparent, I think, when you start shopping and watching Jewelry Maker on a regular basis is because all of a sudden they almost disappear out of, out, out, um, out of the blue. Chrome Dark Side is one of them. Tanzanite, just lately, is another which is very, very elusive. We had it with Citrine. Yeah. Hardly seen citrine. Hardly see, seen citrine at all. Um, well, Ethiopian opal, unfortunately, is one of those gemstones that we're going to have to make peace with the fact that it is becoming even more scarce. Now, never say never, because we can't say that in the gemstone world. Even Tanzanite, which is b believed to be one locational, um, there is an odd statistic which was worked out or estimated at one in a million chance. It's still that one. There's still that one chance, isn't it, that it'll be discovered elsewhere on this planet. One in a million. But Ethiopian opal um, was discovered in 2008 and is already um, believed to be on the verge of depletion. The main seam itself, which was very dramatic, it was almost like, a, like an area of the Grand Canyon, if you like, vertical drops, where miners used to sort of uh, uh, scour the, the, sort of the, 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 the cliff tops, if you like, for this wonderful gemstone no longer in production uh, so none is coming out of the ground there's there is some just to the west a tiny 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 pocket which is unearthing what we call hydrophane um, opal which has got a beautiful liquid like appearance that hydrophane appearance is making it immensely sought after so if you see play of color that looks like it almost moves like a snow globe you know, sometimes when you mm. see this sort of glitter in a snow globe migrate inside a gemstone, that's hydrophane performance. Um, when I show you this Easter special deal, you will go, okay, I understand. If you've heard that term or expression before and never really understood what it actually means, it's kind of like a wonderful movement. Like that gemstone is almost a liquid um, example of this wonderful treasure. So not only are we getting um, understanding and, I don't know, making peace with the fact that this gemstone may well be, be deplete before, I don't know, your tanzanite, before um, your ametrines, who knows, who knows. But also the fact that what is coming out of the ground is exceptional. Now can you just see, focus on one of the big ones here for a minute. Can you see that movement of colour like liquid? Do you see how that play of colour that silica sphere, there's a silica sphere, or multiple silica spheres, which make up this gemstone. But uh, how fascinating is this? They almost look like they move, don't you think? That's that hydrophane. Ah, I like what Danny's just said, my producer, who says, it's like someone's opened the top of the gemstone and poured in that play of yeah, colour. it is. It is. I like that analogy, Danny, that's good. Um, can I keep that one? Yeah, it's <laughs> fabulous. Now... I can't believe what we're about to take this to. It's a parcel of exceptional quality. 18 carats of multiple individual solitaires of a gemstone which may well be on the verge of depletion over the next few years. Who knows? Uh, never say never, of course. You never, hopefully they'll find some more deposits of it. But at the moment, we're not too optimistic. Exceptional, exceptional quality. What, by the way, is that doing to the value of Ethiopian opal globally? Um, it's dramatically increasing the value of Ethiopian opal. It's very different different to other locations around the world. If you adore um, a sort of a trans... Oh, wow, look at that red. Um, if you adore a sort of a transparency, if you like that play of colour to be seen, not just across the surface, but right down into the heart, then Ethiopian opal is the one for, 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 for you. It's my chosen location of opal. Is it yours? Yeah, yeah definitely. It's, um, I like all opals, but this one is my preferred choice because it's a Same. it's alive it's just it's a party in a gemstone it really is you know it, it is sort of aurora borealis yeah. the northern lights isn't it yeah. within a gemstone and it's natural as well um okay now let me just give you a little bit of an example um if and i'm doing this on uh, approximately if i show you danny um what size is that yeah do we know 7.75 carats okay that's a that's a big solitaire a single stone yeah not in any jewellery. How much? 
Hundred, that's really good, £192 for a seven carat. Um, okay, can we look at, I don't know if you, well, you could, you've probably seen this yourself. An Ethiopian opal, seven by five is a standard calibration, very much like what you're getting um, within, uh, within this opportunity. So seven by five, let's just imagine this beautiful solitaire is seven by five, and it's set within eight carat, uh, uh, sorry, 18 carat gold, maybe a couple of diamonds either side. You know, are we lacking in play of colour? Is there play of colour across the entirety of the gemstone? Because gemologists will agree that if an opal displays play of colour over 60% of the gemstone in terms of its surface area, over 60% it's regarded as exceptional. It's literally... I can't see a single area where it's not demonstrating colour. And even more than that, you're getting multiple colours. Look at that green there. Sorry, I'm looking at the one next to it now as well. Absolutely amazing. Your Easter special. Get involved as soon as you possibly can. Um, look at all the individual solitaires, and that's certainly how I'd be treating yeah, them. Do you agree? Definitely, yeah. Um, I, I think on, this, on a small piece of um, sterling silver chain as earrings, just one in an earring just yeah because so you get that play of color but also as a charm as well on a bracelet maybe give one to claire and make her make me a ring out of that because i can't make rings and um, with sterling with wire but no, i think this strand is it's it will just do whatever you want it to do you know you put like a sterling silver spacer bead in between and have it as a full neckline piece wow can you imagine That'd can be, you imagine it would be very extravagant but it would be It'd be a showstopper. Oh, it really would. How much would you pay for quality, you know, textbook quality, Ethiopian opal of, a, of, a, of a one carat stone? How much would you expect to pay? You know, yeah, okay, okay granted, it's going to be set within gold or, or your sterling silver. Um, it might have some, I don't know, uh, some, some zircon, not cubic zirconia, zircon or diamonds even adorned either side. How much would you expect that to be? Hundreds of pounds for just one of those solitaires? Absolutely. That's why I'm saying this could easily be treated as um, as a parcel. Can you do you appreciate that hydrophane performance again? Just pick one, whichever one it might be. I'm looking at the one that's sort of pointing vertically, just bit. Which what Danny said he's looking the ones the other side of that, which is also pointed vertically. So you're looking at this one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the blues. Look at those blues. <gasps> And they've got the play of colour goes all the way down to the smallest ones on the on the end of the strand as well. Really does, they, and it, it doesn't sort of like deplete the colour as they get smaller. They're amazing. Absolutely, Absolutely they beautiful. really are. Um, I hope I've got quantity of these. We do. We have quantity, which is fabulous. Who knows? Can you imagine? Um, can you imagine if next week I have to come into the studio and say? Um, Ethiopian opal is no longer being mined. What a crying shame that would be. Of course, that could be the case with any of you gemstones, really. Um, never say never. Ethiopian opal, it, it, it has got a really distinctive... It's one of those that you recognise straight away because of that wonderful semi-transparency. Um, some refer to it as crystal opal. Some refer to it as, as, as kind of like a jelly opal where you can see right the way through the heart. Hello, Mandy. She's saying the turquoise colour coming from those gorgeous opals is amazing. I have many strands from JM, uh, sorry, of JM Opals. It is such amazing quality. It I is. totally agree. Um, Mark, hi, Mark, saying the part shaded by your hands, L, looked like flames, yeah. stunning. I was going to say that when you held it in your hand, I could see some on the side that were slightly shaded, and they were just the the colour was almost like a, a neon lights being lit within them. And that's what we want. You know, that's like me saying this is a decolourless diamond. This is like me saying this is an absolutely natural Burmese ruby. Yeah. You know, it, it, we're talking about supremacy. We're talking about the best, you know. And I'm happy to say that because you know, many, if not most, of these opals show play of colour across pretty much the entire surface. I'll go back to what I was saying, that statement that was referred to by um, many gemologists will agree that if an opal displays play of colour, I'm looking at that one at the bottom now, play of colour over 60% of the actual um, gemstone surface, it is regarded as exceptional. I mean, my goodness, I'm, I'm really finding it hard that's why I keep moving it to see if there's any any areas of an opal which which aren't necessarily displaying 
it, we, I, I think I found one which lacks colour and then it does that. Okay, see that one there which looks like a light bulb in the middle? That one they're pointing up? And I was thinking, oh, there's not that much colour in that one. But then look. Yes, there is. It's just, it's just the direction in which you're holding it. Do you see what I mean? Okay, are you ready? We've got quantity and that is the only way that we are making this possible. Um, I've, I've been suggesting that you get an Ethiopian opal as a, as a collector um, for, for the past two years probably now because it is becoming extremely, extremely considered and expensive um, within the trade because of the scarcity. 59.95 for 18 carats. I'll ask the question again. What would you expect to pay for a one carat Ethiopian opal of this quality elsewhere? What would you expect to pay? Well, I'm just going to give them a quick count for you as well because I'm treat looking at this as a parcel yeah. fleur. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah, if that was, um, it should almost be one of those gem papers all folded up so when you when you open it up all the gems are inside um it's that it's that amazing quality but the fact that they've been drilled top drilled means it's workable for all jewelry makers so if you're a, um, a beader you know you to thread them onto your beading thread or onto your wildfire and give them that movement if you're a wire worker you can put them into your wire work designs you can add these into chain mail it's just amazing for all jewelry mediums there are 46 solitaires on this strand that's, that's just over a pound each. It, yes. That's crazy. That really <laughs> is. Look at those blues. Reds, the top colours of the spectrum, your reds, your oranges, your yellows and blues, are the rarest colours, by the way. There's so much red in this. That's working out at £1.30 per opal. Look at this one. Gosh, that's the difficulty, is that you actually struggle yeah. to find a favourite because there's so many incredible... Oh... Can we just look at this? Whilst, oh my goodness, 11 still in baskets, check them out. We've got quantity, but already tons of you have guaranteed success, and I don't blame you. October's birthstone as well, for those of you that are, um, that are considering getting this as a, as, as a special treat, maybe. Do you know of any October babies? Make sure you, get, you, you, you keep some for yourself, because that's, that's amazing, isn't it? Look at that colour. Again, I'll ask the question, can you see a single surface, a single area of that opal? that's not displaying play of colour. I mean, that's more like 100% to me. Can you imagine saying to somebody that's £1.30? I mean, you... You wouldn't. You wouldn't think it was genuine yeah. opal, would you? Yeah. I but it is. I thought that that it strand absolutely would be is. over £100. Well um, over £100. Me too. And I'm just picking up another one, just to show you. Just literally moved. And it's so lovely. They've got no facets on this. So oh. They don't hide behind anything. They just... All that colour is just there. Wow. 16 still in baskets. They're fabulous, aren't they? Flo, what would you do with this strand? I think I would um, just use them as maybe like pendants, the ones in the middle. Definitely waterfall earrings. So just three in mm. each earring, just on different levels of chains, just so you can get the movement through there. And charms. I'd, I'd definitely put one on a chainmail bracelet, just one in the centre. Oh, gosh. So incredible. Um, you're going to be delighted. And I tell you what, it gets even better from here. I mean, if you think, oh, if you're really excited now, wait till you see it um, in real life. Because Opal here in the studio, believe it or not, it actually does no favours for this gemstone here in the studio because um, the lights, which we're surrounded by, literally behind, underneath, from above, actually can almost, almost starve the Opal of... Uh, um, of, of its ability to perform. Um, not the case though. Your opal strand is that good. 59.95 gets this home to you. Um, well done. Absolutely incredible. Check out those baskets and don't forget everything comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. The first thing I would do when I got this home, walk it straight over to natural daylight because that's where it really comes into its yeah. own. I would, I would, I would. Okay, we have got the launch coming up in a few moments time. We've got a thousand quantity. Um, tell a little bit about your just 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 quickly a little bit about your dvd so this dvd um, features quite a lot of people's favorite chainmail weaves we've got dragon scale uh gems pin linkage and some and dragon steps um, and the alligator back so it's really beautiful substantial chainmail and then very fine elegant chainmail with the gems pin linkage so two different looks incredible it's coming your way after a very very short break <laughs>
Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. This Easter we have a treat in store with £12 off any current Jewelry Maker workshop booked online. Simply go to the Jewelry Maker website, click on workshops, decide which one you wish to attend and upon booking enter the following code for your discount. The offer starts on Thursday the 13th of April and ends on Tuesday the 18th of April. We look forward to welcoming you to one of our inspiring workshops here at Jewelry Maker. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We're live every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Tune in on Monday the 17th of April for the launch of Fleur Hastings' Chainmail Dragons and More DVD. On this DVD, Fleur will teach you everything you need to know about aspect ratios as well as some fascinating chainmail techniques including dragon steps, alligator back and Jen's pinned linkage. Take your chainmail jewellery to the next level and make sure you're tuned in this Bank Holiday Monday at 10am. It's a nail-biting moment, isn't it? But an exciting one, it really is. Um, our DVD, if we just sort of speak generally for a second, our DVDs, the reason why they are so immensely popular, other than the fact that our guest designers are, are awesome, yeah. um, well, you, you know, they're affordable as well, aren't they? they are, I mean, they for me to buy a tutorial DVD off certain sites or certain retailers, it can be an investment, can't it? Like it's 40, 50 pounds. Yeah, it can. And not only DVDs, but downloadable PDF tutorials are quite expensive as well. And that's just one, tends to be one piece of jewellery or yeah. one chainmail weave that you can that you're learn. That you're learning. Now, within this DVD, which is brand new, we've got a thousand of them available this month. I'll tell you what we're going to do, because this, there's so many of you messaging in at the moment. Um, we're going to put the graphics live and obviously go um, and, 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 and get it underway. Now, have you noticed that we've had quantities of, what, 600? We've had quantities of 500? We have 1,000 because of your demand for this. The demand that, 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 that has been, and the hype, if you like, that has um, been surrounding uh, Fleur's, Fleur's DVD launch. And, I, and it's totally justified as well. So going back to what we were saying, yeah, if you download a PDF, you get one tutorial, don't you? Within this DVD, you're getting bite-sized chunks, different, um, diff different, different chainmail links or weaves, yeah. is it that you would call them? Yeah, and we've also got um, a, a segment on there all about aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is the 
a, a mathematical equation, if you like, for what chain mail weaves you can do with what jump rings you've got. So it's sort of like, we don't tend to talk about aspect ratio because it can frighten a lot of people. So we've put it onto this DVD mm -hmm. just so people can watch it at their leisure and then either embrace aspect ratio and go with it and, and sort of like learn about chain mail in that mm -hmm. respect. Or you can just, if I, you know, if we say on the DVD use nine millimeter and six millimeter, you can stick to that. So you don't have to read into have it. To, no, you don't no. have to. You can sort of like take it or leave it if you like. But it's just nice to know the information of aspect ratio. So if you hear it in other terminology in, in other chain mail. Yeah, you can um, put it into, co into context. Yeah, you can. Um, you, t you were say already caught the stock has gone. Wow. See, um, like I said, demand demand for this uh, this DVD has been um, very much, very much. Well, we knew it was going to be the case. There may well be a queue on the phone lines. Um, it is free phone. It's worth the time that you are investing. Please do not abandon those calls. If you do get a busy tone, then keep dialing, keep trialing through. There's approximately one minute sixteen. Not too bad on the um, with our incredible call centre. If you're with us on the web, check out. It's not actually guaranteed to you until it's actually checked out of those baskets. So there will be. Well, way in excess of a thousand people wanting this DVD today. So, just talking through the actual sections. You said so. The apart from the aspect ratio, you've got your dragon steps. Yep. You've got your alligator back. You've got your dragon scale and uh, Jen's pinned linkage. Yeah, or JPL as it's JPL. Sure. Yeah, that probably rolls off yeah. my tongue a yeah. bit easier. <laughs> yeah. JPL. So, which one's which okay. out of your jewellery? So the, the necklace that's closest to L, with the three colours, so that's the black, the gold and the silver, that's Jen's pin linkage and that's the finest chain that we can make with jewellery maker gem, uh, jump rings. So that's using the five millimetre jump rings, but then in front of that's using the, um, the textured jump rings ah. uh, that are seven millimetre and again you can create that, that beautiful... That's link. stunning, it that's the first a, time I've actually seen yeah, that. Yeah, it's a very, it's beautiful when it's in three colours and it's easier when it's done in three colours as well because it follows a, a pattern of three. Okay. So it's deemed as one of the more, um, not difficult, but more sort of like trickier weaves because the space that the jump ring goes through is exactly the space of the diameter of your jump ring. Okay, so you so do, it, yeah. yeah. So that the, the, the hole that you need to put that jump ring through is the same size. So it's not got much room, yeah. much wiggle room if you like. But if you do think, if that, if, don't let that concern you because the beauty of a DVD is that you can stop yep. and start, stop yep. and start, have a go, yep. um, you know, you're not under um, sort of a deadline yep. if you like. Not at all. Um, what else have we so got the then? Moving along. along. So the along, that's the Dragon Steps, um, which is the gold, it's in gold and silver and again it just showcases how beautiful Chainmail looks in two different colours because it's... Um, more three-dimensional and that's a flat weave and it's got like a quite a structure almost like the um, a watch strap structure yeah the way that it's been designed and there's a, a bracelet in front of that as well that's um, in, again in the gold and the silver um, that again just shows how you can use that as a bracelet um, so am I right in necklace. saying that's kind of got like a flat um, underside that will sort of sit against the skin and yeah, then it curves no, it, yeah it's um, it, it'll only curve if it bends and it and it flexes laterally okay. as well, but it's not really loose. So it's not like a it doesn't ripple if you like. Yeah, yeah. So it's more like a like an Omega chain type thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the two bracelets that are at the either side. I love this. So these are the Gorgeous. alligator back. So um, the silver and black is like the the um, the the belly of the alligator, and then the the black uh, then the black. Um, that's chainmail one, that one there, that's the alligator back and that's actually got beads going through Can the you middle. see the spinel in between? You can see them slightly glistening. Yeah, yeah. And then the silver and the black one, um, that's the other side, so it can be worn either way. So when you flip that one over, it's obviously the, so that's the, the Shall the I belly. flip it? Yeah, turn it over. Let's do it. Let's bring it over here for a second. Ah. So then you've got the back of the alligator that, si that sits up. How beautiful is that? And you can actually see that we always talk about fabric almost, don't yeah. we, with chainmail? Yeah. And this is very much sort of a fabric of beautiful metals. Um, um, and then lastly, lastly we've got your dragon, dragon scale. scale, which is yeah. amazing. And, and dragon scale is very, very, it's a very substantial um, chainmail weave. I mean, that, that, that brace, it's almost like a bangle. It will sit up by itself. Um, and it's 
it's a very beautiful weave. It's, it's probably a lot of people's favourite weave because it just looks like dragon scales. I have to say, it's, it, I think it is mine. I love gorgeous. it, I love it. Um, lots of text messages coming through saying, Morning Elle, Fleur uh, and team, good morning to you. Fleur, got the DVD, I'm so happy, can't oh. uh, can't wait to give it a go. Yeah, oh, us too, I can't wait for you to try it too. So um, Anne in Lanarkshire saying, good morning all, got mine and can't wait to get it. Hope there are uh, jump rings coming up. Yes. Yes, we have got jump rings coming up um, and we've got a kit as well. Um, um, people are asking for large jump rings maybe to master the weaves. Not a problem, we can sort that too. Janet in Lanarkshire is saying, can we have some of the large jump rings uh, to go with the DVD, please? Literally after this DVD, we can bring you these. So no problem whatsoever. Four ninety-five. This is approximately an hour's worth of tutorials. Yeah. Um, as I said earlier on, that it's sort of dissected into sections and different weaves. So if you think about going back to our conversation of, if you were to download each of these as PDFs, mm. how much are you going to have to pay? I, I, I don't necessarily want an answer, but how much are you going to have to pay for each yeah. of these different different chainmail yeah. weaves? Well, if you take it into context of our workshops as well, this is about a two and a half day workshop. Wow, is it? So it's more than a two day workshop, this one. This is be more like a two and a half day workshop to master these weaves. So to be able to get all these weaves in one place for four ninety five. Um, because chainmail chain is one of those mediums that you don't really see um, a lot of DVDs around. Mm. I think the jewellery maker ones are probably the ones that have got the most out. Um, a lot of it's in book form yep. or, or, or PDF or on YouTube. So that. Which is harder to yeah, follow that way. I find it harder yeah. to follow. I think the, the, the brilliant, the brilliantness, if you like. Brilliantness, <laughs> yes. Brilliantness of the... Of the J uh, jewelry maker DVDs is the fact that we've got an overhead and we've got the face on camera as well so you can see from all angles whereas when you see most people f um, on the YouTube it's it's static it's only one directional which can be a little bit more difficult when you're looking for the gap that your next yeah, job yeah. needs to go through yeah um, we've got a question actually about um, the, 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 the the alligator back saying from Fran in London could paracord or satin go in place of the spinel yep so with the black and silver one if you just so show grab that this one, one yeah all you've created you've created like a ladder so you create you've created a ladder here so yeah you could just you literally feed through. that's a nice idea so Fran see. nice idea so I just I've replaced like the beads if you like with if you wanted to put satin cord through there that's no problem and then what you could do is you could use that as your fastener as well so if you bring that all the way through to the middle then you could have like a sliding knot in there I know you've said this I don't know how many times Flo, but I'm gonna ask you to say it again um, if I was brand new to jewelry making and I've just mastered one of these weaves and I'm like yes and you're making it next to me what are they gonna look like exactly the same exactly the same your jewelry will look exactly the same as this jewellery if you use exactly the same colours. If you use different colours, then we'll see the difference. But if yes, it's the same yes. colours, then yours will look exactly the same. And that's what I love about Chainmail, the fact that everybody's will look exactly the same. And in terms of uh, jump rings and um, ratios of jump rings, you actually talk about that in each yep. of the chapters, which ones to use for what. Um, we've got another message, Tina and Cheshire saying, hello lovely ladies, hello my darling, she says, got my DVD and Aww. premium delivery so I get it as soon as I can, very happy bunny. Ah, wonderful, wonderful one, Tina. Yes, yeah, make sure you do share. And if you do get stuck on anything, Fleur is, you know, we're very interactive on your yes. on your page and yep. on, your pres uh, on, your, on your designer page. Yep. Um, on on the jewelry maker page as well. So, because um, you actually do have like a, a business with this too, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I, I I do sell my my sterling silver and copper and, and, and chainmail. Yeah, sell it all over yeah. all over the world. Very wow. successfully <laughs> as well. Um, Lorraine and Essex are saying morning all. Um, Love the Jen's pin weave. Uh, made a bracelet about a year ago with JMY. I loved it so much. I made another for myself this year. It is it is gorgeous. Because I mean, it's this if this was in a jewel in a jewel, would be if that was sterling silver jump rings, fortunes. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really substantial as well, isn't it? It is. It's a. It's just. A, it's just a beautiful weave. And sometimes chainmail for some people can be a little bit more 
too chunky. If you say take the dragon scale, that's quite a chunky weave, whereas the gens pin linkage goes to the other end of the scale. So that is like the finest weave that we can mm -hmm. do with, with jewellery maker jump rings. Now, needless to say, these are absolutely flying. Well over half the stock has gone. And to be honest, um, I highly doubt if the entire quantity will see the, 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 the entire hour. So brand new. Hopefully, um, when it sells out, it's not an if, but when it does sell out this morning, we'll have them uh, recommissioned as quickly as possible. But do get it whilst you can. Now, do you want the jump rings? Let's bring you... I've been asking you about these. Now, you demonstrate with these on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, I demonstrate with these large jump rings. Um, and the reason for that is it's, it's a great way of actually sort of showing you at home, but also mastering a weave, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because the, the, going back to the aspect ratio, the gaps, if you like, that are around the, in the middle of the jump ring are larger, so you can see where the gaps are going to go. You know, going to go through each for each se um, stage and each section. So these larger jump rings are great for for practicing, but they also make really cool chainmail. I was going to say, yeah, right. you could actually make some really, yeah. uh, really. Oh God, is there anything stopping us making Mobius rings out of these? Nope, is all. there anything stopping us doing Byzantine? Nope. It would be re really big. Yeah. Would it be um, anything stopping us doing a two and two? Nope, not at all. What about um, a Persian? You could do half Persians, both of the half Persians, yeah, definitely. What about, I'm testing myself now. Yeah, I'm trying to think of all the different chainmail <laughs> weaves now, because there's some very funny straight sounding ones. Right. Um, but it's a great way of actually mastering those, because you can visibly see it a lot easier. They're a lot uh, um, um, easier to handle as well, literally, just you, you can do it by, yeah. by hand, can't you? Um, approximately 30 millimetres thickness um, uh, by 3 millimetres, and you get 25 within a pack now. Um, Outside of chainmail, you could use these as bales. You could use these as 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 um, charms if you wanted. Bezels for your resin and your polymer clay, yeah. your Lynn. Absolutely. All, all yeah, you could. That's a good a good idea. Fourteen ninety five is where we should be for all twenty five of them. So many of us, um, we've, we've had so many messages into the studio saying, Fleur, can we have the jump rings that you always demonstrate with? Can I borrow three? You can, can borrow three. A, can I do a Mobius ring? You do a Mobius ring whilst everyone's dialing through. Loads of people ask for them whilst you're demonstrating, don't they? Yeah, all the time. I'm always asking where and where how, you, get them? you know, how you can get some practice jump rings. I'll just do my last one. And this is them? That's it. Basically, so you're seeing it in action right now. So if I just lay that down onto the, onto the board. And you've got... A There's Mobius your Mobius ring. And that'd be perfect then to, to thread through any chain and then mm -hmm. just pop a little gemstone either in the middle or because you could wire wrap those together and just drop a gemstone into the middle. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. They're still available. I'm moving on because we have got lots to squeeze in this hour. Don't forget the deal of the day as well and your DVD launch is still very much underway. Shall we bring you another DVD? Your chainmail projects. I like this one. Is this one of your proud, proudest DVDs? Yeah, yeah, because uh, the the um, the actual um, chandelier is probably one of my favourite things I've ever made. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, so launched last year, uh, chainmail projects. So you're actually getting individual uh, a finished piece at the end of yeah. it. But you, you're also getting the weaves as well. Yeah. So you could it, you don't have to make the bottle decoration or the chandelier. You can just use. Um, them for for your jewellery. That is beautiful, that chandelier. So um, the bottle decoration is actually a Byzantine snowflake um, and also the Byzantine triangle and connectors. So it's broken down. Then you've actually got the European six in one. The chandelier covers a cross weave, a sweet pea weave and the assembly. So you're getting two beautiful projects yeah. there. And five chainmail weaves. And five weaves, yeah, exactly. Again, it's approximately an hour's long viewing. Um, stop and start. It's like you basically having Fleur right there in your living room. It I was is. thinking about that on the way here. I was like, if I had to go and visit everybody, <laughs> show them how to do it. It'd be like, like a years long work. <laughs> it would it, it would take it would keep you busy, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Take it in turns. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're better spreading yeah. yourself via DVDs, yes, my yeah, darling. DVDs better are a better way. way to go. Um, so today you can get.
two hours worth of flair tutorials and many people message in um, and actually say how, how, how clear your, your, your demonstrations are and they really are, if I can follow them, anyone can. Um, get involved as soon as you possibly can. It's one of, um, one of our most popular DVDs that we've launched. Question from Claire in Suffolk saying, Hi Fleur, um, I got myself some 5mm and 7mm jump rings a while back to attempt some chain mail. What would be the easiest design to do with these sizes? You could do the dragon steps, which is the, the gold and the silver necklace. Mm -hmm. um, you could definitely do that with the five and seven millimeter jet rings. You could do the Japanese flowers um, and then all the Japanese weaves. Uh, that's on the Japanese and Persian DVD, which may be on the website. Um, but definitely this one, it's a really nice project to do the, the dragon steps and it uses those two sizes. There you go. So get this DVD, the, um, sorry, the DVD previously, the one that's just been launched that's at the bottom of the screen. Get that and you can, uh, Fleur's newest DVD, and you can re uh, recreate that necklace and the bracelet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, so yeah. beautiful. And what's that called, sorry, again? Dragon steps. Because it dragon looks, like, steps. looks like a little dragon walking. Oh. You can see the little steps. The little feet prints. Yeah. yeah. Love it, it's love a very it, love dainty it. Dragon, that, one. that was a dainty dragon. Yeah. Um, can I just show you this? Ooh. Oh, gosh, look at the colours. I know. The pinks. Brand new, coming up at 10.45. Um, we're just allowing uh, um, our contact centre to sort of catch their breaths. In amongst all the uh, um, frantic allocations, there is still quantity of that first of that DVD launch. Don't forget, it's been heavily promoted, and we are broadcast all around the world. Get involved. Um, well over half the stock has gone. It's probably approaching more like 75% uh, of it now. Incredible. We had a 1,000. We had a 1,000. They won't be available come the end of the show. Definitely, definitely not. Moving on to... <gasps> oh. oh, they're nice. Ooh. Oh, look at that one. That's got golds and pinks. Oh my goodness. I'm going to just. Only because you can see them all then. Gosh, they can you see packed. them? I have to say, this is some of. This is, te this is a shining example of what JM Labradite can be like. Isn't that incredible? Mm. This is why you voted it up, your favourite gemstone for the past, well, to be honest, past five years. Isn't that amazing? How beautiful. Let me just pop that down. The colours. And they are... Oh! Look at that one there. Are you looking at this one? Yeah. Have you ever seen Labradite with transparency and colour? Oh, I, don't, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, gosh, it's... Can you see? It's hard to show you what I'm looking at right now. There's a pinkish blush at the base where in the top drill. So look, should we go across the entire strand? Oh, this is exceptional. Um, now again, very much like your opals, the more surface of the gemstone actually displays that phom uh, phenomena effect. Phomena effect, I almost said them. Then, um, the better. I'm glad you said that word because I can't say it. You can't say phenomena? No. I struggle with certain words. I have to sing it like I'm in Muppets style, and then I can say it. Phenomena. <laughs> <gasps> Isn't that amazing? In every single one is displaying those colours, and it's mica that's responsible for reflecting these um, incredible visions of colour. Myth and legend tells us that this gemstone, which, which was discovered by a warrior who, who believed the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights basically, had been encapsulated within, um, within a rock um, along the shores. Um, and he struck down his sword and realised that it was this amazing, amazing gemstone. And apparently that's how the lights made their way into the sky. Myth and legend tells you that. Incredible, isn't it? It's a fabulously visual gemstone and certainly one that so many of our designers actually talk about actually using to draw attention to craft fairs and stores because it has got that fascination, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's, um, it's one of those gemstones that people pick up and they, they see the, the light colour, the play of colour that comes across and then they, they say, oh, is it 
you know, man-made. Mm -hmm. They know it's completely natural and it takes their breath away. Like, I think everybody, the first time they see Labradorite, has that same like reaction reaction but then you, you carry on having that reaction every mm. time you see it i think again. so that's the reason why i'm literally teasing and going through every single one of these just sort of moving them ever so slightly so you can see all of the the labradorescence now 34.95 is our should be priced and to be honest for the amount that you're getting on this strand for the quality that you're getting on this strand it should be double if not triple that to be fair um let's bring it to you though jm oh, synonymous amazing 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 price point for you coming i wouldn't be surprised we've got loads of guest designers on those phone lines dialing through look at that quality can you imagine that on the dragon scale because <gasps> for me this is quite um like lord of the rings yeah it is and type you know that kind of era of films um those like fantasy films for me this sort of like sits in with it with it is that. quite yeah you're right it's, it's kind of like a fantasy gemstone yeah, almost, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I agree. DVDs at the bottom of the screen for those of you that have just tuned in, the brand new launch. Um, incredible. I've got, coming up, as the deal of the day in about tw about 35, 25, 35 minutes, the deal of the day, which is these lovely filigree beads. Now, could we incorporate these into um, into our um, our chainmail designs? Yeah, you could definitely put these into your chainmail designs, definitely. Um, you could have that into the middle of sort of like any one of those necklaces. You just pop a little piece of wire through, pop a, you know, um, a wrap loop on either end and then just chainmail away. But what I would love to see with these Labradorite is pop your um, your piece of wire through the Labradorite, through the top drill hole, and then pop the the, the spacer bead on top of that as well, <gasps> or your feature bead on top of that. Yeah, and yeah, then literally, do your crowning yeah, almost. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we've got a big quantity of the silver, the rose and the, um, and, and the yellow gold are a lot more limited edition, so they're coming up um, at 11 a.m. this morning. Lots, lots to see today. Hello, Gillian, Abby, Anne, Sheila, Mary, Sue, Victoria, Buckinghamshire, Angela. Um, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a gemstone that we've absolutely got a, a, a sort of a, a fixation mm. on because it is so, that's natural. Yeah, and the quality of our Labradorite just keeps getting better yeah, it and does. better and better and better. Um, I mean, I've, I've looked at Labradorite from other places and I've never bought them because they haven't got the quality. Yeah, you'd be lucky to get a section yeah. and it is the same yeah. as your opal. The more surface area, the more visual colours um, that you get the more valuable that it is. Right, le moving on, because we have got stunning lapis lazuli to bring you as well. Who loves a Marquise cut gem? Um, it's, it, it, it's one of the most wasteful, therefore one of the most expensive of cuts. And if you think about it, the very dramatic edges and angles of that mean that most gemstones actually have got, a, well, all gemstones will have sort of a weaker point during that cutting process. So it does take exceptional skills um, on the lapidus behalf. When it has, when it is done and it's done successfully and of, uh, of quality just like these, it's worth it, isn't it? It's worth paying that extra, I suppose golds that are coming through yeah it's it's breathtaking got lots of pyrite inclusions beautiful it's a mixture of three gemstones lapis lazuli you also have lapis pyrite and sodalite sodalite you actually get within this gemstone as well so it's kind of a mixture of fusion of all three but yeah the pyrite those flashes of gold is what you definitely definitely want and a very dramatic intense um intense I always describe it as an electric blue. Mm. You're looking at it from the original location of source as well. So first discovered in Afghanistan, and for obvious reasons, you can imagine how, and the complexity of sourcing this gemstone currently. It's very primitively mined as well. It's not a gem that actually has got millions um, invested into the actual unearthing process. In actual fact, it's done by pick and axe, basically, these days. Um, and yet, and yet we all know about it, don't we? Again, it's a gemstone which is yeah. often seen in, 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 in antique jewellers. It's often seen in the history books and on paintings all around the world. Fabulous, natural, should be twenty-four ninety-five. How many? How much have you saved already this morning? We've just taken a full £10 off that Labradorite strand. We're looking at 150 carats of natural lapis lazuli and we've just taken another... Was that another £10? Another ten pounds back into your pocket. Um, Fourteen ninety-five. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, moving on to. Should I bring some findings? We haven't had findings yet, and you're going to need them for your deal of the day. 
And you're going to need them for your new DVD. Yep. So how would I do? Like a little, could I do a little section of one of those weaves yeah, and turn them into earrings? Yeah, you can do sections of, of all of those. I, I quite often will do uh, JPL as, as like the long chain of, a, of an earring. Um, dragon scale and dragon steps look absolutely beautiful as earrings. Um, the only one that you probably wouldn't be able to do is, is this one as earrings. But Which one? The alligator. Right. The alligator back. So just because it needs the form... Um, of the lo interlocking jump rings either side, but there's nothing to so on the on the projects DVD. There's lots and lots of um, weaves that you can do there. Lots Ooh. of Ooh. yeah, there's lots. I like them. So I got too. distracted. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah, me too. They are. Um, they are in a finished pair of, uh, of 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 earrings. Essentially, they've got a lovely, oh, lovely square edge. Mm. Again, you could you could. Chainmail onto these, couldn't yeah, you? definitely. Yeah, you could pop your chainmail straight onto there. That would be fabulous, mm. or not, as the case might be, aren't they? And you could sort of inter you do interchangeable ones as well, aren't they? Because once they're clipped into place, so you could do different gemstones or different Swarovski crystals. That's a nice idea, and so sort of suspend yeah. them and yeah. have them, um, yeah, one of those kind of variations of. Um, they clip into place. Can you see that? That lifts. It's basically like a almost like a door or a gate. It lifts up and clicks. Um, as, uh, as it passes through the earlobe. A classic sleeper pair of earrings. We call them sleeper earrings here in the UK. Um, great for, apparently because they're meant to be really comfortable in the ear. Oh, right. Sleeper earrings. Um, and also they're all very quite safe mm. to wear. A lot of children in school are allowed to wear this style of earrings as well as studs because they are um, uh, sort of less likely to, 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 to get pulled. Um, and cause any sort of injury. Less likely, of course. Anyway, without getting to... I don't know. <laughs> yes. We don't want to get... Health, don't, and sa health and safety hour. Health, yeah, exactly. <laughs> health and safety. Let's start talking about the beauty again. These are stunning, aren't they? They're measuring 15 millimetres. Yes, you could chain mail onto these. Yes, you could wear them exactly as they are. I reckon these are going to be one of those staple pieces that you reach yeah. for time and time again yeah, in your jewellery collection. Classic pair of earrings. Yeah. They? Just classic... Really beautiful with one of the still uh, the sterling silver chains that we did before. You know that's your everyday piece of jewellery. It really is. It? I mean, if I I think about what what jewellery I was wearing yesterday. I mean, here at Je uh, when I'm in the studios, I can wear these. That, mm -hmm. I can wear my engagement ring and my wedding band, and that's literally it. Um, but even on, on when I'm outside of the studios, I've normally got a pair of earrings like that yep. and a very plain chain yep. in actual fact. If I'm yep. going out, that's different. But on an everyday basis, it's your classics I yep. reach for. Yep. Do you agree? It's going to suit all ages, these. Eight ninety five, pounds Sterling silver, so it's less likely to be an irritant. Um, I can't say it's hypoallergenic. Some people still do get a reaction, but very few. Um, and all ages, Gail in West Midlands, morning all. I started jewellery making last year as I love wire work, but think I'm going to have to try my hand at chain mail. Amazing uh, pieces. Yeah. You really should. You yeah. really, really, yeah. really should. Um, yeah, make sure you share those pictures with us as well, Gail, because we'd love to see it. Get the DVD. Get the DVD. Um, Fleur is a wonderful, wonderful demonstrator and teacher. Should we do the shepherd hooks? Hello, Hello. Emma. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> uh, we were singing that the other day. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. I do. That's one of my favourite Disney films ever. Yeah, yeah I quite like it, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Nemo's it? my favourite. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Oh, is that is that no? no that's I Pixar. Think, I think it's the same thing, isn't yeah, it? Really? Oh yeah, can't remember. I yeah. like Nemo too. Nemo's, Nemo's one of my favourites. I do like a little bit of um, Little Mermaid. No, I'm not really into the Little Mermaid. No, see, Tom no. doesn't either, but I really like Little Mermaid. Yeah. You don't know the Little Mermaid? Oh, right, know. that's it. Sorry. Little Mermaid <laughs> date. DVD <Emma>. night. <laughs> yes, come round. Little Mermaid date and glass of wine. We're doing that, honey. Um, look at these. Aren't they beautiful? They'd be perfect alongside your deal of the day. Just suspend one. One of your filigree beads. They're lovely and elegant, these, aren't they? Aren't they stunning? Well, they're quite Moroccan-esque, aren't they? Like Moroccan um, lanterns, if you like. You could use these alongside all of your gemstones. You could use these alongside your chainmail, like Flew was just uh, discussing. Just suspend, what would you go? Like a, like an inch? Yeah, it could, you could have as... as, as 
as you know, big a piece of chainmail as you wanted, really. Some of my Jen's pin linkage ones are about three, four inches long, so they're real nice. shoulder dusters. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, they're going to swing beautifully yeah. as well with the weight of the chainmail. Um, you've got 20 pieces, that's 10 pairs. 7 95 solid sterling silver with your uh, lovely rose gold overlay as well, or plate rather. Excuse me, hiccups. Um, 0800 644 at 655. Three grams of sterling silver. That's a lot. It really is a lot. It means that each one of your shepherd hooks will hold quite a nice weight because they're substantial. Hmm. But they're, they're fine enough to go through the, the piercing in your ear. Because I, I bought some earrings years ago. Yeah. And they were too thick to go through my ears. And they were quite expensive as well. They were gold. They were really thick. And, and it's horrible when you ears. have to almost force yeah. an earring post yeah. through the ear because it hurts, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, we, shouldn't, we, we, we shouldn't have to do that at the end of the no. day. No, um, I totally agree with you there. And also, one thing to consider, and this might sound a bit daft, but my friend actually pointed it out to me. She said, you know what, I, she, she said, I stop, I've stopped buying earrings from a certain place. And I was like, okay, why? Because um, she'd always bought a jewellery from that place. And she said, because the posts aren't wide long enough. Long enough, yeah. Or long enough. I've had that problem. So they kept falling, if they were studs, they kept falling out. Mm. Um, or if they, were, if they were shepherd hooks, again, they'd slide out, they weren't long enough. So you've got that dramatic tail with ours. Fabulous. Okay, should we bring you some amethyst? A dramatic tail. Yes, it does sound like I'm about to break into a story, doesn't it? I just got a really nice waft of those daffodils as well then. Did, Did you? So Did I waft? You waft the daffodils, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Love a good waft. <laughs> <laughs> Wafting of dramatic tales. <laughs> oh, I like that. Like a mermaid. Yes. And these are like mermaid greens. They are. Just linking it in. Speaking of daffodils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good link, very good link. Oh, I love I love praise light amethyst, green amethyst mm. as it's also known. It's just got a real softness, pastel hue, yeah. but yet yeah, a brilliance which is almost unseen. I mean, it looks like you're turning a light on and off in turning the gemstone. With praise light, it's 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 a, again it's a unique tone, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a very silvery almost. I always think it's um, a very angelic or innocent colour. It's like an innocent gemstone, oh. praise light, because it it does. It's just. It's just beautiful. It's very angelic. I'm with you on that because if you think, if I name some green gemstones and like a new name, a word, emerald. What what do you think of with that? Vibrant. See, I say vivacious all the time with emerald. Peridot. Fun. Mm. Um, intense. I would mm, probably yeah. say. Praise the light or green amethyst. Innocent. Yeah, I think that suits, doesn't it? It's entirely yeah. fitting. Entirely fitting, 75 carats you're actually getting of beautiful, beautiful brilliance and colour. For this coming season, I mean, it's, it is a spring-like summery yeah. gemstone. It works amazingly alongside your, um, your yellow citrine, your, your beautiful sort of, I don't know, peony pinks, if you like. Um, could we incorporate it into our chain mail? Definitely. Maybe yeah. use this instead of your... On your the, black spinel? Yeah, or on the back of the dragon scale bracelet, that's got two big pieces of amber. You could put the rosy <gasps> light and then have it like a real fresh, yeah. have it all silver and then that on the end. Love the idea of that. Oh, I might, I might be getting you to do make yeah. one for me. But with a deal of the day with the rose gold. Yeah, I'd definitely go rose gold. Shall I pop? Shall I pop? You yeah, get the idea. Good. Limited on your rose gold and the yellow gold, but we have got quantity of the silver which is our most popular colour. So These are coming up. Silver would keep it really fresh. Yes. Like really fresh. I like three colours actually. Yeah. I like three colours in amongst 9.95 only jewellery makers. Check out Home for Easter. I think this is a perfect sort of Easter colour, don't you? An Easter gemstone. Yes. Um, what will you be creating with it? Will you be just using it as just a standard restranded bracelet or necklace? Because it looks amazing against the skin tone, don't you think? Around the neckline, it's going to be really influenced with loads and loads and loads of light. So it's going to show off its, um, its brilliance. Look at that. Hi, Barbara. She says, hi, all. I bought uh, Fleur's DVD using part of my birthday money. As it's today, our happy birthday, Barbara. Happy birthday. Um, I'm hooked on chainmail after attending one of Fleur's workshops. <laughs> It is highly addictive. It does happen. It is highly addictive. It really does happen. Yeah. Um, Sarah, Sarah Melanie in Worcestershire says, Emerald, bold. Peridot, zesty. Praise light, serenity. Oh, yeah. 
See, now Sarah yeah. Manley did, did way better than we did there. Well, yeah, she'd be after our jobs. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon serenity's a good word. Yeah. But Tanzanite is coming up. In fact, let's put They're this next to... Together beautifully, wouldn't they? Don't when you, you put the malachite and the um, amethyst together, you've got that real, that real strong colour. It's the same colour palette, but it's more... Serene, serene as, yeah. as uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, serene. As so perfectly put. Look at the look at the diaphanity, as Sarah said, and that colour saturation. Wow! Oh my goodness, that's incredible. So about ten minutes time. Not too long. Not too long. We've still got quantity of the of your DVD, Fleur. But only just. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I okay. might get one then. You you should be able to get one. <laughs> just about. Just about. I love that you have to buy your own DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Well. You know, if you want it, you got to buy it. You have to wait in queue like everybody else. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at least it says it's fair for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Can I borrow a bust? Hakuna Matata. Emma's wearing her Lion King t-shirt today. I am, yes. Thanks, darling. Thank you. There she is. Haku Matata. Haku Matata. <laughs> Love that film. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Willow's obsessed with that film. Right then. Um, 18 inches of sterling silver in a lovely elongated box chain. Can you see? So they have got lovely rectangles. Three grams worth of sterling silver here. Um, and it is going to be low, 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 low. If you love it, if you think, if you think this is beautiful, which it is, of course, there's no denying. I mean, it's very contemporary, isn't it? It's simplicity yes. makes it quite contemporary. Yeah, it is. Five pounds ninety-five. The, I, the Easter egg that I bought my husband was more than that, and he ate it in about twenty minutes. It's a good point. So were the ones I bought. He hasn't bought me an Easter egg yet, so he's no, not I had to watching. Buy my but own I might have well. to, to buy, buy this and charge him. I, I, I bought my own, and I, I got one from work. Thank you very much, by the way, immediate for my Easter egg. Thank you very, very much. I was, I was, I was scouring the building because yeah. I saw evidence that, that, <laughs> that, that, that Easter eggs had been um, given to the members of the staff. I was like, where's mine? <laughs> and Linda very you kindly said it. to me, um, they're about somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking. Um, I, I didn't have yours, Adam. Why have you lost yours? Have you not had yours yet? You did get it. Did you get, did, have you had yours? Oh. You've got to go hunting for your Easter egg. It's an Easter egg hunt. Okay, can I not have this chain instead? You can have this chain instead. <laughs> I'll um, take the chain and then yeah, I'll leave the Easter egg. To be, to be fair, I, I'm, I'm with you on that yeah, one. Yeah, I love the chain. Look at the beauty. Three grams of sterling silver at 5 95 I really like that one. 20 minutes until, until the deal of the day. 20 minutes. There you go. That's a beautiful chain, that There you go. Happy Easter. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, look at these. Again, in amongst your deal of the day, don't you think? That they are Mexican. Everything's going alongside the deal of the day. Different mediums, different gemstones. Mexican um, turquoise is that, com it's kind of like a fusion in between your Tibetan and your, and your Arizona turquoise. It's got um, the colour, it's, it's like they've been mixed together, if you like. Mm. Swirled. Swirled together, yeah. Because Tibetan turquoise can be quite green and, and Arizona turquoise is very, very, very blue. So you've kind of got the combination of the two. These are beautifully bezel set with sterling silver and you do get 10 of them within a pack. Again, next to the deal of the day, don't mm. you think? They look amazing alongside one another. I love these for chain mail. Yes, you do include them as connectors, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I do. I, I use this as a centre point or to break up a chainmail piece and then just add one of these in because you've got the loops already there. Yeah. So they're perfect for, for any medium, really. If you were a macrame, you wanted to make a macrame bracelet, you could pop your lazy cord through those loops and then just macrame away from them. Simple as. What could could I do, um, let me see, well, any of the, li uh, the links on your new DVD yeah. from there? Yeah. Literally could. Yeah. So from the actual connector, yeah. you do maybe what three inches either yeah. side. If um, I don't if Michael can pass you the dragon scale bracelet. Michael, can you pass me the dragon scale bracelet, which is the furthest one, furthest mm. one away? Thank you. Because you wouldn't think that you'd be able to add something into that because it's oh, but you substantial. Can. But you can because you can add it. 
Oh my goodness, Look, that feels amazing. So can you imagine making yourself one of these? And then put a Tibetan turquoise, uh, uh, sorry, a uh, Mexican turquoise either side where the amber is, just put your turquoises there. Isn't that incredible? So just swap that from your amber to your turquoise connectors. And instead of having to rosary link, it's all done basically, isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely. In fact, it's going to be really solid and secure yeah. with what is obviously a weighty, um, a, a yeah. weighty weave. That's your dragon scale. Love it, love it, love it. I had 17, 29.95 for all 10 of these beautiful natural Mexican turquoise connectors. You've got an average of 1.8 grams in total, and you know they're substantial. Look at how much is encasing just one of those solitaires straight down to 19.95, pure and simply because we are busy today. It is Easter Monday. Happy Easter to you all! Um, and we've just launched a DVD, and many of you will be really, really excited about uh, about making your uh, sorry, creating and learning all of your new links, and they're great additions too. They are, they are. But also as well, you just. Pop a shepherd hook at the top, and then one of your deal of the day beads at the bottom. Yep. You've got a beautiful, you know, a real statement pair of earrings. But what you can do when you've got these connectors, there's a real trend at the minute, and it has been for the last couple of years of mismatched earrings. Mm. So you could have one with the with the bead on the bottom, and one just with a gemstone on the bottom. That's a good idea. And have them completely mismatched, or a chain coming from the bottom. I like that idea. Yeah, really I like nice that. To mismatch. Mismatch the colours even, you yeah. could do that. So one side which is yellow, gold yeah. and rose, one side which is mm -hmm. which, which is silver and yellow, yeah. whichever it might be. Um, massive price reduction for you. They are last in stock and they have been one of our hottest turquoise sellers. Now, be prepared because we are about to blow your mind in, if, for, for all Tanzanite night lovers out there. This is exceptional quality. What commands the desirability and the price tag of this beautiful colour gemstone? Colour saturation, diaphanity and triacroism and oh my goodness it's got all of those. <laughs> So we don't grade our tanzanite here at Jewelry Maker simply, simply because, not because it's non-gradable quality, because it definitely is, shiny example, um, but it basically incurs costs and it prevents us bringing it to you um, in any pace, if you like. So it's all adding to the time and it's adding to the expense. So if you've seen tanzanite elsewhere and it's had like a, it says double A, triple A, quad A grades, it's referring to well, factors like it's cutting, so very much like diamonds, you know, the cutting has to have um, precision. It's saturation. The more intense that saturation, the more the, the higher grade the tanzanite actually is. So you can have almost cornflower tanzanite, which has got amazing diaphanity, but lacks that saturation. And it's still beautiful, and some, think, some actually love that more than the, the, the intense, um, intense blues. It's all personal um, opinion at the end of the day, but it's less desirable than that really intense violet blue. Then we also talk about the um, triacroism. Now that basically means that when a gemstone, you're looking at a gemstone from differing angles, those angles will sometimes, sometimes display secondary hues. So you have your saturation which is that main impact of colour. Then with colour gemstones you have hues which might be that occasional glimmer of a different colour coming through. And then you have the tone which is referring to the lightness and the darkness of the gemstone. Now quality of triacroism within tanzanite literally leaps and bounds increases the price tag of this gorgeous gemstone. Diaphanity and clarity, I've mentioned that, haven't I? Being able to have, see brilliance, mm -hmm. quite like that. Oh. Beautiful. It's, I, I deem this as one of, our, one of our best, one of our best examples. I have 81 of these available in the world. 81 in the world. Look at the amounts of pinks coming through. Okay, so you're going, oh, L, I see blue. But then you know what, every so often, let me hold it tighter here. Every so often, can you see maybe a flash of green or a flash of pink? 
it's the differing angles and how the light hits it in, in, a, in, in a certain way. That is triachrosum and it's be more obvious in natural daylight and more obvious not necessarily through the television screen and actually holding it within your eyes. So um, I'm going to ask Fleur if you don't mind Fleur. Yeah. What colours are you looking at? I can see some real blues in this section here. Mm -hmm. And then over here, these two here for me, these are really pink. Yeah, really, and now you really might be pink. thinking, they're blue. Yes, they are blue. We're not saying that they're Because it's funny, I actually saw um, um, a conversation on, a Facebook, on our Facebook page and someone was saying, it's ridiculous what you're suggesting. You don't see secondary colours, take it with a pinch of salt. You absolutely do. do. I, I, um, you know, certain gemstones will have, have triachrosum and yeah. pleochrosum. Not all. Not all gemstones will. Tanzanite is highly tri uh, um, uh, pleochroic or triachroic, whichever way you want to look at it. So, yeah, you get amazing amounts of pinks. Can you see the pinks in the centre there? Yeah. Incredible, incredible greens. Oh, and the pink, by the way escalates the price tag dramatically this is brand new it's a premiere appearance you've got diaphanity and clarity which means that you can see right into the heart of the gemstone you've got that intensity of color pretty much all tanzanite is 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 heat treated i can't say i can't say that all because i actually had one experience not so long ago of non-treated tanzanite and i was like hey I was always told that it was always, always heat treated. Do you know, um, I actually know somebody that actually popped a tanzanite, which had been just unearthed out of the ground, into, uh, popped actually into, um, into the ground and kind of made, 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 made a makeshift oven and the intensity of the sun heated it and that's what changed oh. the colour. So that's literally what you're getting. It's as natural as it comes, really. Um, really, really, really exciting opportunity. Now, we know that this gemstone is on the verge um, of depletion. Um, it's speculation that, 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 that it could be, I don't know, few next few years, foreseeable. It may well be in the next decade. Um, depleting means what? Price tag increases. 69 95 It's depleting, but yet our quality seems to be getting better. Yeah. Does that make sense? doesn't to me. I know we don't grade the tanzanite, but I can see different grades within that strand me too. To, to get in towards the the higher end of those grades. Let's those of you that are with me on the web, whilst you once you've confirmed or checked out, do me a favour, open another tablet and put grades of tanzanite colour colours or grades of tanzanite. Get that image up and then look at this strand. Or when you get this home, do exactly the same. Um, I encourage you to do that because that's what makes you appreciate um, the grade and what what you've actually purchased here for a fraction of the cost that most retailers actually bring it at. Sixty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence for graded tan i'm not going to say what grade but it's graded quality tanzanite no if buts or maybes there were only 81 of them available sadly so i wish i had more check out those baskets as soon as you possibly can what would you do with that i, I think i I'd, I'd almost make just like a, a tennis style bracelet so just a a whole tanzanite bracelet yeah and then i would have obviously if i if i could have um nine carat gold i would use nine yeah, carat gold. With, this, with this caliber of gemstone it, it demands to have those higher precious i'm quantities. totally with you on that a hundred percent isn't that yeah. exceptional well done to those of you that were successful brand new okay not long until we bring you a deal of the day we launched actually some filigree beads, um, um, balls, spaces, sterling silver. Um, we launched some not so long ago actually and we were selling them individually. They all sold out, they were immensely popular. Um, our wonderful buying team have managed to get hold of three further opportunities of your filigree beads. Now the rose gold and the yellow gold is much, much, much more limited edition so if you want those they're coming up after your deal of the day, which we've got massive quantity of in the sterling silver. They're coming up in about six minutes' time. Um, but before that, let's bring you some more gemstones. Oh. Kyanite. Mm, oh, I love it. Kyanite's my favourite blue gemstone. Is it? Yeah. I understand why. It's been immensely popular, by the way, this strand. This is the last remaining quantity, that 21. This isn't a natural blue. It almost gives you a silvery sheen. Um, like silks running through the gemstone. So it can almost give you the illusion of chatoyancy, if you like. Um, but this gemstone has ugh, immense complexities, and without getting too technical, because this is, I've only got low quantities, it can have colour extinction, it can have colour zoning, it can, it can be hev heavily included, it's very rare to get it um, faceted um, of this size. Let me just show you this one, that's fascinating me. 
I was going to say that one is just because you can see all those beautiful silvers. Can you see that? It's like a, it's a beautiful slice, a slither. They're called tumbled slices. They're fabulous, aren't they? It's a softer green, uh, softer blue rather, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's like a silvery blue. It's almost like a jadeite version of green of green gemstones because jadeite's got that silvery yeah. green to it, and this is like the silvery blue. It's like a, for me that they're quite similar. Yeah, in, I, in I, the get yeah I get where well. you're coming from. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. It's this wow, six ninety five. You definitely need to get these. I kind of knew that was going to happen because I can remember bringing it to air and to be honest, I'm amazed that we even had that yeah. 20 quantity. I thought it had sold out already. Yeah, I'm with, with Fleur. It has got like a silvery-like appearance. Can you see? Silvery-like appearance. Fabulous gemstone. Really gorgeous. They've only got eight and we're over-allocated. Okay, let's do the pink opal. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, pink opal, natural coloured opal, I should say, is a rare anomaly. It's like a... Um, um, like lightning strike in the same place twice, it's very seldom seen. Um, often you actually get, a, often you get very heavy inclusions, sort of black markings within, um, or sort of quite grey, cloudy areas. My goodness, not the case here. 40 carats of beautiful, natural pink opal. Isn't that stunning? Oh, see, I would have this in a bracelet, a tennis bracelet, alongside my, my, yeah. my, my tans and yeah, I. Yeah, a stack in stuck in such Wouldn't that be beautiful? So elegant. Mm. Really, really stunning. Peruvian opal as well, which has got... Notice that my voice has just softened straight away. I mean, it's like... It's, it's, it, 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 it's a very um, powdery pink, isn't it? Yeah, Rather it than is. a girly, girly pink. Yeah. It's um, almost like a candy floss pink. Yeah, isn't it? absolutely. Like a nice... Now, um, with Peruvian opal, you can get in different colours. You can get in different colours, but it's it's very seldom. And I have to say, Peru brings you some of the most beautiful colours. Like that's have you seen the sky blues? Mm. Exceptional. Um, and the, and I love the pinks that come from there as well. It's like a powder. Isn't it? Oh, just amazing. Lots and lots and lots of interest already. Totally and utterly natural. If you are an October baby, then you're very lucky because. You get some wonderful variations of your beautiful gemstone, of your birth. You do. You can have yeah. pink opal, blue opal, well, any coloured opal, really. You can have black opal. You can have jelly opal, crystal opal. You can have mosaic opal. You can have, oh, gosh, um, cupidia opal, Australian opal, Ethiopian like opal. dendritic ones. Dendrite like opal. Mm. There's so many different things. Mm. Harlequin opal. My sister's in it. October baby. She's got all of those jealous. to pick from. Yeah. All of those to pick from. Seven ninety five. Can I squeeze one more in before today's deal of the day? I think I can. I think I can. Oh, should we do oh this is I have to ask what Iolite. I had to ask them because I was like, you know what? Oh I don't want to say I like because of the clarity. But it is. It's a long strand too. So another example of your beautiful blues. This is highly pleochroic. So this is an example of pleochroism. So when people say you can't see secondary colours coming through, and like, you can because you know what sailors used to navigate mm. with these colours. Um, they used to actually have it on the sort of helm. Is it yeah. the helm of a boat? Yeah. Vikings used to use this. Used to navigate all around the world. Exactly. So that's an example of secondary hues of a gemstone. So you see, can you see occasionally the, the, the flashes? It's difficult on the TV screens, but when you actually get it home, it becomes even more prominent. See, I like is one of my favourite blues. It's like a denim blue to me. Mm. It's more sort of navy like. It's very Thank rich, you. natural. Twenty eight carats, and it's a long strand of. Coming your way, wowzers! I've just heard what this is going to. Um, I'd love to see it with your DVD, Fleur. Yes, definitely. Yeah, um, this would be a perfect combination because of the size of them as well. You could put them through the middle of this, through this the through the alligator through back. The alligator back. See. So they could. Sit. The first time I've heard of that that weave before. The alligator, alligator back. back. And you, there's other weaves from this. You can do a dragon back as well from this, where it looks like a dragon's back. Love that. So just and using faceted yeah. 
6.95. We still have some of the DVDs available, but don't uh, don't don't count those chickens just yet because they are flying, absolutely flying. Um, congratulations, my darling. An immensely um, well proud moment for our guest designers, and so much work goes into those DVDs. You know, um, if you think about it, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks yeah. of planning as well. So yeah. thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Check out those baskets. Your deal of the day. The stunning collection of uh, filigree beads is up after a very short break. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Oh, the deal of the day. What a show. What a show it's been so it's been far. Fabulous. It has been. We've had a little sneaky filming session this morning. We have. And then we had your first kit with that amor uh, ama amazing, <laughs> amazing Robin, Robin Barr. Robin Steiner. Robin Steiner. See, I'm thinking bar. That yeah. screams volumes for about <laughs> about me as a person. I think more than anything. Um, I think that's all that, darling. Think it did. Then we've had your incredible DVD launch. Yeah. Again, well, we'll sell out today. No, but on maybes. Um, oh, this next kit is going to be awesome. And today's deal of the day. Seriously. Wow. Do you remember? Cast your mind back to last weekend. Was it? Under £10 weekend? Yes, I think it was. We had these really beautiful filigree balls. Anyone got any, get, get any of those? They did sell out. They did sell out. Really beautifully intricate filigree balls. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. I miss those. Now, such was the demand, and so many, pissed out, uh, so many people missed out that you messaged in and spoke to our, to, to, to our incredible buying team, and guess what? They've managed to bundle... 
another opportunity, but you're not just getting the one. You're going to get three because it's a deal of the day. So, solid sterling silver. I have 500 of these available and you get all three of them. Graphics are live. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Dial in as soon as you possibly can. You're not just getting the one, you're getting all three of them. So, yeah, and they sold out. They sold out on, uh, on under £10 day, um, and rightly so, or under £10 weekend, I should say. We've got some stunning examples of jewellery to show you. You do get all three of them, and these measure eight millimetres in their size. I mean, look at the intricacy. Um, so many of you there straight away. We're more limited. We're more limited. Let me just pop those over there so nobody gets, oops, um, nobody gets confused. We're all about the silver at the moment. They'll be a little bit later on. So you do get three. You're not just buying the one on this occasion. You're getting all three of them. I mean, look at these stunning designs. The earrings are beautiful. They're like, they're like little um, um, sort of Moroccan. Can you see? Shall I put that forward? How's that? There you go. Um, we were looking at price comparisons and, you know, one of these, £10, even in excess of that, which I actually think is quite reasonable for the amount of intricacy yeah. that's going into, into just one of these filigree balls. Now, they're actually, um, there's a void in the centre, which means you can fill it. I think that's something that Claire and I actually spoke about. You're filling it with your Ceruloon. You could oh, actually um, put your various different threading materials through if you wanted to get that sort of impact, that flash. Did you get hold of those lovely skulls? They'd be amazing with the skulls. Oh, beautiful. We've been referring to them with your chain mail fleur as well. Yeah. Like amazing, wouldn't they? Yeah, so ex exactly. Is it Sue that's made these? Yes. Like, like um, the wonderful Sue's made with the silver, um, silver necklace. Just pop a, a piece of wire through, do a wrap loop on either side, and yep. then you can chain mail away from them. So this is a very simple technique, isn't it? Yeah, In actual simple. fact. Yeah, very simple. A really simple technique. So that's just using a little bit of wire and then a wrap loop and all the focus is on that lovely fil filigree yeah. bead. Um, it's something that's immensely popular and very fashionable at the it moment. Is. Yeah, I, um, I, I looked in the high street and there's um, one specific store that has lots of different designers in there. Yeah. They've got all these kind of I know which filigree, one you mean. filigree style beads. I know which one you mean. Yeah. yeah, I know exactly which one you mean. I was talking about it yesterday. Now, well over 100 of these have gone and I've probably got about 50, 60 of you with it still in your baskets. People on the phone lines, there's still time. We've still got quantity. Don't worry. It is the biggest auction of the day thus far. So, what were we just saying? Um, we've seen one uh, ten pounds elsewhere. Yep, yeah. and more in actual fact, but that's the most competitive that we found. Ten pounds for a, a lovely, beautiful, de uh, detailed filigree bead. So what do we do? What do we do? So if we said, okay, you can have one at five pounds, maybe nobody's going to argue with that. It's a fabulous deal, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing deal. £15 for all three. We know we're immensely competitive then. How about, jewellery makers, if we said that we'll give you three, three, hold on to your hats, what do you reckon? £10? My goodness, that's amazing. If, 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 if we can stretch this to £10 for three solid sterling silver filigree beads, Wow. Yeah, exactly. Seven ninety-five. Um, that's why we brought the graphics in straight away because we knew that if we just hit you straight away with the seven ninety-five price tag, that they would literally fly, um, and we could possibly, I don't know, uh, break the phone lines. Dial in as soon as you can. Lots of you who chose to get one of these have just gone. You know what? I'll have two. Thank you very much, JM. We previously brought you in the under ten pound weekend. Um, one filigree bead, beautiful, exceptional. Um, at at. Uh, uh, what, what price was that? Can we remember, Danny? Wasn't it seven ninety five? I think it was a little bit bigger than uh, than one of these. It was a little bit bigger, uh, but you're getting three in this occasion, eight millimeter size. I love what Sue's done with these uh, yeah. these, the, the, these these lovely beads because all the focus is on on That's, them. Yeah, it's the star of the show, isn't it? Do you know what they're reminding me of? What they're reminding me of the golden snitch in Harry Potter. So if you were a wire work, you can make two wings either side and then connect it into that filigree. 
then you'd look like you'd have could have Harry Potter style esque. I'm gonna have to take your word for it because I've never, never watched that it. film. Oh well, that's it. That's another DVD Does night it look like sorted. This? There we are, DVD night, sorted, yep. yes. There's another DVD night. Um, they're very much the focal point, yeah. aren't they? And, you know, it's, it, it'd be quite easy. I hate the word spacer. I really hate that mm. word on our graphics. So, Because these aren't spacers. No, that sort of, that makes them think that they're, you know, uh, um, okay, well, they're almost in the shadow of yeah. something else. These yeah. aren't. These are a focal, no. yeah, a are focal bead. Yeah, these are features. These are, these are the main feature of your... Of your piece of jewellery. I agree. Yeah. I Which totally is it what your agree. eye will be drawn to. I mean, if we had this in amongst gemstones, I mean, yes, of course you're going to be admiring the gemstones you are, but, but you, your, your eye will naturally be drawn to yeah, this first. Yeah, definitely. Because of the intricacy. Aren't they fabulous? So many of you there. 50 are in baskets still. Um, the phone lines are, are absolutely um, chocker. It's still very good, though, in terms of the, 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 the queues. We're, we're, we're definitely, definitely holding our own. We had a quantity of 500. Um, how are we doing in terms of that quantity? Well over half the stock has gone already. So 7.95 is what we brought one individual filigree ball to you um, previously. Yes, it was, it was slightly bigger. Um, but because there was such a demand for it, our amazing buying team were able to get you the slightly smaller versions, um, <clears throat> bundle three together, and match the price tag. Aren't you glad you were watching Susan, Ruth, Alma, Vera, Linda, Anthony, Claire, Darlene and Paul, William, Janet, stay where you are on those phone lines. There is still quantity, but because this is basically kind of like a, um, a three-pronged deal of the day, um, I, 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 it's, they're going to be running consecutively yeah. alongside yeah. one another. So amazing. Still quantity of the silver. Shall we bring you the rose gold next? They're now, like crushing waves. With the waves, the way that the filigrees around look like crushing They waves. do a little bit. So I like that idea. Quite beach-inspired design, especially with this rose gold. I think this with a blue, those blue yeah, agate that we had amazing. in the first hour. Now, stock warning. I haven't got many. There are under 100 of the rose gold. Um, 2015, 2016 has probably been the most successful years for rose gold. Yeah. Uh, would you agree? Yeah. Um, and not looking like it's going to be any different in 2017. Graphics are live. We have got a double figure quantity. Oh, I beg your pardon, we've got 100 exactly. Um, but I don't think that is going to send, uh, that's going to last very long at all. So this is beautiful, isn't it? So what, what, what's, what's Sue used there? Just a little bit of... of, of Beading wire. I think it's the, the, the thick mi one millimetre beading wire that she's used. It is, isn't it? And then the spacers dotted it, just literally fed on. Aren't they beautiful? The three mil spacers we actually had earlier on. Yeah, rose gold, yellow gold. Um, how have they been positioned? You know, the crimps and there, the crimps. Oh, the crimps. Over the top. Ah, okay. It looks like a floating design. That's fabulous, isn't really it? Isn't nice that beautiful? Um, already approaching half the stock being allocated for your rose gold. Again, same size, same gram weight. Nine ninety five for your rose gold. It is slightly more expensive rose gold plating than uh, than silver. Obviously, have they sold out? Right. Okay. Got to move on. Got to move on. That's why I said stock warning. <laughs> Same again with the yellow gold. I've got ninety eight of these. Stock warning. Still got sterling silver ones. I've got ninety eight in the world. There's the graphics at the bottom for the silver if you want to add them to your order. Are you ready? Start dialing as soon as you possibly can to get these. I love the yellow gold. I, I love like, them yeah, all. I like them all. Rose gold would be my favourite out of all three. Sold out. I know. Sorry, darling. I bet these ones are going to be good. I'm sorry. Well. I'm just being a... I'm trying to hold it so that you can see the actual filigree. There we go. There. Half the stock's gone already. <laughs> Can't keep up with the graphics. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. I love this. Almost gone, almost gone, almost gone. Have they gone? They've gone. Right, quick recap of the silver. I'm sorry if you missed out. Like I said, that's why we're telling you about the stock warming. Uh, war warming? Warning. Um, we've only got the silver left. And we've only got, well, less than 200 of these remaining now. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. They're very elegant, aren't they? They are, and very I'm just thinking elegant. all different seasons, all the different uh, um, occasions that, that, that will, these will be appropriate for. Christenings, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, oh, beautiful for Christmas. Oh, amazing for, for Christmas. Can you imagine these as little, little wine charms or 
Little pendants for all your nearest and dearest. I'm just thinking going on some of it as well for anklets. I know we were talking about anklets That's lovely. before. They just have this as your feature on your sterling silver chain. Well, it's funny you should say that. I also have another, uh, um, I have another opportunity coming up just after this, which alongside these would be amazing in anklet. Brand new as well. Premier opportunity. Um, we still have quantity, but not that many of them. Not that many. We had 500 initially. Stunning. And silver is always one of our most yeah, popular. It is the most popular. It yeah. is the most popular. Right. Oh. Do you want to have a little look at those? These are absolutely incredible. Now, our graphics say 3D. I'd say more 2D. But, you tell me. Brand new. There are 150 of these. Gosh, they're solid. Look. Aren't they amazing? They're beautiful. So, oops, you go over there. You get all three. All three of them. Look at the thickness of the sterling silver. Look at that. I'm going to turn it over as well. Yeah, I suppose they are 3D. They are 3D. But look at that, look at, look at the density of the sterling silver that you're getting, three and a half grams, 16 by seven millimetres. They're, they're different to a, a kind of a, a, um, a leaf charm that we've bought previously, just because they're almost like simple. I'm looking at these almost getting marine um, you know, inspirations of you, kind of like a, like a conch shell. So maybe you have this in a munch. Can you see that too? So you could actually have this in amongst maybe your coral or in amongst your abalone. That would look beautiful too. You get three. You get three of them as well. Brand new introductory premiere opportunity. And three and a half grams of solid sterling silver. Can you see that? See that sort of yeah, nautical that marine like? Shell, that shell swirl swirl to them but they're also very art deco as yeah. well, aren't they that real beautiful lines going through them they're absolutely stunning those really on, on like just those. on a simple shepherd hook yeah and on a bale pendant yeah. bale yeah I, I think they're absolutely beautiful look amazing just as they are look at all of that sterling silver there's the 925 stamp you see that solid 925 stamp and you've got at least what, what do you reckon about three millimeters in the thickness Probably about that. I know it curves and it domes, so it's thicker in areas. Reflecting, we're actually reflect. Reflect. Look, I can see Fleur. I think there. Is that you, Fleur? I don't know. Or is it me? It's you. It's me. You. <laughs> Just a little little head bob to see who <laughs> it was. Say which one was me? Who's that? Who's that in there? That's reflect. Um, sorry, obviously referring to the amount of luster that you're getting in your sterling silver. You get three within a pack. Brand new premiere opportunity. Oh, just one on some sterling silver chain or mm. um, on some shepherd hook it can be such a simple design. Maybe you're getting um, going to sort of on, on holiday or you've got, you've got friends getting married on a beach or something like that. I'm just picturing these, like you said, in an anklet. Yeah, or with some um, beautiful, do you know the small um, like seed pearls? Yeah. Like a seed pearl like necklace, quite a short necklace, almost like a chocolate with yeah. that just in the centre. Just that suspending, mm. that's really That'd be nice lovely, idea. Yeah. Be really nice. And same, same on the wrist, Yeah. really beautiful. You do get all three of them, so you can make it a, an entire suite. Brand new premiere opportunity for just 11 95 You know, these aren't, you know, uh, it, I mean, they're beautiful as well when I show you the leaves that have got that, they're about a millimetre in thickness. They're still stunning and they're still beautiful and still wonderfully intricate. But if you want something that is really substantial and to make a statement and, and, and completely different to what I've actually brought you um, on air before, then now's your chance mm. because 11.95 isn't even where we are stopping. Hello to each and every single one of you on the web and on the phone lines. Well done to those of you that were saying, you know what, um, I'm going to multi-buy on these because I, I, love, I love that lovely shape. It's, it is kind of quite... For me, yes, I see the leaves, but I've, I'm, I'm more inspired about along the sort of marine-like. Mm, I'm thinking as well, wings. They look like wings. Wings. Did Deb say? Deb, Deb, uh, Raj said angel wings. Oh, Briggs. Well, they do, yes. They're like angel wings. What would you have them out like this? Yeah, and you could use one of your sterling silver filigrees to connect them in, to connect that as the body. 
or if that's the head or Oh, I know what you mean now when you're talking Harry Potter. But I haven't watched it, but I do actually know what you mean. Um, the space we do at the bottom of the screen, by the way, like the, the snitch. Is that what it yeah, is? the golden snitch. The golden the snitch. In sterling silver. But in sterling silver. Three pounds per leaf. They're beautiful, aren't they? So, so, so beautiful. Moving on to... Or how about these in amongst... I love these in designs. Me too. They remind me of Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, <laughs> never thought of that. But yeah, they do. Do they you? Yeah, they do now. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. I was thinking of um, vines. Like uh, grape vines. Yeah. Yes. Aren't they gorgeous? You get three again. I'm holding on to the actual uh, fixed jump ring. I've got 111 of these in stock. Great way of creating sort of movement, if you like, with your mm. designs. Lots of the sort of high-end uh, Italian jewellers will actually use flora and fauna quite con significantly in their collections, um, year on year on year. You know, use the precious metal to create the movement and then use the gemstones, if you like, to create that gorgeous colour. Amazing, seven ninety five for all three. Do you know what you could? It doesn't sound very romantic when you say it, but it would look beautiful. They look like seaweed. So if you could do the pearl necklace and have these down as seaweed, I, know I like seaweed's that not idea. Romantic, but you know that kind of movement through like no, the water. No, I like that idea. I just, do know what you mean. In my head, it looks really beautiful, but when you say seaweed, it just You're like yeah. <laughs> I do know what you mean, though. But that kind of design, so they're just hanging down from a pearl necklace. Really beautiful. Similarly with your next kit. Yes, yeah, definitely. They look the amazing kit, with yeah. the next kit. Okay, moving on to... <laughs> the last of the leaves. So all variations of your leaves. See, this is what I was referring to. You've got your kind of how I would draw a leaf. How... You see a leaf and or, or, almost, there's just different variations. Do you yeah, see where I'm coming yeah. from? I've got 99 of these. So this is kind of like how I would actually draw a leaf, maybe. Like a skeleton leaf, isn't yes. it? Like the veins. Um, these have been immensely popular. Immensely. You do get five of them in total. Again, it's actually the, the, the sort of the fixed jump ring, which is there um, by the tweezers. How about if I said what I'm showing you in the tweezers is going to be just... One pound. Solid sterling silver, I know. It's, a, it's an incredible deal. Maybe that's why they've almost, uh, they, 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 they've always sold out when we've been brought them, bringing them to air. Um, they're 14 millimetres in their size as well. 4.95. Wow. That's a crazy price for all that sterling silver. Yeah. Do you know all those, all those three different charms, leaf charms? Great way of sort of creating lots of different yeah. texture and variation. Yeah. And we've got some amazing wire workers that, you know, create these beautiful flowers out of wire. You could have these as your, you know, as your, as your petals, because although they're leaves, they still look like, you know, five of them could put together. Absolutely. Wire them together into like a petal formation. And at 4 95 there's nothing saying that you couldn't multi-buy, you know, that's quite, an, oh, look, that, that's almost poinsettia now, yeah. isn't it? Can you see this? If I try and... Try my best. Hang on, let me just move the tweezers. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do that. That makes life easier. Don't you think it's almost like a poinsettia? You see that? There you go. Yes, they do take petal formation then, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Do I get a thumbs up there from Paul? I did well there. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I can't take all the credit, though, because, Fleur, you did say, like, petals. But you did assemble them. I literally put them together. <laughs> it's fine. It's the, de it's, it's the quality of the components here, not definitely not the jewellery maker in my case. Um, loads, oh, there's loads of you on the phone lines. We had just, what, 99 of these available. Um, half the stock has already gone. Um, for summer light designs, you know, if you want to create that lovely colour pop piece yeah. and then still have that stone a little silver. bit of... Yeah. But you could colour these as well, because you can put... If you put them onto some sticky tape, then drop some little bits of resin 
It's a in nice there, idea. It, into like stained glass. How about speaking of flora and fauna inspired, in amongst your beautiful labradorite, which is coming up in less than ten minutes. This is coming up. It's a long strand of labradorite in your plain rounds as well. This alongside your jadeite bracelet. Oh, my oh God, this would be yeah. amazing, wouldn't it? This is coming up in about ten minutes' time. Not too long. Not too long to wait. Okay, I've also got coming your way just to give you a sneaky peek. Right, you do get a few more than what I've got here. <laughs> did you have no, a spillage? I did have a little bit of a spillage. Space is overboard. Right. In approximately 15, 20 minutes, you've also got your yellow gold sterling silver back in stock from December last year. Um, lovely seed beads. These are two millimetres and you get 50 of them. You do get 50. I've got slightly less because I just had a little bit of a spillage. Um, before that though, before that though, Opal earlier on absolutely flew. Immensely popular. Ooh. <gasps> there are 20 in the world. Can I have a favourite? Because this is my favourite. Am I allowed to have favourites in Opal strands? I think so. This is my favourite. You know, we were saying about the, the variations. Do you notice the, the body colour here? Let me move those tweezers. That's blocking the light. Yeah, it's a darker, sort of like... Um, sort of like a cognac. -y. Yeah, it is. Like a gingery, yeah. orangey colour. Wow. I love this strand. Oh, gosh. But you know what's even better in real life? Oh my goodness. And this is natural, totally and utterly natural. Can you see the flashes of reds coming through? Yes, it's a warm Ethiop mm. Ethiopian strand. And it's all down to personal choice. If you prefer it to have that complete, almost like white, transparent, um, they call it crystal um, appearance, like what we had earlier on, beautiful, absolutely love it. Or if you like it to have that little bit of colour, then get involved right now because there is it's all the different variations that you can get with this beautiful gemstone. This is your favourite. It is, yeah, because it's um for me this is a more workable strand for the for what I use because I I'm not a very good wire mm -hmm. worker and I I find it very difficult to wire wrap top drill drops. So for me this is a more workable strand and also that beautiful like cognac zircon body colour is a more preferred preferred uh, choice of colour for me. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that red there. Do you see that red? Wow. Oh, my goodness. And the blues and the yellows. They'd work beautifully together as well, they, they? really would, actually. They'd beautiful actually together. encourage one another. So if you are an Opal fan um, and you are a collector of all different variations, they're exciting, aren't they? They really, really are. This is um, a limited opportunity, of course. Of course it is. I mean, look at the quality of the Opal that you're out to own. Um, some of these you'd be looking at bordering on, because they've got that main, that, that body colour is quite dramatic and tense. They'd be sort of tiptoeing towards your sort of, Right, bear with me on this, but your sort of black opal, black opal. Yes, it's got a it's got a black body colour. But what I'm actually referring to is the fact that that colour lifts the play of colour. Yeah. So it's kind of tiptoeing towards sort of having those uh, um, uh, that ability, if you like. It's lifting the play of colour um, quite considerably. Look at this! Wow, 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 wow. In amongst your deal of the day. I love how you just discreetly handed me a sterling silver <laughs> filigree ball. I would have handed you um, a yellow gold one as well, but they've gone. They Coward. have gone. It works with the silver, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Still got a few available of those. Not that many, though. Not that many. There are only 20 of your Ethiopian opal. Um, I want to describe this in a different way to the last run because it is completely different and it's down to the eye of the beholder basically whichever one you find um, beautiful if you find both like myself then and you're in a, in a possibility um, to treat yourself do it really do it I'm not stopping there my neon greens 
how about if I said that you can get both strands, which I'm sure was the other strand was 18 carats as well, wasn't it? For under £100. This is 39 It's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning, that strand. And very workable as well if you're new to jewellery making, because you literally, all you need to do is restrand that. And um, if you want to pop one of your sterling silver beads in or some of your um, spacer beads in there to break up, you know, to elongate your yeah. strand a little bit more, um, and then just pop your clasp on. That's all so you need to do. All you need to. They're flying. Very popular. Sue, Jackie, Jack, Kent, Pat. You've got your sit back and relax. If it's in your baskets, do check out if you want to guarantee success because there were 20 of these um, available. Um, okay, moving on to the kit coming up, by the way, is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The jewellery is stunning. It's one Half hour away. Yeah, it's, uh, this was a real pleasure to, to work with this kit. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Sorry, so there's so much we can't even squeeze it on <laughs> camera just yet. Have you seen this before? No. Can I do something on the overhead? Guess designer L. I'm doing my demo of the day. Can I um, can I add to your design? Go for it. I know that they've sold out. Can you make that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show those people that are new how easy it is to turn components into a stunning high-end necklace. Um, this is... <laughs> Daddy's like, I'm suspicious of this. <laughs> Let me just show you. Yeah, for very good reason. Um, look, solid sterling silver. You've kind of got like a herringbone link. It's substantial as well. Look at how much sterling silver. I know it hasn't got the gram weight, but I don't understand why, because look at how much you're getting. It's, you know, this is not hollow. That's a solid. Have you lost one? <laughs> I'll find it, don't worry. I'll find it, I'll find it. Have we got many of these, Danny? 77 of them available. I mean, th this is basically how, that's the clasp. So this is where the focal point or the feature actually becomes. So, lovely Fleur is going to demonstrate that while I try and find the filigree bead that you've been throwing around. <laughs> oh dear me. What did you throw it for, Fleur? I don't know why I threw it. I wasn't cross with it. I can't find it, darling. But don't worry, you have got other beads. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to do half of a rat's loop and then just pop, pop my the end of your chain through. I've just realised, Danny, sorry, I hope you had time to do this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. And then all I need to do is just finish that little wrap loop off. And it's not going to be perfect because it's uh, I'm a little bit raced for time, but so that's one end. And yeah. I'll just cut that little end off there. And then if I just do a little loop on this end. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Fleur. No pressure, Fleur. <laughs> I like to put I like to put you on the spot. We're just basic. It's, it's called a what? A wrap wrap. Just a rat's loop, yeah. And I'm just going to really cheat and just hold on to it and wrap it. Um, Would you, gonna, obviously. You would take a little bit more time than this. I just like to put Fleur on the spot. There you go. You get the idea? So you get the idea. And I've not done it perfectly, but you get the idea. You get the idea. How, how they'll all sit. Fab, thank you. you. That's okay. Rising to the challenge, <laughs> as always. Bless her. Our flow 17.95.5 gets you all of that lovely sterling silver. I'll cut that off now. So Have you can see it. Oh, look. You've just deconstructed it as well. Just so you can see it what you're actually getting yeah. at home so yeah just look if, for those of you who are new have a little look on our um well if you purchase this you get you get to start a dvd so a wrapped head loop is actually um covered within that as well great with all of your connectors and i can um reveal we have got um an amber day coming up um next month may the first 
I'm on the mid show then. Are you? Yeah. Yes, May the 1st we have got the Amber Day, so this will be perfect and it's also part of our birthday week, so components like this, I mean, it takes, it's so simple to just do a yeah. simple wrapped head loop either side. Um, I'm thinking your shibori as well because yeah. you can actually create like a, um, almost a folk, focal yeah. point. Yeah, like a big rose. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll be, be gorgeous. Really, nice. really gorgeous. Hello Kathleen, Carol, hello to you, Diane, Tracy, Cheryl, Mary, Donna, Jacqueline, lovely to be with you, plus so many more. Um, are we ready for an Easter deal? It's your favourite gemstone, voted for by yourselves, not just this year, many, many, many years. We're about to celebrate our seventh birthday here at Jewellery Maker, so it only seems right this Easter that we bring it to you at a special opportunity. <laughs> I often look, it's part, part of my job really, is um, to look and try and find something different, I suppose, that I can, I can talk about and, uh, and new that maybe we can discuss about, uh, about a gemstone. And I just think it's always in the eye of the beholder. You know, when I was actually speaking to, let me just pop that for there for a minute. When I was actually speaking to friends of mine um, and showing them Labradite, they were like, wow. Um, and I said about... How, how, how I look at it and think of it as the Heathcliff of gemstones. I, it's got that sort of darkness, you know, um, mm. in his character. But yet there's also a little bit of hidden romance with those sort of flashes of colours. Do you see where I'm coming from? They kind of looked at me blankly and were like, what on earth are you on about? Um, some people sort of look at this gemstone. It's all about the sort of northern lights and the aurora borealis. It's all very much in the eye of the beholder. Um, but it's very, one thing that is in common is it's magic it's it's got a magical personality and 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 it sort of grabs our attention and it grabs our um, our interest instantaneously so I'm uh, trying to find something different to talk about Labradite when we've been bringing it to you, to you for so many years is that it's actually a really difficult task but looking at and then I thought about it in a different way let's not try and find something different to say about this very gemstone let's look at this strand and it's uh, as an individual gemstone strand, you know, look at these and, th and think, how are these inspiring me? Because they're not always the same. A Labradite in those dark colours, like what we had earlier on, which are almost bordering on black, that's where I see sort of the Heathcliff personality. But then this gorgeous Issa deal is slightly softer. It's more of a silver, more of a green. Now you've got 150 ca 15, sorry, carrots of plain round labradite. How is this strand inspiring you? So instead of trying to find something a little bit different to say about a gemstone or try and teach you something when you've been admiring this gemstone for so many years, you, you, know, you, you, you know more than most um, about the myths, the legends, about its, its hardness on the most scale. Um, it actually is a deceptively sort of, it's, it's quite a soft gemstone in actual fact, part of the Feldspar family. We know it's a phenomenal gemstone because it gives you that fantastic optical illusion but let's look at it and think how is this strand inspiring me how is the cut inspiring me is um, the fact that these are plain rounds when we very infrequently see plain rounds inspiring you in a different way what do you think Fleur does it inspire you in a different way to the other let's say, say the strand that we had earlier on those marquees yeah definitely because with a with a, a round you can create so many different shapes with the round. So you know you can do like your bead um, stitching patterns. Mm -hmm. um, you could do like a beady bead with it. So you can create a bigger oh, bead, wow. and especially with this size as well. This size is absolutely perfect for doing that kind of that kind of work with. Um, it just it just lends itself to so many. I mean, as it's twisted there, you know, if you were to put that onto wire and then twist the two together, that would create a really beautiful statement look. And I just think with Labradorite, you don't really need to do that 
many fancy things to it because it is just it the is, star of the show. Yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. totally, totally, totally agree. Um, and maybe that's why we've we, we, we've had a fixation with it for, for for so long. Think of all the different gemstones that it's going to complement. You know, will it look incredible with your pearls? Absolutely. Does it look amazing with your abalone? Yes. Your amethyst? Yes. Your malachite? Yes. Your your um, praiserite? Absolutely. Citrine? Your your spinels? I mean, I'm trying to think of all the different gemstones that that. that that, that we've brought you um, and we can bring you it complements all of the above pat in yorkshire whoop whoop i got one well done pat well done to you my darling your easter your easter deals and then some are you ready for this it's been your firm favorite gemstone for multiple years we've been established now for pretty much seven years Six mil is a very versatile and popular size because it's not too big, it's not too small. Um, it goes with so many different mediums. We wanted to bring you this Easter in celebration of of of, of hopefully being your um, your go-to jewelry making suppliers for for a length of time. If not, hopefully we we, we soon will be. Um, wanted to bring you your most special gemstone and your most celebrated gemstone. Um, an unmissable opportunity. Five ninety five for genuine gemstones. Labradorite comes with a very dark, dramatic, intense colour, or it can be quite silvery, or it can be quite green. All of which, though, you want to have that amazing labradescence. And the reason why I'm wrapping it over is so that you can see um, the quality up and down the actual strand itself. Flying out of the door. Congratulations to every single one of you. Macrame with this. You can, you can uh, chain mail with this, wire wrap with this. Six millimetre rounds are, I think, Every guest designer will say that's their go-to size, if that's their desert island size, mm -hmm. uh, is, is a six mil round because you can do so much with it. Yeah, absolute stretchy bracelets, yeah. that's amazing. Oh, definitely, yeah, stretchy Incredible. bracelets. Incredible. The Labradorite rounds would go well with the gold and obsidian. Yes, Jack, they would. Yes, yes, yes. They'd also go well with the next kit. Look amazing with the they next would. kit. Um, would you like to see the gold and obsidian, actually? Oh, sorry, the kit, the kit, the kit. Sorry, what am I talking about? The kit. Wow. We have a big quantity of this next kit and we're going to need every single one of them. It's fabulous, isn't it? I mean, they are works of art. Do you know where I see... Like, I'm looking at this. Now pick them up and pop them. Pop them in, I don't know, Selfridges, Fortnum & Mason, Harrods. They would not be they would not be out of place, would they? Now the theme I know is for curtain tie backs, because we're at home for Easter, but seriously I would I've never thought I would say this sentence, but I would wear your curtain tie backs. <laughs> I, I would I wanted to wear them as well. I think they're lovely to wear. They're too nice to put around my curtains. I want to wear those. Really beautiful. But the the weaves that we're going to do within there, you can you could make a necklace. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, yes, they could, they're curtain tiebacks, but it's, it's learning the technique, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. amazing. Five ninety five, only for your gorgeous Labradorite. Um, six mils, like I said, it's, it, it's one of those. I understand why Fleur is saying the go to sizes because they're not. They, they are very versatile for for wear as well. Um, not only your creation, but wearing them. You know, if you think you could wear a six mil round by day um, or by night, look at how many of you are on those phones lines check out check out check out those baskets fascinating aren't they okay now a hot pick these have sold out time and time and time and time and time again those of you that are sea bead lovers do you like working with and i believe these are your these are your 11 o's two millimeter is that right i don't know i don't quote me on that but yeah they're, they're, they're a two millimeter size which we'll just see how that transcends into your sea beading. Um, right, if there's a guest designer who knows watching right now, text us through. These will sell out. There's a pack of 50 sterling silver yellow gold as your next hot pick. <laughs> Okay, um, these are perfect for beading, shibori ribbon, wire work, seed beading, 
oh gosh, I could go on and on and on and on with your polymer clay, with your Ceruline, with... So I'm running out of medium, your chain mail, obviously, um, with, can you think of any more? Your crochet. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Crochet with them. Kumihimo, yeah. yes, that's a good one. I said macrame, haven't I? Um, resin. Embed in resin, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Just generally jewellery making full stop. Um, they are a two mil size. Um, and I've got a quantity of them back in stock since December last year. Now, um, the reason why these are so popular is because they cover so much. You know, they, 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 they are used by so many different jewellery maker uh, techniques, if you like. Now, I think these are, are, are they your 11 O's? It's per inch, isn't it? I think these are your 11 O's. Um... I've lost my tweezers. Let me just show you on the scoop though, that's fine. Now, if I just scoop these up. Twenty... Fifty. Didn't we sell them in twenty before? You're getting fifty. Bear with me, only because you're not seeing them on that board. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Can you see these? Right then. Right, we're sorted now. Oh, in amongst the malachite that we had earlier on. Um, we used to, I'm sure we used to have these in packs of 20. Um, today we're bringing them to you in a pack of 50 of them as well. So great to incorporate in amongst your maybe um, your Mayuki seed beads, maybe as an alternative to your Mayuki. Maybe you're thinking, I'd love seed beading, but I want to use exclusively your, um, your genuine gemstones or your precious metals. That's absolutely fine. And we understand that we have got customers who, who, who have got those beliefs absolutely fine well these will cater to that team these with your micro faceted gemstones and you can do seed beading equally so micro faceted black spinel something like that would look absolutely amazing let's bring that final price onto your screen record low these are back in stock since december last year december last year um december last year not december just so hang on, how many months is that now? What are we in now? Month four. Five, four or five months ago. Four or five months ago. December last year. £3.95. It was the 1st of December as well. Um, get involved as soon as you possibly can. Look at you all on those phone lines. If you want to multi-buy, you're not restricted. You can get as many of these um, as, uh, as you wish two millimeter size so i'm thinking for those that maybe don't do the seed beading because yes i've been talking about seed beading but they are, they do cover all different mediums how would you incorporate them into your chain mail so like we did with the alligator back when we put the black spinel in between or the alligator back you can actually put them into the into the chain mail the same like that so you can weave them in and out um lots of chain mail weaves you can sort of like weave through because you've got lots of different areas where you can actually hide your beading thread mm. and then just say in a, in a, a standard byzantine um you know you've got all those little areas where you could go in and out so you could just simply just circle around a chain mail section with a little piece of um, oh, monofilament amazing oh so using the monofilament yeah, all the I'd way around use monofilament with these that's ones, a, yeah. that's a lovely yeah. idea almost every single person that you're seeing um well i've got literally hundreds of you has chosen to get multiples twos threes fours fives and i do not blame you at all susan bought four wendy bought three bernadette bought three hertfordshire bought three yorkshire's bought two london's bought six michael and isabel have multi bought jillian's just bought four tiny and wearers bought three belfast has bought two merseyside's bought two susan's bought three i mean i i, I i'm you know I, I pretty much every single person i totally agree with you i like the idea of that actually sort of almost circling them yeah. great idea yeah. in amongst the kit could we use that oh definitely where i've used the swarovski on the it's called shaggy loops but it's like a ruffle mm -hmm. um you could definitely put those on there and use them in that in could that you kind circle of... those swarovski crystals yeah. yeah oh wow 
That would be amazing. So using the same technique of like mono monofilament and then yeah. just literally circle so just and round. Just do a circle, yeah. That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Um, three ninety five only. So many of you are getting multiples of, and I don't blame you. You know, effectively, it's four stroke five months since these have been on your screen last. Um, get them whilst you can, stock up whilst you can. Um, just popping them in between, just the occasional gemstone to separate them to allow those gems maybe to actually see a little bit of light. Um, to see a little bit of the light. Just trying to pick one up there. Do you want me to scoop them, did you say? Oh. There we go. Hold one down lower. There we go. There we go. Sizable drill holes too. So most of our wire is going to pass through these. We've got about 100 of these left. Um, it's a good question, actually. What gauges of, of thread will go through these? Are wildfires, Fleur, do you think? Oh, definitely wildfires will go through, yeah, definitely. Um, would our 0.4.6 wire, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I quite, yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be able to... I, I don't know if I've got any... Um, this is a 0.6, so if you... Should I try? Should we test this, this theory? Pop this through, and then you can see, then you can gauge how... I have got wonky, the most jolty hands though but let's let me try excuse me looking at the top of my head for a second da, 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 da. oh yes easy goes on to a point six um point six i reckon possibly a point eight sorry about that possibly a point eight so there you go goes to show how many different threading materials you can actually use with these as well how about in amongst some gorgeous gemstones some gorgeous amethyst Oh, amethyst and gold, don't you think? Just looks sumptuous, doesn't it? It's regal, isn't it? Very, very, very regal. Very regal. In fact, um, purple was very much a colour and an indication mm -hmm. of power. Um, people of hierarchy and stature back in um, olden days used to wear purple. Um, very, very, very luxurious colour and tone. So you've actually got extra seed beads in between. Couldn't tell you what they are or if they're if they look like little pearlescent seed beads, but you could actually replicate this di design, couldn't you? With with the with the two with the two mills that we've just um, back in stock brought to you again. Now we have thirty of these available, sixty eight carats of your stunning amethyst, and um, they are exquisitely separated to show off that intensity of colour. Sometimes you know there's there's. Pros and cons. When we actually bring you a strand and they're jammed on there, fantastic because you're getting more of a carrot weight, but you, we're kind of relying on you to sort of to separate them when you, get, when you get them home and then to appreciate the quality of the gemstone strands. This, you can see, can't you? All the light is able to influence every single surface of those gems all the way around. You can see the diaphanity, you can see the quality of the cut, you can actually see the, the flashes of the pinks, particularly this one here at the bottom of the screen. Can you see the occasional flash of pink coming through? Um, and blues, twelve ninety five in your rondelles. You were saying earlier on, Fleur, that you use rondelles quite a lot with your um, chain mail. Yeah, because they have that kind of cylindrical look. Yeah. So chainmail tends to sit into two categories, either cylindrical or flat. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a flat weave or a nice cylindrical weave. So these just like sit so nicely up against that chainmail. It's like a seamless link between the two of them. Seamless link. I like that. A seamless <laughs> link. So on one of your DVD, um, DVD sections, yeah. we learned about the dragon's back. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, the, dry, uh, the alligator back. Alligator back, sorry. Yeah. The alligator back. Could we use these in our alligator back? Yeah, you could have those on the end. So sometimes um, people don't like a full chainmail look. They want to break it up. So you could have a section of amethyst and then chainmail either side or vice versa. Or so. vice versa. Perfect with your two mail beads um, as well. Do you know, funny enough, um, my grandmother actually had, and I can remember you saying the alligator back keeps reminding me of that. She actually had a handbag and I don't know how I ended up having it but I did and it had this alligator back basically all the way around some people thought it was really 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 cool um I I wasn't mad on it myself I was like you know what I'm never going to use that and in the end I gave it to a charity shop um yeah. but in the jewelry that's cool that's yeah. definitely cool but it was actually an alligator sort of skin, skin. bag 
Mm. Didn't like it. No, I, I don't think I'd like to. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Given and said, mm, yeah, thank you, thank you. Not, not meaning to sound ungrateful. It just wasn't my thing. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't really my thing. Check out those baskets as soon as you can. Don't forget the little pearlescent seed beads are useful as well. You can use those. It's kind of like a double strand, a double, yeah. a, a double wind strand, isn't it? Amazing. Okay, moving on to. Oh, low in stock. So these are going to be quite fast and pacey. And I tell you what, they're going to sell out. Um, a bit gothic. These are a bit gothic. You'll know what I mean as soon as I show you the cut. Ooh, now, no, I wasn't quite thinking like a dagger. I was more thinking like... <laughs> graduated faceted fancy shapes. No, I was more thinking... What are you thinking? Arrowheads. Arrowheads. Oh my gosh, am I being really morbid seeing... I'm seeing coffins. <laughs> Is it me? I don't know, I just think they could be some... Well, skulls are really popular now, aren't they? I don't think coffins will take off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Labradite coffin. Um, okay, what do you want me to call them? Kites. <laughs> Kites. I hope that people aren't thinking that because I've said coffins as the shape, is that's a negative. I hope no. not. Do you know, if, um, <laughs> if, you, if you Google um, the Golden Globes, if you put Labradorite necklace, Golden Globes, there was an actress that wore a, a Labradorite necklace and they're exactly the same shape as these. Coffins? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. <laughs> I don't know, has anyone else seen it? I could just see kites. Kites, well that is prettier, isn't it? That is prettier and slightly less morbid. Kites, thanks Lorna. Yep. <laughs> Look at the beauty of that Labradescence. They are a lovely shape though, aren't they? Marquise, graduated faceted fancy shapes. No, no, I would say more, yeah, kites or marquise or something like that. Absolutely. I'm not going to say it again, don't worry. The guys are all really objecting to that word. Sorry. Vampire teeth or leaves. <laughs> or leaves. Slightly more. Um, icy coffins, L. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. I don't know, you could be, they, they could be anything, couldn't I, they? I think I can see what Paul's saying with arrowheads as well. Arrowheads? Yeah. Yeah. So hang on, if Paul could have arrowheads, I could have coffins. Seriously. If, if Paul's having arrowheads, I'm having coffins. <laughs> because they're as close to. They really are. You'd have to have very pointy feet. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'll bring these out on another day and not have that conversation <laughs> about them. Do you know what? They probably will. Danny, maybe you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't schedule these for me because I see coffins. We were saying about gemstones inspiring us in different ways. Yeah. yeah. Inspired That's you. quite edgy and yeah. gothic-like. Okay. Quick recap on... Ooh, the beautiful opal that we had earlier on. Let me just pop my seed beads for a second, my two mil seed beads. I've got 21 of these still in baskets. Amazing. Shows you the, the, the variations that you can actually get with your opal. This is a variation of opal from that location. And we were talking about hydrophane performance. If it's a new expression, a new terminology to you, um, hydrophane performance refers to an opal actually having sort of a liquid-like appearance. Almost like, and Danny put it the best way that I've heard actually, almost like the gemstone has been poured inside. Can you see? It's almost, uh, they're like those colours. Those colours kind of migrate their way um, around. Ooh, like a magical potion. Or a lava lamp. Or a lava lamp. 
Yeah, 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 totally. Um, and what's been discovered just to the west, just to the west of uh, <laughs> of the main seam is hydrophane performance, and uh, and this is what we're admiring. I've still got twenty of them in your in baskets being allocated. We were talking about how how hypnotic and how incredible and consistent they are across the entirety of the strand. Eighteen carats of natural Ethiopian opal. That's a lot, isn't it? It really, really, really is. Just pick one and see how many different colours are contained within. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay, I'm running out of time. We have got Fleur's um, next DVD. Oh, sorry, next kit. Next <laughs> DVD. You have been busy. Um, coming your way. It's a big quantity and we're bringing it to you at an exceptionally low price point. Um, chain made tuitions tutorials deals galore home for easter um i hope you're enjoying your easter holidays we'll be back after this welcome to jewelry maker we're live every day from 8 a.m to 11 p.m you can now book jewelry maker workshops online just head over to our jewelry maker website and click on the workshop link we have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you have found a workshop you'd like to attend, simply click on the book now button. Fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions you can contact our workshop coordinator Wendy at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker by liking our Facebook page and join over 55,000 like-minded people. Good one there. I like those. Yeah. Love it, Paul. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Am I allowed to go next to Fleur now? <laughs> it's like we had a row there, like we had a tiff. Are you like gorgeous one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, always a pleasure. I know. Never a chore. Um, right, if you've been messaging in after the launch of Fleur's DVD about the jump ring, saying we need the jump rings, this is the, this is the kit. It's kind of like um, um, it's a, it's a, it's a double-headed win, basically. Does it that is. make sense? It's win win. Win win. You've got it for the DVD and you've got it for the kit. So um, this is what you need to be getting involved in. Now we have accommodated a big quantity on the back of the DVD. So lots of different gauges and sizes of the jump rings, which we will dissect um, and go through if you like. Now, not only are you getting loads of jump rings, you're getting as well tons of Swarovski. I mean, this is a kit that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? It does. It's, it's a it's a fabulous kit, and it's got everything in there. That you, so that the you kit is perfect with the DVD. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, these are new. I've not seen these before. The beautiful Swarovski crystals that you're getting two big ones, two big hearts, and they're coming up with double pavilion, so you get almost double the brilliance. Um, I'm going to try and hold up one of the smaller ones because my tweezers actually won't fit one of the bigger ones. So let me just show up, hold up one of the smaller ones to, sh to show you. It's not easy actually. There we go. Hopefully. Uh, aren't they beautiful, Fleur? They've got the most beautiful gold that comes through them. Um... You're getting two, four, six of this size, which this size is, I've not got the specifications. What size are these? Um, I think they're the 10 Are they the 10 millimetres? And they've obviously, okay. yeah, 10 mil. 10 by 3. So um, with obviously the, the, the drill hole through the top, want of a better expression, mm -hmm. so the anchor point that you can start with. You've also got the two big, beautiful pendants. Ah, oh, thank you, Fleur. That makes life so much easier. I'm going to thread this onto a little bit of wire so you can actually see um, see it being suspended. Oh, beautiful. Now, you've got 1,300 jump rings. So for those of you that were after the jump rings on, um, on the back of the DVD launch, get this kit because it accommodates all of the weaves. The dragon scale, yeah. you said, didn't it? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can do all the weaves. All the weaves. Yeah. So all of the weaves. Get this kit, um, and um, you're away basically. So this measures. You get two of these, and these measure eighteen by seventeen point five. Right. Okay. Let's go through all of the different jump rings because there are loads and loads and loads of them. So I'm going to start with. Oh, and you got uh, Swarovski bicones. Mm -hmm. Forgot about those. Right. You get 48 of your Swarovski clear bicones as well, so incredible. I never thought I'd say this, but the Swarovski's a bonus to this kit. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so starting with... I've got 5 millimetres and 7 millimetres in the silver. 200 of your 5 millimetre, and I'm going to feed some of them onto my, um, onto my tweezers. So 200 of the 5 millimetre and 400 of your 7 millimeter so that's 600 in total of your silver oh it's just jumped over of your silver jump ring 600 so how many of those weaves break like for example the the dragon scale so with dragon scale you do need a six millimeter jump ring so that's not in this kit but with the dragon steps the one that's, that's next the one to it, i meant sorry the dragon steps um that takes both of these two sizes and you'll be able to do um the necklace maybe a bracelet as well okay maybe a bracelet okay fabulous um so you can do that what about sorry i, I forgot what it's called the jen's pin link that's it so that that takes all just five millimeter jump rings um for um for a necklace you probably need two of those but you have got them in another colour as well so you would be able to do the necklace with the two gold with the gold and the silver really beautiful as well all of yeah. these jump rings and you get so many of them do bear with me while I just thread them all on the tweezers so you get an idea um, you are in totally having 1300 jump rings which um, when you've just got a DVD like Fleur's, when you've just we've just launched that DVD, you're going to need every single one of them. And you do get six millimeter in this kit, don't you? They are yes. six millimeter. Oh, so you can do every single one of them then. Yeah. You, you can, can do, do every dragon. single weave. Yeah, every single weave. Now with the gold, you're getting two hundred of each size. So there's five millimeters, six millimeters, 
seven millimeters um, and nine mil so got two packs of seven of you two packs of seven there you go there you go no you got the silver um, 600 of your silver and the remaining quantity of that 1300 is of all uh, of, of, of your yellow gold's uh, silver color um, are we ready because we have got quantity what's the quantity 101 it sounds like a lot but it's actually not when we've just launched when we've just launched a DVD and everyone's going to be crying out for jump rings I never thought I'd say this but the Swarovski is actually a Brucey bonus really it's all about the jump yeah, it rings is. isn't it it's all about the jump rings in this kit all about the all about the jump rings um, we're going to introduce that 60 second clock so then we bring the graphics in as soon as that big hands point points vertically again that's when um, it all becomes available to everybody so are you ready uh, Liz and Kent oh my goodness me those are just fabulous. I've got to have them. Is she talking about the jump rings or is she talking about the Swarovskis? All of the above, probably. OMG Fleur, unbelievable jewellery. You always inspire me with your talent. Thank you. Aww. Thank you very much. She is inspiring, isn't she? And these are curtain tie backs, but you know what? I'd wear those. Yeah. yeah as I they are. Yeah, definitely. Really be beautiful. beautiful. But now, you, if, you, if you were to break this kit down and not call it a kit it's it's a stash builder this kit has got so many jump rings and so many different um sizes in there uh -huh. you've got those those nine millimeter jump rings which are the only size that we can do dragon scaling with jm jump rings so we can only do dragon scale with nine millimeter and six millimeter there you go um it, that quantity is available now go 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 i totally agree and i never thought i'd actually say these words but the swarovski crystal is definitely um and it you know a little a little cheeky bonus if you like um, to the kit and of course they're breathtakingly beautiful of course they are but look at everything that you're getting here I don't know can I do this loads of you on those phone lines look at how much you're actually getting how many pieces of jewelry could we create out of all of these um, I'm sure oh, there we go all of these beautiful jump rings look how it's taken a, uh, it's almost white there isn't it it's all, almost white now I think you could quite safely say you could create 10 bracelets. 10 bracelets? Depends on the weave that you're using because the weave that you use, you know, it will, will be more um, sort of like more jump rings will be used in certain weaves than others. Um, so, yeah, it depends on the weaves that you're using, but, you know, quite happily. I managed to do the curtain tie backs and that's a whole linked chain as well. So that's a hand linked chain and then that dragon scale pendant and I've still got these left and you've still got all of those left yeah. my goodness wow 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 don't forget you can use this kit i use that term quite loosely um alongside today's launch of uh of fleurs uh dragons and more chainmail dvd get involved as soon as you can we had a hundred and and 101 that's and two-thirds of the stock has already gone look at how many people are in their baskets so good luck to each and every single one of you it is um absolutely a stash essential as yes. well for any chain mail lovers out there um you know i know if you're not a swarovski lover you know sell them yeah sell them yeah. elsewhere 42.95 and if you think about the amount of you think about the amount of jump, jump rings, rings that you're getting here 1300 yeah. and you know these the the large hearts yeah they are quite expensive Oh, when yes. I say quite expensive, I mean they are quite. I was quite shocked at the uh, price. How, how expensive yeah. they are. Um, absolutely. And we've got, you know, the wedding weekend coming up. I'm holding this on wire just so you can actually see the colours. Do you notice how this is more golden? Whereas when I had it um, on the desk, it almost took that sort of. And when you turn them around, they're blue. Yeah. So you can use them either side. So they've got like um, an ultraviolet blue on the other side as well. Gorgeous, aren't they? really 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 beautiful dial in as soon as you possibly can to get hold of your sorry paul um on screen sell out did you say it will be an on screen sell out this hour definitely 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 i'm not surprised because you get so much um i have to s pins weave yeah you could do that with the gold and the silver definitely so what size do i need for the, the pins five, weave the five millimeters the five mils yeah um and 
every weave we can do. Every single weave that's there we can do with these jump rings. Sorted. All so you need to do, we'll be kits. recapping the DVD, so don't worry, those of you that um, those of you that missed it. Hello, Deborah, she said, sorry to ask Fleur, but is the JPL made with JM 5mm or 5mm in a diameter? No, they're made with 5mm outer diameter, which creates a 3mm inner diameter. On the DVD, we go through the aspect ratios of different uh, jump rings. You need an aspect ratio of 3 to be able to create gen spin linkage, or around 3, it's 2.8 to 3.2. So it's the actual like specifics. So if I show this down sort of uh, down, down the camera, yeah. you can, the internal diameter is fairly obvious, isn't yeah. it? So that's so the, the mandrel that the wire is wrapped around is the same diameter as the inner diameter. Yeah. And then the wire diameter, which is a one mil in this case, on either side creates your five millimeter outer yeah. diameter. Yeah, that's the external yeah. thickness, if yeah. you like. So that, that makes sense. Okay, I've got time to just quickly recap um, Fleur's DVD. And we will obviously be having de um, more demonstrations from the wonderful Fleur. So it's a massive massive launch um launch today at 10 a.m um hundreds have sold already already um and i think it will be an entire sellout come the end of the day now we ordered a bigger quantity such as the demand of this dvd if you've never done chain mailing before it's very 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 addictive um this is the dvd and it's your chain mail dragons and more yeah so some of the most popular links yeah links is the wrong word weaves yeah yes yeah would be Included in this DVD. Yeah, so um, a lot of people will see chainmail and then they they see the like historic chainmail weaves like your Byzantine and box weave, but then they fall in love with things like the Dragon Scale, which is a more it's a it's a newer weave. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's relatively new, right. um, and things like the Jens Pin Linkage, which again is a really fine weave. So you go from one one end of the scale to the other really with the gens pin linkage being the finest weave that we can do with jewelry maker jump rings and dragon scale you know it's endless how how wide you can make that cuff and i've seen on um, facebook in chainmail groups people have made ties and things like that and, and like armor with dragon scale so you can wow. it's very heavy it just ba all dragon scale is basically is two sheets of um european four in one stack on top of each other wow. but it's a real dense weave it takes a lot of jump rings to be able to create a bracelet but I tell you what it's beautiful it's, it's, it's so it. so so beautiful um so that's including um uh, if i just turn this around actually you can see it the little uh, at the back um at the back of the dvd it's approximately an hour long it was launched this only this morning 600 sold out then and there probably more um in between now and then so there's the different um the different wonderful chain mail media uh, techniques that you're going to be learning and you were saying that they are are you know quite intricate yeah but if you are somebody that can follow like a recipe or follow a pattern then you'll be able yeah. to follow this DVD. That's it. It just takes a little bit of um, patience. Uh -huh. So sometimes a jump ring won't go where you want it to go. So it's just a little bit of patience. But yep. a friend of mine decided that they would have a go at chainmail and she picked a pattern and she chose dragon scale uh -huh. and that was her starting journey so from there really she started, where she started from dragon scale so i never say that something's easy or hard with chain mail it's the size of the jump rings that you're using and the gap that's that's available for that jump ring to go through which makes it more difficult and, and easy if you like fabulous do get it whilst you can really 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 beautiful now back to the um, kit, what, which one of these stunning pieces are you going to be um, showing us? Because there's so, so many. I'm <laughs> going to show you the actual weave of the, the main central weave of the curtain tie backs, which is a double twisted weave. Um, so it's like a spiral weave. So it's a double spiral. Um, and it, it almost looks like a, a, a spiral necklace that you, it can, does. you, know, you can buy. As a, as a, from a jeweller's. Of so course you can turn this into jewellery if you yeah, want it to be. Yeah. These, um, I wanted to, because obviously for curtain tie backs you need something that's quite substantial because some curtains are quite heavy. Yeah. So the, these weaves that I've chosen, the, the double spiral is quite a substantial weave but you know you could, it makes a beautiful necklace and you've got enough in there because I've, I've mirror imaged both, I've, I've mirrored the design twice mm -hmm. so if you can imagine how many jump rings that you would have left over if you were going to make just a necklace you'd have so many jump yeah. rings left over tons and tons the 1300 available um in this kit if it's still available okay so uh, okay. take us away so what we need is we need the seven millimeter jump ring so what the pattern that i've done is i've done three sets of silver and then one set of gold mm -hmm. um you won't see that because i'm using the colored jump rings the, the larger jump ring so you can see the pattern easier but this is a really really simple design so what we're going to start with we're going to start with two closed jump rings so again all seven millimeters 
And what I'm going to do is take my first set of open jumpings. So all your jumpings, apart from the first two, need to be open. And chainmail, the speed of chainmail comes from having everything prepared. So if you have everything prepared, it's a lot easier. Okay, so I've now got those two linked together. And what I'm going to do is take a little piece of wire and I'm just going to make a handle because it's so much easier. And that one's got a big gap in it. So much easier to hold when you have a handle as well. Let me just sort that out because it's now... I'll put them through the purple ones. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I've now got my handle in place. Now, do you remember when we were saying about um, the, the, like things like, like the marquee shape and the eye shape and things like that with, with chain mail? So what you've got is if we cross both of those over, can you see right in the very middle you've got an eye shape there? Okay, so it's just there, just a little eye shape. So what you're going to do basically with this weave is you're going to always go through where the two jump rings cross over or where the four jump rings cross over, should I say. So my next pair of jump rings I need to get ready. Mm -hmm. So this is going to go from the front to the back. So I'm always going to go in the same direction. So I'm going to go down through where they cross over. So where the, where the black jump rings and the purple jump rings cross over, I'm going to add my next pair of jump rings and because it's a double spiral we're just going to add in the next two and close so I've now got my first pair in place so what I need to do now so if I spread them out like that you can see it's naturally starting to twist as it goes um, so I'm going to ignore the purple pair and now looking at the green and the black pair of jump rings and where they cross over is just there so if you if I just put that black pair together, you'll be able to see. So they're not going to go through this gap here. They're going to go through the gap where they cross over. So just down through that gap there. So my next pair of jump rings, and again, coming from the top, down through both of those pairs and close. And again, just remembering that it's a double spiral, so we double each jump ring up and close. So now my next pair of jump rings, again, so I ignore the first two pairs this time, I'm now going to go to my next two pairs. So if you like, if you, if you keep them together, you're almost going back two, two sort of like bar, uh, two sections if you like. So this is one section here, this is the second section, so it's going to go through the gap there. And again, take my jump ring down and through. And as you can see, it's starting to twist as it goes, because this, this twister spiral, um, it sort of holds its twist as well. So the pattern that I did with the, the actual gold and silver jump rings are, I did three, three silver jump rings and then one gold jump ring. Now, you, as you start to get a little bit more length with this chain, you just have to be careful that this jump ring has gone through all four. So sometimes it's easy just to miss one out, so make sure it goes through all four of those jump rings and then close. And you can see how it's starting to spiral. But you can also see that it's got a real strong structure to this chain as well, because you've got you know, your jump rings going through the last four jump rings, so it's got a real strong structure. Mm -hmm. So for things like curtain tie backs, it's so much more robust to sort of like have rather than just like a two in two chain or a two in one chain. So all you're going to do is just carry on going until you've got the length of your chain that you want. And it, that weave is as simple, simple as it gets. There's, there's nothing else to this weave other than making sure that you just go through where the, the last two, so ignore what you've already done. So you're always looking at the last two pairs and where they cross over, there's a definite gap just there. Yeah. So you can see, and you just literally pop them through. And as long as you keep going from the front to the back, and don't, you know, you can come that way as well, but it's, I always find with a pattern that the more steps you can remember. So the last two. So it becomes two, almost yeah, automatic. So it becomes like a, like a mantra. So it's the last two jump rings and down from the top. And that, if you can remember Ooh, that good. all the time. Last two jump rings down from the top. top. So it's the last two jump rings. So I ignore what I've done already. The last two jump rings and down through the top. And if you just remember that little sort of like mantra, then it will always... I think even I can remember that. It will always create this lovely... Twisted spiral. effect. Spiral. So you can see... And this, and this is jump. what you're going to end up with. Really, really, really beautiful. There it is. Fabulous, thank you. 1,300 jump rings with all the different variations, perfect alongside your DVD launch as well today. Thank you, Fleur. That's okay. As always, the kit sold out. It's sold out.
It's all there, gone. Not surprised at all. Um, okay, who would like some perfect chain for your deal of the day? Did you see the deal of the day today? It was beautiful, those filigree beads. <sighs> Yeah, I know they sold out, I think. Or certainly most of them. And the the rose dropped, gold and the yeah. yellow gold has. I think there's some of the silver, did you say? Some of the silver remaining. Um, this is a metre long length of beautiful blush road, rose gold. Look at that stunning link. I'm just going to lay it across the back, back of my hand. Um, you could layer this up. I mean, you're getting so much of it. Isn't that perfect? Don't you think? Perfect with mm. today's deal of the day. Whatever the colour it is, whatever colour of choice. How many is this what you call a satellite chain? Would you call that a satellite chain? Because it's um, got the little beads on there as well. Um, I've, I've not heard of a satellite chain, but I know what you mean. I don't know. Well, trace chain, I certainly wouldn't call it that, to be honest. I actually think... Whenever I see trace, I think of thin. Yeah. And yeah. that's not accurate really it's it's this is this is two grams of sterling silver you know that's a really substantial chain ball detail chain i don't know something like that but satellite i like that maybe we could keep it that one fleur or you could call it ufo chain because we've got little ufos little ufo chains okay we can but go satellite rolls off the tongue better and you laugh <laughs> you you scoffed at my coffin statement we're talking ufos now my goodness. <laughs> Two grams of sterling silver, that lovely blush pink, mm -hmm. 9 95 Okay, now hang on a minute. You try and get your head around this for a second. You can buy a sterling silver 18-inch chain necklace from us at 7 95 We do that quite regular, don't we? Amazing, awesome, incredible deal. Or you can buy effectively two and a half. Yes, okay, you'll have to, insert, you'll have to include your, your, your um, clasps. Mm -hmm. You can buy two and a half for 9 95 And you can have it whatever length you like. True. Or you can have earrings or bracelets. True. And it's very easy, because you've got that, those lovely little links, in easy to anchor on to. Yeah, your featherweight head pin will go through there. Easy peasy. Really well. Right then, moving on to some beautiful amber. Um, you know your, your, your dragon scale? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine this oh, at the bottom? Be perfect, wouldn't it, at the bottom? Oh, you can't see it. Hang <laughs> on a minute. Let, let me just move that bracelet for a second because you can't see what I'm referring to. One minute. <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, I've got 72 of these available. Uh, wouldn't this be perfect? It would. It would. It would finish the design off beautifully. I think it's because of the simplicity of the actual yeah. bezel itself. And the jump rings will fly through there as well. Fly through the actual, um, through the actual, what do you want to call it? Pendant or the actual? The bale. Bale itself. Loads of fabulous inclusions from your wonderful Baltic amber. Stunning sterling silver, which has got real great depth mm. as well, hasn't it? Um, and I'm looking straight away back at your dragon scale because that is quite like a, a substantial, um, chain mail you said two layers didn't you yeah yeah it's like two layers it's almost like it warrants having a sizable yeah. pendant yeah. as well i have literally literally 78 of these or rather we did 9.95 what were you expecting 19.95 yeah i was thinking who could i afford to make a pair of earrings but at 9.95 i think i could definitely make a pair of earrings buy two and make a pair of earrings yes definitely because you just pop them on shepherd hooks wouldn't yeah. you as simple as that. Yeah. Include it onto any of your, your stunning new weaves that you're going to be mastering within the next few days. 9.95 only. Super, super busy this morning, uh, stroke this afternoon. Lots and lots and lots of sellouts and this isn't going to be any different. Um, our Baltic Amber supplies are getting very, very limited. Grab it whilst you can. Okay, is it time for... Oh, the tube of silver plated. Are these like our original... Um, like seed beads. Seed beads, yeah. Now, very deceptive. How many come in these in these tubes? It's a big tube, basically. They are originals. The ones we first launched, like so Sarah Elvin, um, has created uh, wonderful designs um, and DVDs as well from yeah. these, isn't she? Yeah. Is it French beading? Yeah, French beading and beading loom, I think. Yeah. How's that one? Are you ready for this? Okay. Are you ready for something? 
we have 200. 200 is not enough in seed beads, really. Thousands will sell at any one yep. period of time. So yep. it's a last in stock opportunity quantity, actually. Are you ready for a straight race to the finish line? On the web, you're seeing this, 1495. Um, a straight battle to the finishing line with who gets these is going to be a price slash. 200 is, is still a sizable quantity yeah. in most things. Not in seed beads. No. Five by four millimetres. Right, what we're going to do is put that 60 second clock. And the reason why we do it, the reason why we do it is to make it fair for everyone. Plus, there is also another reason in this, um, in this instance. It's one of those where we have to work in unison. We have to work together. So if Danny, my producer, knows that you are interested and enough people are interested and he can pretty much guarantee that all 200 of them will sell out, then we can work together and get that price even lower. If, if only a few of them go, then it's counterproductive, basically, and we've, we, we've, we've lost money. Do you, know, do you see what I'm saying? 200 of them last in stock opportunities if every single one of them sells. So be on those work phone lines. It's Easter Monday, after all. Easter Monday. It's what we get away with, you know, things like this. We've got 200 of them. Be on the web, be on the phone lines. If we can see enough of you there, then Danny says we'll work together. The more they go, basically, we always work off tiny margins anyway. But the more justified it is of a sellout. Does that make sense? Of an entire sellout. The lower the price, we can justify it then. Okay, decisions have been made, Danny says. You can hide the evidence as well. You can conceal the evidence. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> mm, that's an amazing price. If, if, if these sell out, <gasps> which they will, basically it means the powers that be, unless they're watching right now, which I doubt they will, cease to um, might have a song background, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully they're busy. Um, but basically, these auctions just go into some kind of archive, and they'd have to really go through all the archives of history auctions. Um, it is quite tedious, actually, to do, to do it, so they just don't bother. They don't bother. Um, so we have basically cleaned up all the evidence if we sell out. Let me see. Oops. Half the stock's gone. Half the stock has gone. Loads of you with it still in your basket. That working, that's working out what? Two pence, did you say? Two pence per bead. I mean, we might have brought you a two mil at 2p. But this is a 48 silver-plated brass gram weight. Sil precious metal on there. And when you think something like a Kumihimo beaded bracelet would take a lot of... A lot of beads to, to be able to produce. You you need a couple of tubes, you know, because it's it's always the same. You make something, and then some one of your friends say, "Oh, that's beautiful. Can, Can I, I have, have one? one of those?" And then the price has gone up of the materials. Yeah. So you can't sort of like make it as a gift. It becomes too expensive. Absolutely. I mean, I know many people. Well, it's all horses for courses. Tomato, tomato, and all of that. You know, some people will love to look, work with precious metals exclusively. Some people, sometimes, you know, it's it's about offering affordability because not everyone might be able to 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 accommodate silver prices. Yeah. So, yeah. for example, on your on your um, with your chainmail pieces that yeah. you create, I know you sell in sterling silver. Yeah. But if someone was, if I was to come to you and say, Flo, you know, I'm not in a position to actually to spend that amount of money. Could you make it to me in silver plate? Yes. Yeah. Of course, good. You don't want to turn away business, no. do you? No, at the you end of the day, do. like you say, if you are selling, you need something that everybody's um, pocket, if yep. you like. So pocket money prices up yep. to, you know, whatever your your top price item is. Yeah, absolutely. There are only two hundred of them. That's not a massive quantity when it comes to your seed beads. They're like our originals, and these are f uh, five by four, so they're pretty substantial as well. You could just literally pop these on stretchy bracelets. Yeah, they stretchy look bracelets. fabulous like that. And um, rings as well. Yeah, the, a lot of them are now st making stretchy rings. A lot of the high Street. Oh, that's a nice idea. You don't have to size them. It's a great idea. They're small, medium, and large, and that's little it. thumb rings, stretchy yeah. thumb rings. That would yeah. be lovely. Anklets again. Yeah. Beach sandals, barefoot sandals. Ooh. Beaded barefoot sandals are huge. Beaded barefoot sandals. So they go around your toe and then yeah. up through the top of your foot and then round your ankle. Okay, so you don't like a fit, yeah, yeah, like a flip flop, yeah. but no flop. That's it. 
Let's have a, there's, the, there's the flip. There's, no there's the flip, but there's no flop. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Totally get it, totally get it. Right, quick recap on um, your malachite that we brought you as your early bird first thing I'm this glad morning. You that over. They are beautiful. I don't yeah, want to call so. these these nuggets because they're not. They're lovely tumbles, aren't yeah. they? And while you were talking, one of those little beads rolled over mm. so you can see what it looked like with the gold. Can we see that? Yeah, they do look exceptional, yeah. don't they? Totally natural malachite. A hugely considered gemstone and one that te te tends to be very um, historical amongst royalty, um, hierarchy. Yeah, I think it's because it's got that, it just, it's opulent, isn't it? Opulent, regal, yeah, yeah, yeah at, at 100%. Um, and it's a very distinctive green as well. There's nothing quite like it, something we've had a conversation of already today, haven't we? We've been talking about the differences in green gemstones. This has got that wonderful, exquisite, luxurious, sumptuous almost. Mm. Sumptuous might be a word that I would refer to with malachite. Intriguing, fascinating. Um, those patterns and formations are all totally and utterly natural. You might be fooled for thinking that this has maybe been submerged in some, um, some really intense uh, die not the case actually this is how this gemstone actually forms within the ground malachite is not what we call a mainstream gemstone because there's so little of it coming out of the ground you know if we're, if we if if the if the price of gems were depicted on rarity then diamonds would not be would not be what our, our, our sort of number one um sapphires wouldn't be either rubies wouldn't be emeralds wouldn't be um gemstones that many of us haven't even heard of before would be the ones commanding the high price tags malachite i reckon would be would, would be there or thereabouts 12.95 now we did um we did a quick price comparison with our own website and our own website the most affordable malachite strand was what something like 24 29.95 from memory um we said 80 carats it was an eight o'clock price tag pay sometimes to get up bright and early don't often get to recap our um our early bird Often the decisions that Danny makes are a bit hazy, he says. <laughs> you said we, actually, but... <laughs> no, it is a we. It is definitely, definitely a we. 12.95? Well, I'm not included. Oh. <laughs> Fleur's like that, no, no, no. Don't you, don't you include me in this, in, <laughs> in, in, in this outrage of an 8 o'clock <laughs> price tag. She doesn't want any part of it, Danny. No part of it whatsoever. Twelve ninety-five. Well done. Check out. Check out. Check out. Um, <laughs> okay. Quick recap of the deal of the day. Your filigree beads, if I can find them. Now the rose gold and the yellow gold sold out. Oh, there they are. Where's the other one? Well, it's still it's still hiding. It's playing oh, hide and seek. I forgot. Someone lost one. Accidentally. Threw We've it on got the floor. gorgeous jewellery to show, though, haven't we? Da, 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 da. I'm still looking for this filigree bead. I don't know where it went. It... It's going to turn up. You, you do get three of them. You do get three of them within um, within your pack. Now, we were saying about, uh, about last weekend, I, I believe it was, when we had our under £10 weekend, we launched our filigree beads. They were slightly bigger than what you're looking at on your screen, although they were sold individually. And they were brought and sold out at 7 95 Incredible, fabulous patterns, wonderful silversmith work. Um, and because they were so popular and because so many people messaged through, we decided, or rather we were able, to bring you um, another opportunity. These are slightly, uh, slightly smaller size. But this time, um, you get the three. You get all three. Seven ninety-five for these. Aren't they beautiful? The only ones we have remaining is the silver. We had a five hundred quantity. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them are sold. Beautiful pieces of jewellery. Yeah. Yet, yet, yeah. yet, quite simple in terms of its yeah. technique. Yeah, I think um, Sue's just used a Swarovski crystal either side or a bicone either side. Um, and that's all it needs, gorgeous. isn't it? Yeah, those those earrings are everyday earrings. I'm quite often saying less is more on certain yeah. on, on certain designs, and I think this is definitely definitely one of those. Now, perfect combination alongside today's deal of the day. So, um, this is another eight eight a.m. price tag. So, if you're thinking, what on earth? What on earth's going on? It's because 
You've got to catch, get up nice and early to catch the early worm. Everybody, I think, that was watching at that time bought these. I'm guessing, but I reckon. Because they were, it was very busy, super busy. You get 20 within a pack. Don't you think these would be gorgeous in amongst your, your filigree bead? I think one either side would just be absolutely beautiful, just flanking it either side. Do you know what I'm thinking? A full bracelet. Yeah, because you would only need two, two packs. Two packs with all of those. That's like not a standard ish. Standard ish bracelet. You get the idea, though, don't you? Just have all these surrounding just one of your filigree beads. That would look beautiful, wouldn't it? I'm trying to position them so you get the idea. But I think you've got there. I think you've got there, haven't you? Beautiful. These are a size six millimeter. Um, so they are sizable. They've got a really substantial drill hole as well. So most of your threading materials, your wires, your um, your beading threads, your elastics, possibly even your leathers will go through yeah, there. Yeah, I think the one mil leather would possibly go through there. Fly through, absolutely fly through. We were talking about the simplicity. I think that you know. Um, what made them so popular, the fact that they're going to work so beautifully yeah. with so much, so many gemstones, so many different elements of sterling silver, the last kit that we had. What are you doing? I'm just going to see if it would fit onto one of the 9mm jump rings. By all means do. There we go. I'll pass one over to Fleur. 8 95 only to get hold of it. Um, congratulations to everybody that's already got theirs. Many, many, many multi-port. These have only ever, ever, ever been on your screens at £12.95 uh, pence previously. Um, now, I haven't got a gram weight, but you can imagine. Let me just move that filigree one so I'm not confusing anyone. Um, I haven't got a gram weight, but can you imagine how, many th how much it is? It's going to be a lot, isn't it? Because they're substantial. They're not flimsy. Look what you just did. I made, I made a thing. You made a belly button ring. <laughs> it is like a belly button ring. It is. And that's just a 9mm jump ring that's just gone straight through so I, I would possibly just pop a shepherd hook onto that and just have yeah, them as, just wear them really as earrings. simple earrings. So your 9mm jump rings from the last kit will go through these as well so they can be incorporated into your designs yeah, you um, on your um, DVD and also um, with, the, with the kit just previously. We've got quantity but they are flying they've only ever been on your screens previously it's 12.95 Eight ninety-five. If I was saying that at eight o'clock this morning, which is what we did, and that's why so many went at that given moment in time, I can justify it if you like. But this is, you know, in fact, I can't justify that any time. Let me retract that statement. I'm retract. I'm retracting that statement. When was the last time these were on screen? Ages ago, weren't they? Back in March. Okay, not that long ago. <laughs> not that long ago. I've got the wrong... I, was, I thought these were the ones that were March last year or something like that. No? Okay. Well, hey, they've still never been 8 95 <laughs> It's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> these haven't been up for ages. When was it? Last week. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't matter the new price tag. That's fabulous. And they go through all of your of all of your your wires and your threading materials, etc. Okie dokie. Moving on. I've got time to quickly recap. This opal. The drops. Beautiful opal. Hydrophane opal. Have you picked a favourite yet? Of of this strand. Yes. I think it was one of the ones nearer the end that I... It had all the colours to it. Oh. They are all absolutely beautiful. I think you'd be... I think you'd be struggling to find one that doesn't bring you that amazing, amazing display of colour. Flashes of reds, greens, blues. Totally and utterly natural. Is it any wonder that William Sh Shakespeare said this was the queen of gems? Mm. It's true. The queen of gemstones. It loves this, this sort of um, weather as well. It loves the sunshine. I don't know if it's si sh the sun is shining outside. It wasn't when I... Well, you know yeah. what? It loves daylight then. 
loves daylight but picture it when we do, do have some lovely weather we did this yeah. weekend it was quite nice this weekend yeah, isn't it, it? Was, yeah. um, and picture your opals, opals showing off that wonderful hydrophane hydrophane performance it was it wasn't wet or dreary it, did, it, it rained yesterday only a little bit oh. only a little bit god it's no pleasing some people honestly it wasn't like the weekend before no that i totally was agree that was like summer that was summer totally gone. agree yeah. Now, 59.95 to get hold of this. Now, I've got literally time to quickly recap your beautiful amethyst. Lovely shape, this. Um, be prepared for a nice um, early bird price point. Long strand of. They're beautiful, though, aren't they? they? Really stunning. They're really, like, they've got so much clarity to them. Amazing, amazing clarity. So, if you had a bit of a lie in this, uh, this bank holding money, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You know, given the chance, the opportunity, I would like a lie in too. It's never going to happen. <laughs> it's never, ever going to happen. <laughs> Natural Zambian amethyst. How would you work with these? Because they are a different shape um, and cut to to what we, 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 we've seen. In fact, I think this is the only strand that we've had yeah. in this shape all morning. I think these just lend themselves to earrings straight away. They, they just, with that drop, so it's sort of like, straight away, it, it almost has that kind of teardrop yeah. shape, like that raindrop. So yeah, definitely um, earrings, with the deal of the day, they'd look beautiful coming from the bottom of the deal of the day. Just popping one, them. yeah, just popping one underneath the filigree, uh, yeah. the filigree beads, don't you think? I mean, how opulent would they be? The nice thing about um, these kind of shapes as well is you can point them where you want them to go. So you yeah. have e either side Create pointing direction. down yeah, to, say, one of the Swarovski hearts that were on the second kit. Oh, yes, that's a great idea. Creating direction in your design as well, which sometimes you look to do, don't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. That's a great idea. Really beautiful, and I think that that, that purple is almost going to migrate its way into your mm. Swarovski heart. That was available in the sec in the se second kit, sold out. Well done to those of you that managed to get hold of it. Wow, certainly an eight a.m. price tag. I can't even remember that seven ninety five. Can you? No, I can't remember that price tag. I thought it was a lot more than that. It yeah, I can't. I know it was almost five hours ago, but seriously, seven ninety five for natural Zambian amethyst. I mean, that location, is it any wonder that the likes of sort of Shopard, Van Cleef and Apples, Keep Key McDonald, all of the above sort of look at, uh, look to, not only because of its sort of pos positive messages and endorsements of mining, but, but because the quality that actually comes out of, that, uh, out of that location as well. Amazing. Yeah, create direction. Maybe it draws the eye, doesn't it? A bit like these have been stranded in a certain way, haven't they? Yeah, they, they, they go outwards. Do you see outwards? I see going in. Depends which way you look at it, I suppose, the direction. Which way, which way is your arrow? So this side's going this way, and that side's going that way. Yeah, you're right, they do go outwards. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> like saying, Al, you just keep disagree with everybody. Today. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But you could look at the fat no, I'm not even you're right, they do go outwards. You're one hundred percent right. I know I did, I just stopped myself. <laughs> Going out <laughs> not in. Right. Thanks, Michael. So creating your outward design. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful buttery yellow gold. These are your two mills. These are your gorgeous two mills. And we were trying to decipher whether these are your 11 O's. Um, um, I, I, nobody, nobody actually messaged in. I think they are. I think they are. I think they're your. That's that's basically your two mills. It's got to be right, isn't it? How many you get per inch? So do you want to count one of those? Can you count one of those? Is that 11 No. No. One, two, three, four. 
This is a bit awkward. No, there's 16 of those little lines. 16? So these are... Yeah. So they're an eight o then? I don't know. No, to be honest, I... <laughs> they're two millimetre beads. <laughs> <laughs> Two millimetre beads, sea bead as you know what that is. How many of you are screaming at the, at the screen right now? I know, sorry, I don't know. Yes, 16 divided by 2 is 8, that makes sense. So they're 8 O's. The larger the number, the smaller the size? Yes, the larger yeah. the number, the smaller the size. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Jeez, we got there in the end. <sighs> Can you imagine? Well done, well done. If, if if you've already done it, can I? We got there in the end. It's just taken. It's just taken um, as an absolute age to get there. Loads of new customers well, joining us here at Jewelry Maker. Welcome to the family. Honestly, I know it's a bit balmy from time to time, <laughs> but um, you know we, we are very much an extended family. We've all got one very um, avid passion, and that's jewelry making, of course. Find us on Facebook. Join us on Facebook um, if you are with us, or other other social media. Every single one of our shows are on YouTube, so if you've watched a demonstration um, and and you thought, I want to do that, but I, I don't feel confident, I want to watch that back, just go on to YouTube. You can also find our lovely Fleur, guest designer Fleur, on her presenter page yeah, as well. Yeah. JM guest designer flex. There we go, there we go, there we go. Once you've made a piece of jewellery, make sure you do take a photograph, make sure you mention if it's your first time as well, and make sure you send it to us here at the Wall of Fame. Okie dokie, okie dokie, this is where we show off your amazing talents and fingers crossed everybody because if you send your entries in, um, what happens is they all enter into a draw which is um, taken on Wednesday, Wednesday mm -hmm. morning and you stand the chance of winning £100 of JM credit to your jewellery maker account and the runner up will win a hundred, uh, sorry, £50 of jewellery maker credit to their jewellery maker account. But also, throughout the course of the day, we've got con competitions, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, and we like to sh see your amazing pieces. Go on, take it away, my darling. So I've got oh, number wow. five. Oh, wait, and I, I love the fact that you've illustrated how small this um, beautiful tree of life is. Um, it's from, I think it's from Brigitte. Let's have a little look. Yeah, Brigitte, yeah. Hi, JM. This is my wall of fame. Uh, two trees made from quartz chips and gold wire. I like making trees of life now, and I, so I wanted to see if I could make a small one, and it's near the size of a 50 pence piece. Good luck to everyone, and happy Easter to all at JM and the viewers. That is absolutely beautiful, and you can just show just how perfect... The, you know the size mm, really Teeny amazing tiny, wearable as well very very wearable yeah. uh, piece of jewelry um, stunning I've got number 503 look at this, this. oh I me um, from Kathy in Leeds hiya Kathy she says good morning JM I do hope you are having a fabulous day um, here's my ball of fame for this week it is set a set I have made for um, a Caribbean cruise I'm going on in a week mm -hmm. wow have a lovely time um, the set is made up of beautiful strands of fancy sapphire from yourselves and I can't wait to wear them. Good luck to everybody. Still your friendly JM Junkie, and that's Kathy and Leeds. <laughs> Kathy, have a wonderful holiday. Um, and make sure you send us pictures of you wearing them as well. 503. I've got another 509. This is from Fran. It says, hi, everyone. Um, and I hope everyone's having a nice Easter. Uh, the attached are some recent makes. I'm trying to use up all the, the hoard and create space other than the pearl necklace, which has rose gold and 25 uh, findings and Byzantine links, and needed me to rethread the knot twice because I didn't like what um, didn't like I was how, didn't realise I was holding the silk thread at the loop and the fur for the first time. Uh, the three bracelets are mukite rose quartz hematite agate with plated and coloured coppered findings. The chainmail necklace is made up of aluminium square profile jump rings used uh, using twisted two in one and a box 
section in the centre of the necklace. Um, best wishes to all, and hopefully there won't be too many sore tummies of people who are buzzing on chocolate for yeah. so, buzzing on chocolate after for so long. Um, and that's from Fran. Thank you, Fran. That's brilliant. Really incredible. Yeah, well. stunning, Gorgeous. stunning. I've got number five hundred and four here, coming from Kay Hessling. Hello, Kay in Wakefield. She says hi, everybody at JM. I trust everyone as well. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame for this week. Um, a complete suite consisting of necklace, bracelet and earrings. I've used brown, uh, sorry, bronze coloured shell pearl and rose gold plated findings. Just dreamy. I hope they make the wall. All products were purchased from JM of course. Good luck to all fellow waffers and me. Keep up the fantastic bargains together um, with thoroughly entertaining shows. Um, and that's lots of love from Kay Hessling. Beautiful Kay. Gorgeous. I agree. Dreamy Absolutely combination gorgeous. of colours. Look at this, this is beautiful. Number 510. Um, and this is from Sue in Chesterfield. Mm. It says, Hi all at J uh, JM. This is my this is this week's entry um, for the Wall of Fame. All from JM except the be bugle beads. First try at making a clasp for a bracelet and added a Swarovski bead to add sparkle. Good luck to everyone in the draw, and that's Sue in Chesterfield. Absolutely beautiful. I love the fact you've made your own clasp as well. Yeah, incredible. Gorgeous. Wonderful. I've got number 505. Um, some amazing wire work here from Marie in Manchester. Hi, Marie. And she says, hello, JM Lovelies. Wire work for the Wall of Fame. It's my favourite jewellery making uh, discipline. For this pendant, I had a lovely piece of pinky coloured agate. Yeah, I'd call it you know, so rose, yeah, rose agate. Um, I used one mil and 0.4 plated wire to set and wrap the gemstone. The wire is worked up to the create the bale and for the pendant. All of the um, parts are for this item were from your good selves at Jewelry Maker. The value is just unbeatable. Thanks for the laughs, the entertainment and the great deals. Bye for now. And that's from Marie. Marie's stunning. It's, beautiful, it's a beautiful right? gem, isn't beautiful. it? And wire work stone. as well. Very wonderful. Intricate. Wonderful. I've got number 511 and a stunning piece of labradorite. And this is from Marion Jobson. It says, Hi all at JM Towers. Please find a touch my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a labradorite cabochon from yourselves. And it's my first attempt at wire wrapping a cabochon. Up to now, I've been rather nervous about doing it because of, I was lacking confidence in my ability. But I decided to have a go and I had the whole day off to myself uh, to take my time. The finished result is by no means perfect, but I'm really pleased considering it's the first one. Onwards and upwards from now. Uh, keeping my fingers crossed for a first win or even a runner-up. Good luck to all the other entrants. And that's kind regards from Marion. Marion, if that's your first attempt, that is absolutely beautiful. You've done an an amazing job, fabulous job. Wonderful. Um, I have number 506 here, beautiful, oh, beautiful seed beading uh, from Colette Higgins. Hiya, Colette. Um, good morning, everybody. This is my latest make, a wraparound bracelet in super duos um, with a rose gold plated 925 sterling silver toggle. All components from Jewelry Maker. This is my first time using super duos and I love the outcome, wow. Um, well, you've taken to it like a duck to water. Best of luck to all the drawing this weekend, uh, this week, and that's from reg regards from Colette Higgins in County Cork. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, I once had a duck that couldn't swim. Are you actually serious? Um, I am being serious, yeah. A yep. duck that can't swim. <laughs> okay. I've got number 512, some stunning chain mail here from Shirley. And it says, hi all, I did a workshop with a lovely Fleur. Um, a very nice lady and good teacher. She has written that, I'm not just adding it in myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my finished pieces, which I am quite proud of. The daisy chain link was tricky, but, uh, but I didn't give up. I just decided to make a bracelet out of the butterfly weave and put a folk uh, lapis as a focal thank you Fleur and hope to see you again soon and that's good luck to everyone from Shirley Harris in Pembrokeshire beautiful that's Pembrokeshire beautiful, Shirley, Shirley and lovely thank chain mail Shirley. designs thank there you. I've got number last but I know means least oh, number 507 pretty. yeah absolutely it's from Fran in Sterling hello to you Fran and she says hi all at JM my entry this week is a seed bead and super duo bracelet seed beads and super duos and class are all from yourselves but the extended chain is from my stash. Hope this makes the, um, its way to the wall. Good luck to everybody. And that's Franz in Sterling. Amazing. Absolutely beautiful designs. Keep those entries coming in. Now, literally, we have got a couple of minutes to speak to you about the launch of your DVD, which was this morning at 9 a.m. Uh, sorry, 10 a.m. Yeah. Exactly. Hundreds have sold. We actually, we, 700 of them sold. 700 good job that we ordered that full 1000 quantity there is still there is still a few of them obviously available um now these are some of the most intricate you said weaves yeah. but weaves that can be um 
Well, have a go, whatever yeah. level you are. They're fully achievable for fully achievable for everybody. So if you're a beginner, um, you know, have a go. There, I mean, we do have a, a Chainmail Beginners DVD as well. So mm -hmm. if you've got, you know, if you've got the whole collection of Chainmail DVDs, this is sort of like progressing you on your journey. If this is your first Chainmail DVD, you can be able to create all these pieces with just a little bit of patience and all your sizes of jump rings that we do at Jewelry Maker. So you need your five, your six, your seven and your nine for this DVD. Yeah, stop, start it at your yeah. own pace. It's approximately an hour long. Um, and if you think about the price and expense that most tutorial DVDs will be, um, 4 95 is just, well, it, 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 it's, it's minuscule, isn't yeah. it? Lots of you are actually multi-buying on this, which is fantastic to see. And um, maybe you're getting them for friends that were unable to watch right now. Um, maybe had to go had family commitments yeah. on Easter Monday totally understandable um, I definitely definitely if, if, you, if you think somebody can't wa can't watch and they are a chainmail fan I would encourage doing that as well because we have been super super busy right I'm running out of time I'm gonna be back with you tomorrow morning bright and early um, do enjoy uh, the rest of, uh, of your Easter Monday Fleur my darling thank you so thank much you. thank you lovely and congratulations on your awesome DVD thank you when are you back with us? Uh, Thursday Late Show. Thursday Late Show. Give us a little uh, little sneaky peek about what's included. Two beautiful chain mail kits. Ooh. So if you want some more, if you want some more of Fleur, then make sure you tune in on Thursday. We've got tomorrow a whole hour of Fleur. Uh, 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 <laughs> what is wrong with me? A whole hour, not a Fleur. You're going to be in bed or somewhere like that. A whole hour of tools with the wonderful Jan. The wonderful Jan, 9 a.m. Make sure you tune in. So if there's particular tools that you've been waiting for, then um, tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, ah, you've got the lovely Deb coming up next and the wonderful Zena. It's going to be loads of fun as always. So do stay with us and we'll see you soon.